This video is sponsored by Last Epoch. Okay, I want to play a wizard, but that dude's got a bear. Like, I'm going to be super honest with you. That dude's got a bear. Nah. What are you? Are you a druid? Oh, God, dude. He's got a bear. But a wizard. Elemental Nova, Flame Ward, Glacier, Disintegrate, Volcanic Orb. Rune Master? I really like playing a wizard. But also, he's got a bear. That makes it incredibly hard to choose. What is this? What are the other ones? What are you? Necromancer! We have a bear, we have a wizard, we have a necromancer. Nothing else matters to me. That's impossible to choose. Chaos Bolts. Chthonic Fish. We have a little Cthulhu in there. Ghost Flame, Profane Veil, Soul Feast. What about a Lich? Take on the mantle of death itself and transform into a Reaper, temporarily gaining the Reap ability? <laughs> uh, it's got an Aura. Auras are so good. Mm, what do you get? Spellblade? No. No. Okay, it's gonna be Bearman. It's gonna be our Primalist. Or our Acolyte. I've, I've given up on Wizard. I've given up on Wizard. You guys wanna pull it? Hey Mods, can you pull this? Acolyte? Or Primalist? Bear? Or Necromancer? And by the way... The bear has hair braids. <laughs> it has bear braids, dude. I don't even think that's his hair. I think it's part of the armor. That's a rope. Necromancer wins with 4,381. God damn. That was close. Well, Necromancer it is. What are we naming our acolyte? Look at these sick abilities. Oh, I'm definitely going Necromancer. I love pet classes, dude. It's too late. It's too late. What are we using? Let me think. Yeah, we gotta go full Necromancer, dude. Mastery Necromancer, 100%. Scalomancer? Skelepathy. 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 It's a good name. It's when your skeleton communicates with another skeleton on a skelepathic level. See? Done. Hardcore. Hmm. Hmm. What are these cycles? Okay. Hmm. If this character dies, it will no longer be a hardcore character, but be a resurrected and normal and played as a normal character in the same game mode. Done. 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 In the beginning, there was darkness. Only the terror. Myself, and the Void. I was content with nothing. She dreamt of light, of life, of humanity. We disagreed, and yet, in her world, there were gods. Majossa of the desert, Largon of the sea, Rye of the endless skies, and Hierot of the frozen tundra. So we have differing gods. But fate stole Lekera away. I like the dude on the left. Without man. her, there was conflict, then wars. In the end, it was Rye who sought to outshine the sun oh. that would pull the world into his flame. Caught within Rye's gaze were the Keepers, an order sworn to protect Eterra's memory and the power it still holds. They were joined by someone 
unexpected. Was it me? Traveler, willing to walk into the flames of war. But why? Was it honor they sought? Power. I really like the animations here. They're very or simple. Was this fate? Perhaps. Just like softly moving still but images. No story is quite that simple. Yeah, it's actually good. I like that. It reminds me a little bit of... Oh, online play is unavailable. Multiplayer updates or outages. Contact support if this persists. Guess we're playing solo. Can we play... Can we make a non-online character? Switch to offline. Oh yeah, we'll just make a new one. Looks like online play is having some trouble. Skelepathy. Hardcore. Done. Easy. We're not doing bear. You voted already. We're gonna skip this because we already saw it. Ooh. I wonder if these keepers will accept my aid. They would be so what is this? Deny my power. Rips blood out of a targeted enemy, dealing physical damage to it. An orb of blood is drawn to you, restoring 10 health when it reaches you. I'm really glad that these fences have blood. Can I just do this infinitely? Is that even a mana cost? So that's three mana cost? Who cares? This is wonderful. I love fence blood. Fence blood, dude. Nice health potion. What button do we hit for health potion? Ah, uh, it feels so much more natural. Yeah, it feels way more natural now. Necromancer already feels like pretty OP, to be honest with you. The fact that I can heal myself right at the beginning. Take the messenger's lead. We need Herod's help. Your help. I'm playing in offline mode, that is correct. There's no online mode right now? Whoa! Armored Phoenix. Wow. I'm gonna be real with you, that's a pretty cool monster for this early in the game. It may just be showing me interesting monsters right off the bat. But like, that's a cool looking monster. I liked that. Oh god. Nine melee damage, two spell damage. Nine melee damage, two critical strike chance. Forging potential. Forging potential is a resource used to craft this item in the forge. Press F to open the forge. What, dude? Okay, that's interesting, actually. Your weapon is naturally AoE, that is correct. I didn't realize that at first. That's why I've been using all the spells, but it appears that way, yeah. So we naturally get an AoE swing off of the wand. And I can use... Skeletons. The Skelepathy begins. How many skeletons do we have? What is that one? Oh, we get some skeleton archers? Okay. How many Skelebros do we get? Let me look at this. Three skeletons at a time. We got two warriors, we got one archer. Alright. It's about to get real good. We got a bastard sword. I like that. And I got a ring. What does the ring do? 6% increased movement speed. That's huge. Especially early game. Yeah, movement speed is always enormous. Because the faster you move, the more XP you get. In these kinds of games. So you want to be as quick as you possibly can be. I'm going to have two archers one melee. Yeah, we didn't need the bear. It's fine. By the way, I am playing on Hardcore. Huh. 
You can press A to control minions? Oh, that's really good. I like that. Yeah, they're already doing their jobs. Divine Era. So different areas have different timelines? Rather interesting. Can I not get more health potions? Bodies are burnt beyond recognition. They were fleeing. God, I love these armored phoenixes, dude. They're just so freaking cool. If you open the map, you'll love it. Let me check it out. That's a big map, dude. Alright, you got me. See, I'm a huge fan of action RPGs. I've been playing this stuff forever. Since I was a young kid. I worked on Diablo 3. Like, I played Diablo for ages, right? Love the hell out of these games. And I love seeing the evolution of this genre. These guys look cool as hell. Look at this. Birdman! I love the way that they spawned in there, too. When it just felt arrived, really good. Was there a family? Yes, they're gone now. Yeah, they're dead. Who are you? Cornered, and there were so many. I can handle Ospreks. I told them to stay back, to let me handle it. And they left. You can't save everyone. What good are we if we can't? <laughs> you just can't. Oh, sorry. I just save as many you. as you can. It's been a long road. Are you also here for the peace talks? Uh... You know, are you? I am. Oh, well then I am too. Name's Grail. Since we're both <laughs> Problem headed solved. in the same direction, why don't we go together? All right, let's I do wonder, it. Which of us will take down more Ospreys? It's gonna be me. Come. There's four Let of me. me. I have all these skeletons, you see. Oh wait, I gained a level. Passive system information. Gaining passive node points. So when you level up and everything like that. Mastery classes, initially you may only place points in your base class tree. You have the opportunity to choose a mastery class during your adventure. Alright. So what can we get? Blood Aura. More minion damage? You don't say. Oh, wait a minute. That increases minion damage. Necrotic resistance, we don't care about. Minion armor increase as well. So we can do more damage and more armor. And more armor for our minions. I love that these also increase minion stats, too. Minion attack speed. We're gonna do all damage into attack speed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's how that's gonna go. I know there's more to the map. Let's go check it out. Okay, so we can transport between timelines, and the map changes entirely based on the timeline that we're in. I'm into that. Yeah, it's really interesting. It's very compelling. It looks like I could shoot my blood out now. Yeah, get wrecked. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Except for me. It's a full AoE ability, too. So now we're using blood as a resource. But it does a ton of damage. Heretic Garb. Done. Changes full models on the character. Take a look at that. That's actually great. That's great. Yeah, hell yeah. I love that. There's something just so nice about making your character look different every time you change your gear, you know? So much destruction. For what? Like, that feels good. It always feels good. And not every game does that, either. Shift F. What does Shift F do? Loot filters. Oh, hey, cool. Yeah, we're not going to do any loot filter stuff just yet. 
I'm glad they have loot filters built directly into the game. This becomes more and more important as time goes on, where you want to change filters, and it looks like you can create and export those to trade them with other people, which is kind of huge. I like that. Thanks, Birdman. Yeah, that's huge. I like that. Good features for that, you know? Another silver ring. Alright. More damage, please. Okay, we got skill system specialization. I mean, let's be real. It's immediately going to be summoned skeleton. Oh my god. Look at him. The lad. Warrior maximum health, archer damage, rogue damage. Yeah, it drops in. Melee area of effect plus 12% per point, damage plus 12%. Have an increased area of effect with melee attacks and your skeletons deal more damage multiplicative with other modifiers. That's enormous. So, one point in this is 15%. One point in this is 12%. But that's not 27%. They're multiplicative with each other. That's enormous, dude. That is absolutely enormous. We're going this side first. Attack speed is king. Attack speed is always king. You got pets? Attack speed. Yeah, multiplicative is awesome, dude. Hey, shrine. What is that? I made dudes. What are these dudes? Wandering spirits. Reveals wandering spirits around you for six seconds. The spirits wander at random dealing necrotic damage over time to enemies they pass through. We can still only have three skeletons at a time. Alright. Yes, yeah, send dudes. You learn to fight? I'm sending dudes. Let the skeletoning begin. Also, it looks like I got a second ring, which is another 5% increased movement speed, so we're hoofing it, dude. I want to clear this map before we go ahead. So leave some ghosts behind, it's fine. Best part about being a necromancer? Don't even look at the enemies die. Doesn't even matter. Yeah, loot filters is cool, but there's no reason for me to set them this early in the game. What about looting them, though? Okay, if they drop loot, maybe. Well, that one dropped loot. I don't even know what that is. Acolyte Relic, an offhand that increases my spell damage. Alright. That's kind of cool. I wonder if there's going to be minion-based ones, too, that increase minion damage? Hmm. Turn off other classes' drops? Yeah, but I want to sell them to vendors. We'll see. Quick, before it reaches town. Forge Soldier. My skeletons aren't even dying yet, dude. Rude. That's incredibly rude, sir. Dead. Well done. We're almost there. I'll see you ahead. Nice. That's enormous. More spell damage and minus three spell mana cost, which means my rip blood is now free. Rip blood costs nothing now. That's awesome. That's a really interesting way to handle that. That's cool as shit. Yeah, I like that a lot. Oh, but this one. This isn't even a shield. It's like a secondary thing. There could be a shield slot over here. Hmm. Hmm. Little bit more movement speed there. Yeah, that's 5%, 7%, 6%. Did you see you can left-click abilities in the bars to sign when you want? Where? Oh yeah, no, that's that's pretty standard. I didn't want to move anything yet.
The traveling staff is really good. But this has more cast speed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, somehow I have chat in the game. Even though I'm offline. Is there a way to turn chat off? Yeah, it's offline, but I still have social. Is under social? Disable chat. There we go. Much better. I don't even know how I have chat. I'm in offline mode. The keepers have proven difficult to track. But my observations revealed the truth. Their camps are neither chosen nor abandoned on a whim. There's a pattern to how they scurry. I instructed my soldiers to investigate the abandoned camps. Invariably, they're near shrines devoted to the eldest of gods. Each one was as empty as the last, save for meager signs of the Keeper's presence. They're not guarding the ruins. They're traveling between them, over and over. They must be moving with them. It'll be as simple as burning these vermin to ash. Raya wills it. <laughs> well, I guess burn everything to the ground. That's fine. Okay, so I got bonus experience and some gold. What? What is that? What is that? It looks like the the nose of like a mole. You know what I mean? But like all over its back. I hate it. I hate it. I hate everything about it. Oh, there's more of them. Friend shaped. I don't know what kind of friends you have. Waiting up at the shrine. The keepers have done well. This place isn't too different from home. A group tied closely with our goddess Etera. They've been indebted to her, but why we do not know. Even their name is. Well, what do they keep? Do they adhere to another god or just her? It's mm. these mysteries that interest the Ospricks. Whatever secrets the keepers hold, I'm sure Raye wants them. Now we speak to the Keeper Council. Speaking of, I must head there now. Feel free to look around. I'll see you shortly. It's interesting that offline play has its own chat protection. server. That's not what I expected. More than protection. An alliance. But the truth is, we know little about him. Or his people. Why should the council trust him? Prospect one. He's one of the gods. Atera made him just as she made us keepers, and gave him a role by her side. He's the guardian of his people, and he does his job well. Prospect 2. He cares for his people. Like the goddess herself, he extends his heart to all who need support. I love the voice acting in this, actually. Forms alliances wanting to stand united. Meanwhile, Raya wishes to tear this world asunder. Prospect 3. His people are warriors. Hairborian fighters put us to shame. We fight because it is necessary while they relish in it. I'll take on being behind their blade any day. Thus, I propose we accept this alliance. Hmm. It is not in our nature, but we keepers have a sacred duty to uphold. Without Herot's help, our efforts might prove fruitless. I really like the narrative that it's spinning so far. The world is a lot deeper than just kill monster, get XP. And I really enjoy that. It was something that I, I really dig in a lot of action RPGs, is some of them go deeper into storyline related stuff, and this one so far is. Hello, and it's definitely not a bad thing. Respecialize mastery point allocation. So we can just respect this at any time. Okay. How much does it cost? Cost gold. Okay, not bad. Not well on yeah, not a bad thing at all. All this is junk. I want to see how much gold we get for selling items. That's an important part. Not bad at all. So we got 245 now. So we got about 40 gold. Ruby amulets. That would be useful. Armor poison resistance. Armor poison resistance. How much does it cost? 16? Need a new helmet. That's fine. 
7% increased movement speed. Maybe another 1% over ours, doesn't really matter. What is this? A Rune of Shattering destroys an item, creating a random number of affix shards containing its powers. Bro, what? What does that mean? We can get an offhand relic of a chalice that increases health regeneration. But that replaces our spell damage, defiled bones. And get a shield. Shield's a good idea. Because we can have a one-hander and a shield. That's exactly what I was hoping for. And our ruby amulet, so we can get more HP. Three potion slots, two potion slots. Let's fix that. Gloves are eight armor, ours are six health. Eight armor, eight armor, six health, and 22% increased critical strike chance. I think we're good though with the bonus HP right now. Oh, wait a minute. Physical damage, who cares? Alright, I think we're good. Wait. Damage reflected to attackers. But it's less armor. We're playing hardcore after all, so might as well act out. You can compare items directly. Yeah, no, you can hold down control. I just keep forgetting to do it. Grail was just telling me of your battle. I am Lena, one of the Keeper's Council. One of two. There should be more of us here. Thorns is overrated. I think Thorns is amazing a lot of the times. They're gone. Balthus and I remain, and he's not here. As such, I must ask for your help. We're here for an alliance, not favors. I feel like that's not how alliances work, right? Like, if someone asks you a favor and you want to be in an alliance, you should probably do the favor, right? Like, generally it means it's going to be better. That's, Balthus is busy checking on our the point. artifacts. We're protectors of Atera's history, and right now, they're in danger. What did you tell me about this artifact? Not much, I'm afraid. We'll discuss it after our alliance. But I'm doing you, you a are, favor. And Come I'm on. I'm sorry, but this is how it must be. Their secrecy keeps them safe. Even now, hmm. the Osprey swarm all of our sacred vaults. I've already asked Grail to check one down in the mountains. There is another up north where Balthus is. Could you hmm. make sure he's safe? Do yeah, let's do it. And our alliance is secure. We'll lend our yeah, so you do the favor to get the alliance. That's how it goes. Like this is where we part ways. Good luck out there. Yes, something you need. I think I think we're good for now. I think we're good. Yeah, she's here to put the eye in alliance. Pretty true. Oh look, it's horrible. Gross. Ugh. I love the blood magic, dude. Already getting an upgrade. Very nice. Quill hogs. I hate them. Everything has horrible tentacles coming out of its face. Perfect. Nice. So ours gave us 12 health. That's 20 health and 16 mana. Definitely worth. Unlock skill harvest. All right. What's the damage on this? Damage per second. A melee attack that hits all enemies in an area in front of you, you deal double damage to, the, to those that are cursed. So this would be a different kind of a spec. Because I'm going down the route of increasing my necromancy to make my minions do more damage and, and just wreck a house, you know? That would go down the route of putting a lot more curses on things. I don't know if that's worth it. I don't know if it will be worth it. We're just going to have to wait and see. Yeah, sounds more warlocky. Yeah, exactly. That being said, it's a free melee attack that does a pretty decent amount of damage. Likely we can increase the amount of AoE that comes out of it, potentially. Could depend on how curses scale, that's true. Curses could also be applied when you're a minion summoner. Don't know. Heretic garb. Let's 
Let's just get some souls out. I love the sound effects in this, to be honest with you. Got a magic item there. It looks like something is shooting bullets from the sky at me. I'm wondering if it's these cool hogs when we're far away. I'm not sure what's doing that. I'm interested to know if there's any, like, affixes on monsters, any special powers, stuff like that, so we can keep an eye out on it for later. It's definitely easy... Is that a legendary? What the hell did I just pick up? Unique reliquary text. Tome of Elements Relic. It's for a wizard. I can't even use it. Yeah, I can? No, dude, look at it. Wait, whoa. Well, hold up. I was trying not to die there. There was a large plant that was eating my lunch. Elemental damage leeches health, 43% to chance to chill, shock, and ignite. Now this is useless for me. Doesn't do anything for me at all. That's a that's a wizard item, man. Yeah, it's not it's not worth it. Thirteen wait, 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 wait. Conflagration. Plus thirteen percent chance to ignite on hit. I mean I wonder if that applies to my skeletons. I wonder if that passes down. I don't know. Doesn't look like it. I don't think it does. Because nothing's lighting on fire. Maybe that only applies if the, the skill is going to ignite anyway. And then it has a chance extra to ignite on top of the base ignite chance. That's the only thing I can think of. It only counts to your hits? Does it count to my spell hits? Hits? Like when I do magic like this? Oh, it did! Look! I saw it! It was in fire! Oh, it's totally working! Yes! Blood magic. Lighting you in fire. Hey, I'm hot-blooded. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. This is normal. Just a little hot-blooded. This game online at all? Yeah, there's not online mode, but we're playing offline right now. Yeah, I got a fever, dude. Okay, let's go see what's in this little mini dungeon thing here. What is this? The Fortress Walls. Looks like it's just the next zone. Now the book will increase that? Yeah, but I'd rather have 17% increased magic damage. Because this just increases the duration. Yeah. We don't really care about that. It's not optimal for me. It's doable, but it's not optimal. These guys are a little bit higher level. That's good. Two HP regen a second. 100%. Oh wait, this one's three. When did I get the turtle one? I don't remember getting the turtle one. Weird. Oh, that was earlier. I'd rather have mine with the elemental resistance, to be honest. Elemental resistance, definitely I would rather have. The ignite school. Let's check out the brass scepter. See how these things start scaling. Nope. I really like being able to use a health potion as a resource to cast more spells. Because we can go into like full damage mode, blow out all of our health, and then use a health potion to regenerate it. It just feels good. Little Grim Dawn? I mean, yeah. So you're dealing with games that are like Diablo, like Grim Dawn, like a little bit Lost Ark. They're action RPGs, right? So we're dealing with an action RPG, and these this generally is my favorite genre. It's my favorite genre of games, dude. Let's get another warrior in there. Yeah. 
so now what we can do is we can light him on fire like this, which he is on fire now. You can see he's got stacks of fire underneath him there. It's working. Wooden shield of the defender. That's a rare. Done. No. Can't wait to sell this junk to the vendor. Is that a waypoint? Okay, so we have teleportation locations now. Let's teleport this back to town. And then sell all my stuff. Gonna do minions? Going 100% minions, dude. I love that it's like water going to the center like that. It actually feels really nice. Are you the vendor? Now, how much would this sell for? 500 gold! And I'm never gonna use it. Ward gain on potion use. Bonus 6 int. What does intelligence do for my character? Increased minion damage! Right. <laughs> Yoink. Oh, that's a shield. Done. Even better. I thought it was gonna be an offhand. I'm an idiot. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We didn't need it anyway. Where's my buyback? Done. Have I checked out the loot filter yet? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I love it. And the reason why I love it is because many games don't have a loot filter, especially not that early. And I think that's fantastic. It, It's really, really a good thing to have, generally. This one gives 20 health and chance to ignite, but this one gives me cast speed. Mmm. Mmm. Cast speed is so strong, especially because my casts heal me. Ignite deals fire damage over time, lasts 2.5 seconds, and can stack an unlimited number of times. Well then. I love that they have this, so holding alt to see this, this is something I'd want to see more in this genre. This is fantastic, to be real with you. Being able to hold down alt and see what all of those statistics do and mean, that's great. That's a really, really good thing. Press G? For the game guide? I don't need the game guide. I like this. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in my stash. You just can't get rid of it. It's too cool. Alright. Hello, traveler. Do not dwell on regrets. Yeah, minion damage there. So let's go look at this. What does int do? Each point of intelligence grants 4% word retention and improves skills that rely on carefully studied magic. Okay. But which skills? Does it improve my minions? Okay, so this does scale with intelligence. It says scaling tags, int. That's good. Okay, so we need high int. We need the highest amount of int we can. And this dude has an item that gives us int. Where was it? I don't remember which one it was. There was something we were talking about that gave int. This just gave int. That gave six int. So I need to actually prioritize int to increase minion damage. I love that that is all spelled out for you directly. That is so rare that that happens. Yoink. K. 
casting speed. I'm on the fence about this. Because mine does ignite. Ignite sounds freaking good. It u It's very useful so far. I know shift after the loot filter. I don't really need to use the loot filter right now. I want to keep it off currently. I'm going to be moving it as I get higher up level. But for now, I want to pick up everything because it sells for gold. And we need gold. You all right? Over there, they've invaded some old storage. They're building something. I'll look into it. Okay, so we have a mini quest. Find the storeroom's mini quest. I love that. That's good. Do you guys know if these maps are static? Do we know? They are. Yeah, because that could go either way. For me, I think that's fine. That doesn't bother me. Sometimes it's cool to have, like, randomized maps. Randomized endgame is usually pretty fun. Campaign is static. Is there an endgame that has randomized maps? Because that's something I enjoy for, like, endgame. But for, like, storyline? I don't care. Endgame is randomized? That's great. Looks like they're setting up it exactly the way that they should. That's great. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Traveling staff? Ah, there's a lot of you. Let's just, let's just stop. Let's just kill all that. What is that? Hold up. We got an oddity here. Augments an item to grant it new property or improve an existing one. Grants X vitality. Oh. So we can do... That gives it void resistance. Okay. So we find affix pieces and then buff the gear using those. So with certain elements, we can do certain things to it. So this needs other types for that to work. Oddly enough, it looks like it actually takes my item when it goes in there. Neat. Yeah. Transfer materials and, like, upgrade materials. Crafting system's gonna get real deep real fast, dude. Let me tell you. Dexterity shard. Alright. So these just drop randomly as well. It looked like we could actually craft them out of things by dismantling them. Using those shards in town. The runes. So these are going to be like our socketed gems almost. Like a socketed system or an upgrade system. The crafting system seems really deep though. Because normally in games like this you'll see stuff like a Path of Exile and Diablo. You have like a gem that sockets. But this seems way deeper than that. Like way deeper than that. Less deep than BOE. I could say I could see that. BOE kind of has the combinations of, of items together. Added dodge rating. Wait a minute. How much more ridiculous can these get? What is this? A unique wooden shield. Plus four health gained when you dodge. Bonus dodge rating. Less block effectiveness. Increased dodge rating for each hit you have blocked recently. Bro, what? Added dodge rating shard. So we could put the dodge rating shard onto that. Can't we? Is it not allowing it? Oh my god, there's so many locations for this. There's so many different modifier bonuses. 
It has zero forging potential, though. That's why. With zero forging potential, we can't do anything with it. Forging potential changes what it can do. I see now. Okay. So those can go straight to the forge and we don't have to have them in our inventory. That's really nice. That's really nice, actually. Kind of not what I expected. A lot of games like this aren't really generous about that. That's good. I like that. Usually be like, manage your inventory, nerd. You know, like, now we can cr try crafting it? This doesn't have any forging potential, though. It won't work. It looks like we can still do this. Yeah. What is... Alright. Get wrecked. Yeah, you can't craft on uniques. Can't do that. Which is fine. They're gone. Never mind that. Rest well. Gain experience and a passive point. Okay, so doing side quests is 100% worth it. If you can get passive points that way, that's huge. Minion attack speed, minion cast speed. Gonna get that for sure. Okay, so... There's a bone curse in there now. And marrow shards. Your skeletons have increased critical strength chance, but you can only have one skeleton warrior summoned at a time. No. No, thank you. One more maximum number of skeletons. So let's go this way, and then we're going to go to Marrow Walkers. I want more skeletons. More. More. We can also go down the Dread Phalanx way, too. Yeah, we gotta go down this route until I have enough points to get Marrow Walkers. Good. Use the Bone Curse? Maybe. We're gonna try it in a minute. Right now I'm trying to build unlimited damage. The storerooms. Is that a secondary area of storerooms? Hmm. There's another one up ahead. Multiple but weak is totally fine. Skeletons for me, at this stage of the game, are there to absorb hits. We want them to take hits for me. Does your level of knowledge on game development hinder or enhance? A lot of the times it enhances my experience. Most of the time. Increase minion health. More vitality for me. Minion attack speed. Applies to player for 10 seconds on minion skill use. Hmm. How do I use this now? So here's the big question. I really like that spell. What does Hungering Souls feel like? We've got our skeletons here now. It's a little too chaotic there. I'm going to switch it over to Bone Curse. Bone Curse is more what I want. You want to have it more targeted. So Bone Curse applies in an area for 8 seconds. It causes physical damage when hit. The damage is tripled if you inflicted the hit yourself. Okay. More skeletons. Bone Curse does more damage. 
Nice. They're seeking missiles? Hmm, that might be better then. Let's try this. If there's heat seeking missiles, then great. They're seeking. Yeah, they're fully seeking. We like that. It's not even a huge amount of mana either. Alright. I dig that. Once I decide between what would be the purpose of such a stronghold if it were to house. I wanna keep killing. I, I have to keep killing. Let me in. I wish to murder. This way. You're what do you got? Look Your at this guy's design. Safe. Dude, his design is really cool. I really like that. Look at the dragonfly in his hand. Okay, that's actually really neat. Protect the sword! The drink! Take carefully. More! More magic! Magic everywhere. It's fine, don't worry about it. I don't know what that was, but it's not good for my bones. Not here. It is unsafe. We'll reconvene outside. I felt good. I felt really good, actually. Uh, that seems like it's just better than me. Than better than mine, rather. But mine has increased cast speed. But then it was more spell damage. I like yellow. Yellow, good. Okay, so now we have a Rune of Shattering. Destroys an item, creating a random number of affix shards containing its powers. What if we just... How do we use this? Press F to open the crafting panel. Can we... No, that's not what I want. Can we not blow that up? We can blow it up. What does it turn into? You lied to me. You said you can't forge uniques. We're not forging it. We're blowing it up. Oh, wait. It says can't forge uniques. Never mind. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I wanted to blow it up. I wanted to see what would happen if I blew it up. If we shatter it, it turns into cast speed and fire damage. Okay, I'm starting to understand. All right. This makes more sense now. So whatever the affixes are on the item, we can turn it into shards specifically for those affixes. That should hold them. First things first. Thank you. The Ospix grow more troublesome by the day. I like that. Our walls, that's a good system. Our men and take it out I really think that's a good system, honestly. Yet, they're still here. Using brute force now. The howling monster circling the vault. Yes. So, Let's go kill it. I see you like keeper's ropes. I take it leader sent you. Yeah. Lovely. While your help has been appreciated, I have everything under control. I don't think you do, old man. What do you mean? I'm protecting the epoch, of course. <laughs> Here. It's a fortress. Meant to keep unruly treasure hunters from locating the shards of the epoch. Or at least it's supposed to. Drastic times. Did Lena not tell you? No. Well, tell you what. Let's get out of here first, and then I'll explain more. These peace talks are hardly worth it if you don't know why Orion is after us. I guess it's true, right? The voice acting is really good, yeah. I agree with that.
I love my orb hand. What's down here? Alright. Oh, there's more of them, huh? Since the Keepers fall, we've held the same rituals. Instructed to keep the Epoch sharp. No! Those were since the Keepers fall. The first Epoch shard is held in a fortress. Ancient Terran mechanisms hold it in place, with no one but us knowing how to enter. The second vault is deep inside the Stonefall Mountains, with traps that only the Keepers know how to maneuver. Man, these Keepers know a lot. They definitely won't turn into big villains, right? Right? The third shard is always on the move. It uses multiple vaults. Only we possess the knowledge to open them. This is why we never call a single place home. Since the the, first, the third shard is always on the move. It uses multiple vaults. Only we possess the knowledge to open them. This is why we never call a single place home. Hmm. Looks like curses don't break like random objects on the ground. That's something to keep in mind for later. Leatherband tome. Wizard stuff? Wizard stuff. Dude, this is wild. Show all normal items? No. I want the opposite. To hide. Hide all normal items. Dude, this is nuts. Not only a loot filter, but a fully customizable loot filter. In which you can change all the affixes and everything on it, too. So we can say, like, I want these specific affixes only. To show. That's like some best-in-class shit right there. No, I've played PoE. I've played PoE a lot, dude. This is incredibly good. I like that a lot. Yeah, all built right in. That's fantastic. That's really good. I really want to play this now? Yeah, dude. I'm... I, I'm really impressed with that. Yeah, great for endgame builds? Absolutely. That's one of the things, is like, you always have to think about, like, what does it feel like playing at all levels of play? You know? And you can press X to just see the hidden items anyway? That's even better. Yeah, the fact that we can customize all of this in-game is huge, dude. Yeah, you can hold X to just disable your loot filter at any time. Look at that. That's freaking awesome, dude. That's really awesome. Hell yes. Hello from Portugal, what's up, dude? I'm playing Last Epoch for a sponsored stream, and I'm actually enjoying the shit out of it, so... Hell yeah. What? Big tree? Okay. The environments are really nice, too. Let them burn!
Another skill specialization slot. Um... Probably gonna be Curse. I'm gonna bet Curse is gonna be the right way to go. To be honest with you, can we... I think we can swap these out later, can't we? We can also use Hungering Souls. I think I'm gonna save it. You can swap them out later, at any time. Because I think what I wanted to do was save it for this. Summon Volatile Zombie. Because I want to I want to do a full minion build. I want to do a full minion build. So. You can reset the levels invested. Interesting. I'll hold on to it for now. You lose the EXP earned in it? Ah, it's fine. Because that's not lowering my player progression. It's something that I'm not going to be using permanently anyway. So... You know. Bone Curse also slows enemies within an area of effect. I wonder if there's any abilities that proc off of enemies that have crowd control on them. Because that might be really useful. Affects a larger area. We like that. Deals more damage, multiplicative with other modifiers. Alright. I think I want to do the larger area. Larger area is sick. Respect skills get extra XP to... Like, so that they're stronger. So they get stronger faster. That's good. Yeah, playing Necromancy. Yeah, I'm gonna go Necromancer. Can I get a Golem yet? Not as far as I've seen, no. I'm doing... High damage Necromancer, as much as I could possibly put into my pets right now. The Northern Road. At higher levels, skill level faster. I like that. That's good. Golem's a level 10 to unlock. What level am I right now? 8. So we're almost there. I'll likely want to run with one curse and then all pets. Usually that's kind of the way to go. Necromancer's a healer that was too late. True. Oh. Oh god, he's dead. Oh god, no. Well, I mean, I guess that's what happens, right? You know, you're just standing on a cliff. You're like a frail old man. So you can handle yourself. Picked up by a bird guy. Done. It's over, dude. It looks like they went towards the highlands where Ospreks are based, but there's too many. It's no use. I'm gonna go get him. Let's get him. Hmm. I have so much garbage in my inventory. Wait, that's blue. Much better. 12% casting speed ain't bad. That might be useful. I don't know yet. That's way better. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. We're start. We're starting to style, dude. Yeah, there's an auto sword in there. Yeah, the the auto sword was really nice because it was like, oh god, I don't want to play Tetris right now. And then the auto sword was, button was right there. I was like, hmm, it's exactly what I wanted. Who do the keepers adhere to? Our slumbering mother, Etera. Alone. A goddess they cannot see. They sent no treasure to see for Lagon. Nor works of art south to Majassa. Were they in league with Herot's savages? No. Their alliance seems to be a recent development. Hmm. How can they claim a greater connection to its error than us? We're the servants of Raya, the inheritor of her domain. 
It is blasphemy. They will burn. So it looks like you can fast travel e no matter where you are using your map. That's kind of an interesting thing. I wonder, can you do that in combat? Is that a get out of jail free card if you're about to die in hardcore? Because usually that's restricted to stop that kind of gameplay. It's town portal but with no cooldown. You can lose map instance if you TP out. You're not that fast, wanna bet? I've been playing Diablo my whole life, my dude. You wanna bet? Town portal also has no cooldown? Yeah, but you have to use it and then click on the portal. Two step. How long have you been playing? Action RPGs since I was very young. I want to hold on to that. It's only worth 10 gold. Fine. Melee and throwing attack speed. Weird. Dodge rating. Cast speed. 8% movement speed and 15 armor. Done? 19 spell damage. That's better than ours. And increase cold damage, but we don't have cold damage. Eighteen dodge rating. I wonder how much dodge rating actually matters. Let's go look at our dodge. Your chance to dodge a hit from enemies in this area. Dodge chance is increased by dodge rating and reduced by the level of enemies in the area. So that is actually scalable with opponents. Interesting. Gotta go talk to Lena. Everything okay? Where's Balthus? He was kidnapped. Osprix what? took him. What happened? A giant drake came in, grabbing that him. That must be Orion. If he captured Balthus, he's in danger. Who's Orion? Osprix general. He's the one leading the hunt for us. What happened to the artifacts Balthus was protecting? It was taken along with Balthus. That must be what they were after. We have to save Balthus. Get him and the Epoch back. Their camp is not far. Hmm. I'll have to organize a group. Go after him. I like the exasperated tone in her voice. The voice acting in this is actually really well sure? done. I could gather soldiers. Have them come with you. You'll walk into an entire army of Ospreys. I've got Stay this. Stay safe. Stay alive. And bring Balthus back. All right, we'll do. Another passive point. More attack speed. Strong. Become powerful. The stash stays in hardcore on death? Alright. That would require me to die in hardcore, which I'm not going to. So... I'll just keep using my stash. It's kind of hard to pick this up sometimes. Healing Bolroth of the Lynx. I don't like that. And it's dead. Gotta love skeletons, dude.
Is this whole area, like, poisoned? Is that why it's shooting poison garbage from the sky? Used to work for Amazon Game Studios. What's your opinion on New World? I didn't play New I didn't work on New World. I worked on Lumberyard Game Engine. Oh, look at this, dude. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized something. You know how we have a chance to ignite things when we hit it? This spell is five hits. It's a per hit basis. Hmm. That completely changes the way I want to play this game. Yeah, that's huge. God, I'm getting a lot of yellow items out here, dude. Oh, yeah. 23% chance to ignite on hit. More. More. Increase minion damage. Alright. But I would lose more ignite on hit. But it's minion damage. But it's also garbage. I don't want that one. We're doing it. Health per second. That's not what I wanted. Hmm. All right, we're good. We're going to get even more of a chance to ignite enemies. And damage over time increases. And we just got another one. 19% chance to ignite on hit. Oh my god, it's going to get even dumber. I think ours is better. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Unlock skill transplant. Alright, let's take a look at this skill. I actually don't know anything about this. But it looks like we're getting poison garbage around. Is this gonna hurt me? Okay, that does hurt me. It looks like the area is kind of cursed with some kind of poison magic. I'm gonna head back. We got a bone golem. And a rune of discovery. It's a rune of discovery. Adds one random tier one affixes to all empty affix slots on an item. Has an increased chance of rolling rarer affixes. Don't mind if I do. Creates a new body for you at the target location, then detonates your old body to deal physical damage to enemies around it. Oh god, it's teleportation, but with extra steps. That's horrifying. Why could they change this out? I thought you guys said I could change this out. How do I... How do I change that out? Do I have to go to the respect character? Okay. Okay, let's think about this. I don't really need rip blood anymore. We're gonna change that to skeleton. We're gonna change... This one to Golem. Actually, no, we're going to do this. It's a much better setup, I think. These are higher level items than I can wear. Nice. Oh look! A big lad. Look at him go, dude.
Click on when you want to replace. Go to top right corner. Respec. Okay, we'll check that out. The specialized skill. Thank you for that. Yeah, it wasn't readily apparent what that was going to be. Okay, so with this, Amalgam of Mages. Your Golem deals more spell damage, multiplicative of other modifiers, and has an increased chance to stun. So it's made out of mage skeletons. Your Golem has additional health and armor, as well as health and armor, both multiplicatives with other modifiers. Okay. Your Golem moves and attacks faster. Yes. Anytime I can, it's going to be move and attack faster. No matter what. The faster I can make my, my minions move, the faster I can make them attack, I'm going to do it. Every time. Let me change something. There we go. Your Scalepathy will be put through the test. I'm fine with this, dude. Oh my god, he's so beast. His damage is enormous. Holy shit. My boy. My boy. My boy. S Shrine of the Ice Beetle. It summons an Ice Beetle? I just have an Ice Beetle now. Oh my god, he's amazing. Look at him. Look at him. It's a shrine that gives me a pet beetle. That's a cool shrine. That's a really cool shrine. Look at him. It's everything I wanted and more, dude. My bone lad. Yeah, Golem's the main character now. Screw it. I don't need anything else, dude. Look at... Holy shit. <laughs> He's like King Kong, dude. Oh my god. Blah. He's just wrecking house. The bull rush, dude. I'm okay with this. Golems don't care? No, they don't. This is amazing. I still love the monster design. Like, the Osprexes are really interesting. I like them a lot. God, that's good. Yeah, the referral link basically shows that you guys were interested because of the stream. So the referral is not actually giving me anything. It's it's telling them that them doing this mattered. But and that's gonna be like that anytime you have a sponsored stream. That kind of stuff is important. Game is a stutter online, it's weird. Really? I'm not running online, I'm doing it offline. And we're not having any problems. Online mode has issues, but like the game is dramatically more like, in, has a lot more interest than I think they expected to get, you know? Look at these weird boxes. Yeah, the online servers are going to suffer. I mean, that's always going to be that case, man. And you can't... I would never be upset at a developer because of that. Ever, really. Because if your game gets hundreds of times or tens of times more interest than you thought it was going to get, then that's it, you know? Anyone know the drop start? No idea. What's the reason to play online? It's just co-op? There's a marketplace? I don't know if there's a marketplace. I'm not sure. But you can play with other people. Yeah, it's just growing pains. A game having a, a rough launch with servers is pretty normal. And it doesn't mean the game is bad. Me. It means the game is good. Stealing so good that people are willing eye. to play it even through that. Yet, I saw it. The flames of prophecy reveal that these rats hid a treasure. Marketplace as well? Okay. Powerful than anyone could conceive. 
Makes sense, Wayward. Yeah, I mean, that's always going to be issues on online play in the beginning. A step closer to this moment. The Epoch will be the pinnacle of my collection. Mm. I present this to Raya. This power. He will finally understand how worthy I am. What I have sacrificed. All for him. Sounds like you're in a cult, buddy. I... I'm just... I'm guessing. We'll read their update post later and give your opinion? Sure. I don't see why not. Hi, bird person. I love his design, dude. He's got like a metal plate over one of his eyes. I've got a golem. Oh, you got a lot of HP. Let's fix that. Alright. Dodge that shit. That fire's doing work, dude. Oh, that hurt. This is not good. This is bad. Yeah, this is bad. We don't want to die here. I didn't expect bosses to be this interesting and dynamic. Thankfully, I have a bone golem. Yeah. That fire was doing a huge amount of work. Also, that was... That was a lot scarier than I thought it was going to be. He hit really hard. Look at all this garbage. We don't need any garbage. Like, he hit way harder than I expected. Nice. Very nice. Oh. Yoink. Don't mind if I do. I mean, you seem to be already I released. Be, thanks to you. Let me just grab one of these. I feel like that was broken. It's quite yeah. funny. The shards of the Epoch are safe. I was worried for a moment. The Epoch. Oh, it's a Terra's most sacred artifact. Holding great power. I was gonna play the bear, and, um, chat voted for Necromancer by, like, 1%. They tried to 50 50 it. Time. What? If Raya were to get his talents on it, he would surely win the war. Traveling through time would definitely win you the war, I would say More that. More than that, he'd be untouchable. Now, I find a new course of action. Take the epoch somewhere Raya can't reach. Which, speaking of, let's head back to camp. I must reach Lena at once. All right, let's get going. That boss fight I was cool. I remind myself to find suitable provisions for Emberwing. Prey in this area upset a drake's stomach. Bolroth in particular. Could I? I would simply feed him soldiers that question our bond. Yeah, feed him your own dudes. I admit, I have a bias for the creature. He's strong, and more reliable than half those under my command. Plus, we have both been marred by flames. I like this, and the reason I like this is because it's showing a character's a little bit more dynamic than just a bad guy. He's a bad guy, based on your allegiances. But he cares about his pet. He cares about his mount. Yeah. While my wounds showed me the path to the Epoch, he's granted ascendance. Emberwing was raised from his draconic form, reforged in Raya's image. I may not be able to take flight, but with Emberwing's aid, I can once again feel the wind. Oh, how I've missed the limitless blue. That's cool. That's a neat character design. I don't know how to build my character just yet. Still learning out the game. There's going to be a lot of optimizations along the way for sure. He's back. 
And it's all thanks to you. He's been quiet since he returned. If you could speak with him, I'd be grateful. Then we can begin our talks. We have some points here. Let's see this. If you only control one golem, it has a much higher chance to retaliate with bone shatter when enemies... when damaged by hits from allies. Flight of the femurs, dude. Death chill golem. Cold vengeance. Blood golem. Your golem has a chance to grant you a stack of putrid coating when it is hit. Each stack lasts for 8 seconds and grants you a chance to poison enemies. Insane. Oh, wait a minute. Pyre Golem's Infernal Aura consumes skeletons and skeleton mages that it hits to deal more damage over time, multiplicative with other modifiers per minion it consumed. Oh. Burn them all. Gigantic, horrifying aura, dude. How long does it last? Last 2.5 seconds and can stack an unlimited number of time, so it, it adds more ignite. But it eats my skeletons. Your golems move faster and attack faster. Done. Just trunk. Become power. Your golem causes all nearby minions to move faster, including themselves. This bonus is doubled for the golem golems themselves. How many golems can I have? Wait. Can I have more golems? Can I have more golems? How many golems can I have? Your golems deal more damage and multiply with others. If bone golems have been replaced by another type of golem, you now have an equal chance to summon a bone golem. Golem summons also summon a bone golem. Dear God, there's so many different ways to play this. Yes. Yes. More skeletons. Additional. Additional skeletons. Another one! There's more plus skelly nodes? I can't wait to play with this, dude. I can't wait to play with this. No, not fully. Itera left their secrets to us and to, to us, us alone. alone. I have, uh, ideas. Though Lena will disagree. Well, we are keepers after all. Protectors of Itera's past. <laughs> Collectors of lost history. You sound almost sad. Do you think we've made a mistake? Going through the motions. Keeping the shards hidden. It's, it's it's all been ritual. I feel as though drastic times are upon us. That's good. It's it's so rare in a character that you have when he's like a good guy that he second guesses that in storytelling. You never get that. That's a good trait to have in a character like that. That's a good storytelling trait. I uh, know. You know about them too. Fate has already shown its hand. I apologize. You might become part of something greater. Those minor moments of kind of second guessing themselves or inconsistencies in the character, I already like these characters more than most action RPGs. Legitimately. And it's because of those little pieces like that. Where you can feel that he's second-guessing his actions. He doesn't know if what he's doing is correct. He's trying to do the best, and he doesn't know if what he's doing is the best. That's It's good character development. It is. It's good writing. I only have two shards, but that's enough. I'll keep them safe. Yeah, it makes them feel real. Much more real. I agree. Lena, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to you, too. This is what's best for us all. With the epoch's power, I'll finally be able to... Alright. It seems like a good idea, right? Oh. Did you go to the future so you weren't in the past anymore, so you couldn't do the good things in the past, and now the future is ruined? Is that... Is that what just happened here? Yeah. The fact that the hero is no longer in the past means the future is bad. Very cool. 
Yeah, we loopered ourselves. Where? What just happened? Don't worry about it. This We're in the future now. You. 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 It's made out of meat. It's made out of meat. Minimum skill level level two. What? Is, what is minimum skill level? What does that mean? What is a minimum skill? Minimum skill level dictates, dictates how many skill points your skills start with when you specialize in them. Oh. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, faster respecking, just for funsies. What was the button for my skills? No, the other skills. Passives. Okay, passives going to be P. You deal increased damage, but you lose a percent of your maximum health each second if you've killed an enemy recently. <laughs> no? No, thank you. When damage leaves you below half health, you summon a revenant. A melee minion with decaying health whose damage scales with your intelligence. 15 second cooldown. That's kind of a cool one, but I think we could probably just do more minion damage. You know? Increase damage and increase minion damage. Kind of seems like the way. Yeah, but this one only happens if I'm about to die. So more minion damage seems better, because it's 6%. More, more, more better river. Bigger number. Yeah, bigger number. Better. One works for us all the time. One works for us some of the time. Int is cool, but it only does 4% minion damage. The other one does 6%. One int and twelve void resistance. Uh, I'm gonna give that one a miss. I like the movement speed. Why are you here? Where is here? Don't play dumb. Only rangers and elders are allowed out here. Everyone knows that. Still, you don't look like a cultist. It's because I'm not. The way void leeches off them. Hmm. My scrying runes would be going off the second I saw you. That's not to say there aren't any cultists nearby, so let's both be careful. Come, I'll take you back to the last refuge. Are you well in the head? Look around you. Dark tar that consumes everything around us. The void. Last refuge is the only place to steer clear of it. If you're not from there, then let's hope our elders don't find any corruption on you, eh? Yeah, I'm from the past. Avoid the void? Nah, dude, get in the void. What is that? Oh, God. Oh, God. I love that, that spawn animation where it came up out of the crown. That was great, actually. It crawled up the wall. Those type of dynamic environment stuff like that, just, mm, You love to see it. Yeah, I love that. That's great. Alright, is this the refuge? This is all you got? You there. I do not recognize you. A guard sent me. I'm from the outside. Still, you have a presence about you. As if... Hmm. Do you have a shard on you? How did you know? I'll get to the bottom of how and why you have it later. What's important is that we present it to the council immediately. Whether awards have fallen by a shard misplaced, or you are simply the foretold holder we've heard so much about, we must find out. Foretold holder? Oh god, wait. They wrote lore when I left the last timeline, and that lore has now traveled all the way down, and now I'm like some... some legendary hero. Great. Fantastic. It's a long story. For now, find guard Captain Bravan in the city. He will ensure you're presented to the rest of the elders. You're really not from around here. We uphold the council, the leadership of the last refuge. Alright, let's do it. Let's look at the map. We went forward 285 years. Because I think we were in the Imperial era, weren't we? 
Or were we in the Divine Era? We were in the Divine Era. We went forward almost 13... Oh, no, more than 1,300 years. Oh. Terra, watch over you. Gods. It's probably bad. Top skipping a jump. Yeah. Because we were at negative 12, we went to 1290, so it's like 1300 years. Mm -hmm. It's 1302. Yeah. You're not coming with? Still got stuff to do outside, but don't worry. The last refuge is a haven. We would have not lasted if not for the council. All right. Farewell. Yeah, cool haven, dude. Yes. I need to get to the council chambers. Please. Very well. Setting out. I grow worried that Elder Urza is trapped inside. If you find him, try taking him with you. He's persistent, but overestimates himself. Hey. Okay. There we go. The time travel is incredibly compelling to me. Now here's the real question. Can I use this to go back to the past? We can just travel through time because we have the shard. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's go back to the Divine Era. We're going to go to the Keeper's Camp, and we're going to sell our junk. Hey. Actually, I think there was a belt in there that might be better. Is it better than mine? No, mine increases minion damage. I think it was the only thing I care about. Let's go look at the shop. Got more runes of shattering. Not really worth. Right, let's get out of here. Yeah, become, become your own skeleton. So what I would do is I would... No, because if, if I die, I die in all timelines, right? Because I'm a time traveler. There'd be no way out. I can't have my own skeleton. Is your name really Thor, and how did that happen? I was born in a thunderstorm. They made my middle name Thor, so I go by that. Might as well, right? You fought them off. It's too late for us. But the others are trapped in the outskirts. Please. Alright, I'll help them. I'm fine with this. Bye, dude. Is that dog's name Minimus? He's so small. Look at him. He's so tiny. Why can't I take the dog with me? Oh. Horrible giant worm, horrible giant worm, horrible giant worm. Not good. Not good. Nope. That's an awesome thing. Okay, let's see here. We've got... What statistics can we have here? I think I'm just going to do another point in this. So more blood aura. That's good. I actually want to change this over to our curse. We can change this now to... Probably our skeleton like this. Change that one to our golem. And we'll change this one to there. That way our curse is now bound to the right button. Oh god. Oh god. Ew. Oh, it's so gross. Literally, orders to evacuate, get out of here. Is that a... Do they have a dinosaur? They have a dinosaur. Yeah, you get an Ankylosaurus, dude. Have you checked out uh, the loot filter yet? No, it's awesome, dude. The loot filter's really goddamn good. It's incredibly specific, and I think that's fantastic. Yeah, we don't stop on ads on sponsored streams. 
we do on normal streams. Hi, the Rescued Wigglers. They're doing great. They're doing really good. The Rescue is doing fantastic. I love the way their spell feels, man. It's just nice shooting out giant, horrifying homing skulls. Jesus. I want to kill the worm. I want to kill the worm, Chet. I need to kill the worm. Evacuate, nerd. Ooh, a chest. Nice. Huh. What are their secret locations on these maps? It feels like there might be. I don't know. There are? Yeah, I feel like the maps are designed in a way where secrets would make sense. You know? You think chests are underwhelming this game? I don't think so. That dropped a lot of loot. I just have common items turned off. You have to remember, in games like this, the amount of drops is important. I almost just died there. More important than pretty much anything else. You want to have high amount of drops. Because then you have a higher chance of rolling higher level gear. Like golds. And blues and everything like that. So if you get less drops out of a chest, it would be worse. But it, it just dropped a lot of white items. Yeah. I don't, I don't miss clicking gold at all. I'm really glad that we can just walk past it and grab it. It's a nice feel. For now, only one is known near the start of the game. Really? So there are secrets. We just haven't found them all yet. As a community, they haven't found them. Yeah, see that? Awesome. See how many items it dropped? That's really good. Like, all of this is good so far. There's no reason to be... I, I'm not upset about that at all. Look how many items it dropped. It just didn't roll right. I need a higher chance of rolling. Yeah, white items can be really good, too. Because we can build those into things, so they're not wasted. I just don't want them. Yeah, the loot is a lot, dude. So I don't think it's underwhelming at all. God, that's a lot of dudes. Okay, it looks like we have a dude over here, up there. We're gonna try and go around. There we go. Eight of eight of that. Next one is going to be armor. We're going to start building up our defenses. That is a lot of dudes. That's a lot of dudes. Keep an eye out for potions when they drop. Had one renamed to beer. Funny little Easter egg. Okay, that's funny. Yeah, see, watch this. I'll hold X when I hit this. Bro. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the chess. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Calamity. 63% increased fire damage. 140% chance to ignite on hit with fire skills. When you kill an enemy with a fire skill, you take 4 fire damage over the next 2 seconds and increased fire spell cast speed. So you light yourself on fire if you're a fire mage when you're using this. What brings you here? Alright. 145% chance. It's town portal. But that's only with fire skills, and we don't have any fire skills yet. We will when our golem levels up. 
Just not yet. Hmm. Oh, wait. Was that a good one for me? Let me look at that. Huh. We don't use marrow shards anymore, but that health regen. I. Yeah, we're going to use that. What is that? Where's my portal? Okay, it's all the way over here. We have two more talent points we can put in here. Let's see this. Melee fire damage. Your golem deals additional fire damage with spells and melee attacks. This is it. Your golem has a chance to ignite enemies. It also has an additional fire resistance and deals more damage over time, multiplicated with other modifiers. Fire. Fire! Fire, golem. More. More, chat. Skeleton archers use fire arrow. Yes. Yes. Archers. Archers, chat. Multi-shot next. Oh. Next point will be multi-shot. This is good. The Burning Legion begins. I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. Wait a minute. Did that just... regenerate? What brings you here? Eternus Grace be with you. Interesting. Report successful evacuation to Captain Leora in the Council Chambers. Okay, so when we get back down there, we can do that. It looks like it regenerated all the monsters. Which is kind of interesting. I wonder why. It's a lot of dudes. Everything respawns. It's kind of nice. Let's go up this way. They want to have zones not reset, but it's a lower dev priority. Interesting. I kind of like that it resets right now, to be honest with you, because it's nice for the grind, you know, if I want to kill a bunch of stuff. But I can understand not wanting to reset, because you can just go back and, like, get, get a chest over and over again, right? What's up, one voice? The really important chests do not reset. That makes sense. Yeah, because you don't want it to be exploitive, you know. Warm, re warm regards, dude. Come back to Eve. Nah, I'm good. I love myself too much. Sorry, bud. Oh. Oh. That guy just got the worm regards right there. Yeah, literal worm regards. Alright, so we've saved everybody. We've at least told everyone to save themselves, right? Nice. Okay, so let's see. We're supposed to take this to the council chambers. So I guess we can just go over there? That waypoint is locked. I thought we had to return to this guy because he had the marker on him. F. Good free XP though. Tell you that much. Okay, so now what I'm going to start doing is getting armor. Because this also gives minion armor as well. It's about to give us spirit plague. Okay. That's a really good ability. That'll be a curse, but that curse actually increases... It does damage over time, which is enormous. Thank you for the subs, by the way. It's very nice of you. I like damage over time abilities like that. 
Love exploring builds in this? Yeah, dude, they're crazy so far. Like, honestly. Spirit Plague is really good. It sounds like it. Yeah, no, I like anything that spreads disease, right? Disease spreading stuff is kind of my jam. Um, like, I'll, I'll give you a good example. In Diablo 3, I actually played a uh, Witch Doctor, and I played a Chicken Plague build, where you just ran really fast and everything got covered in plague. Awesome build. Super fun. Yeah, spread stuff like that is good. Pop and Nurgle. Yeah. It is a fun build. I called him KFC. Kentucky Fried Curses. It was good. It was a good time. Constantly a chicken. Constantly spreading disease. That chest had nothing in it. Dude, I'm digging this. I love these designs of this environment. You know, it's funny because, like, I'm so used to games like this having randomized environments, right? But this looks really nice. It just... I don't know. Building it out statically... I think the randomization kind of makes it lose something. So I kind of like this a lot, actually. More than I thought it was going to for the, you know, the static environments. <clears throat> nice. Do you think this game is better than D4? I don't know yet. What I'm enjoying so far is I like the level of builds that I have. The voice acting is phenomenal. The storyline is definitely there. And like, present and actually makes you feel good. The gameplay is very good. The monster designs are interesting as hell. Is this a random? Random event? Okay, so this is Elder Ezra. This is actually part of the main storyline. Survive! Survive, you weird- Oh god, oh god, oh god, what is that? That's not good. Okay, it's got five stacks of fire on it. Fire's doing work. I'm out of mana. I don't know how I had negative mana there, but I did. Dude, sick. Gonna resummon that bone golem. That fire didn't work, dude. You can cast into mana debt? What happens when you get into debt? Like, who do you pay back, right? It's telling me to take the elevator, but I can't take the elevator. Is this bug? Were we bugged out? You hit the bug, TB back? Okay, so there's a bug for this. Okay, we can just teleport ahead. Yeah, just keep it in the next zone. Okay. No issue, sounds like. You. I can sense that you have a shard of the epoch, but that is impossible. Who are you? It's not impossible. We have time travel, nerd. I see. We have relied on the power of our shard for ages. All was assuming the others were lost, and it seems only tapping into a fraction of its potential. Nice. You were brought forward in time by the Shard. If you want to return to your time, we will need to use them together. Um, if the void does not consume us first, of course. I mean, I feel like I could just teleport back using the pad over there, but, you know, you do you. That's fine. We could do that. But whatever you want to do, man. Your companion is an expert at using the Shard. He can weaponize it against the Void. I have received word that his study is under attack. We may be out of time. Where, where are, yeah, what are the Shards? What are they? They are the Shards of the Epoch. A relic set to have power over fate itself. And after hearing your story, I have no doubt in this now. So what we can do is rebuild them into a thing, and then that thing destroys all, all of time, right? It was broken into three shards long ago. Oh, we have one of the three. We relied on one of them to sustain this place ever since the void destroyed the surface. 
I'll be taking that. We thought the other shards were lost, but with yours, we may have hope of surviving this. Or I could just have yours and build the ultimate weapon. Everyone here is either too old or too injured to go warn Elder Panion, except for you. Please, find him and have him return here before something terrible happens. Please, take these idols with you. An idol of Logon to guard you against chaos and one of a terror to guide you home. Wherever that may be, the gods have long left this world, but their memory will give you comfort. Be safe, traveler. Interesting. Idle slots. What is an idle slot? Idols will grant your character bonuses when equipped in the dedicated idol container located here. Okay. This is going to start getting wild, isn't it? Seven health on kill. Oh, man. So we have two different idols now. You can't rotate them. So one of them goes up and down, one of them goes left and right. So we can only get one of them. It's like a charm system, but unique to this special inventory. And that special inventory has a shape, so the shape of these matters. I like that a lot. Seven health on kill. Minion necrotic damage. Okay. Minion lightning damage. We're going to hold on to this one for later. I like that. I like that this doesn't take up your inventory space. The idea that it has this over here feels really good. What is blessings? What is this? What are those? Oh man, there's going to be so much shit in here, isn't there? The progression feel. I can feel it. I can feel the progression already. Give me some multi-shot, dude. Nice. Oh wait, we gotta go turn this one in too. Hmm. You. I did it. I love that these quests actually give you passive points. Spirit Plague. Okay, so we want to use Spirit Plague. And we want to change this one out for Spirit Plague. Okay, so Spirit Plague's gonna go on there. That's good. If we go back to our passives, what do we got in here? Putrid Demise. You have additional poison resistance, and whenever you kill an enemy, you have a chance to inflict poison on the enemies around them. Y'all right. That's kind of sick. I wonder if that passes down to my pets. Hmm. Increased minion health regeneration. Okay. You and your minions have increased health regeneration and effects that drain a percentage of your health drain less health. Uh, uh, hmm. Crimson Gl Gluttony is going to be the next thing. For sure. Additional armor per character level. Oh god, there's so many choices. There's so many choices, dude. Uh, and I can't wait to get a Necromancer. We're not even there yet. We don't even know what that is. I know where you're here, and I'll accept your thanks by allowing you to repay me with a favor. I know this looks grim, but we have to keep hope. We must believe that we'll survive this, that I'll survive this. I believe in our survival so much that I need you to go to my quarters and find my ledger. Alright, let's do it up. Gold won't save you. The blade might. Oh god, we got gambling. Little bit of a gambling man we got here. Look at this. Hey there. Wanna try your Look life? at that face, dude. Look at that face. What do we want for this, dude? What do you got? What is that? <laughs> Look at how gross that is, dude. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Does that say 5,700 gold? Nah. <laughs> Not even a little bit, bud. 
You think I'm made out of money? Please. I don't have money for that. Oh, by the way, just to let you guys know, the sponsored portion of the stream ended five minutes ago. I'm not going to stop playing the game. Game's fun. I enjoy this. It is technically no longer sponsored. I'm going to leave all the tags and everything up because they did sponsor the stream. And I'm just going to keep playing it. It's technically no longer a sponsored stream. Game is good. I'm going to keep playing it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sponsored portion only technically lasted two hours. Yeah, the game is fun. I actually really enjoy this, and I want to know more about this world. Now you're sponsoring them? Technically true. <laughs> I love getting spam messages to my phone. Ew. Ew. Ew, they're gross. Oh, they're made out of meat. I really, really like the Spirit Plague, dude. I really do. The Spirit Plague is fantastic. Are we all made out of meat? Ah, you know, some more than others. It's 100% increased mana regenerating and recovery speed. Oh, what is this? Take the ledger. Done. The disease. Oh god, the disease. The disease is so good. That's interesting. Well, I guess two blue dots means that it has two rare powers on it. Two blue style powers, right? Doxer prefixes and suffixes? That makes sense. Status effects builds? Yeah, dude. I love status effects. Status effects is my favorite. Like, so good for me. I once believed the shards would be safe where the gods could not reach. In the future, I was mistaken. I find myself in a ruined era. No. With what happened when I tapped into this power? Why did one shard come with me? Where are the others? Was all of this for nothing? Hmm. Alright, as it's no longer the sponsored portion of the stream, I'm moving back to the game section like this. That should be good there. Whoop, whoop. And... The UI is now set back up, and ads will no longer- will be paused for again. So you guys are good. Fix YouTubes? Nothing's wrong with YouTube. What do you mean- what do you mean, fix YouTube? What does that even mean? Thought you set up stuff for YouTube? I didn't change anything on this side. I haven't changed anything at all. Warlock is a movie like spamming status effects. I like status effects and minions, though. Oh, man. Wait. I need more points. Shit. How many points do I have? I think we should do Bone Aura. I need to have one point in this, and one point in this, don't I? To be able to get this? Do I need one in both, or just one in either? You'll need one to open path? Okay, I'm gonna put this in vitality then. And then we can get that next level. Just one path? Okay, that's good.
Jesus. Hi. You're big and terrifying. You're also dead. There's fire and poison, so there's a lot of variety. I really like fire, personally. I think fire is fun, but poison is also very fun. So, like, I don't know which one I want. I, I love when a shield happens, like a block happens, I can hear it. There are people who seek refuge, a means for survival. Even these were once the Olatri Mountains. Is this what becomes of my people? I offered them shelter. The tunnels and keeper ruins are still navigational. And, with their help, we can build something new. Bruno, so I sent you a message to you there. guard what little of the epoch I have left. And find a way to protect us. This is not the end. There we go. YouTube isn't showing you live. We don't know why that's happening. I'm definitely live on YouTube. You can go to my channel and you can see it live on there. I don't know why that's happening at all. It happened the other day too, and we're not sure what's going on. Twitch did that yesterday? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, that's a YouTube side problem, not a me problem. There's nothing I can do there. As quickly as I came here. YouTube's not showing live in people's friends list or whatever it is, in follow list. Yeah. As safe as it can be. We've created a sanctuary here. Hmm. It is time I hang up the title of Elder Balthus. With that, I begin again. Here I leave my knowledge. The records of Itera's past and the millennia of wrongdoings that created this world. I am disturbed by this era, but it is not a mistake. It is the consequences of our actions. History is not observed. It is made. We must act. Hmm. Shrine of Wealth. Drops gold. Oh, we love the gold. We love the gold. So the guy who made the mistake that created this era? Look, alright, making this era was important so that I could grind monsters, okay? We just created a doomed universe, and then we use it to gain levels. That's why it exists. All of this suffering, it's for us. Yeah. Don't forget that. It's important. Very selfish? No. It's for the greater good. Create a whole universe of sadness so that you could kill things in it for money. That's how it works. We're the greater good, yeah. See this? Not the greater good. Yeah, not the good not the greater good. Alright, we get another point in our golem. I kind of want to keep doing... Your golem has a chance to ignite enemies. Yeah, I'm just going to keep doing that one. You know... Another 20% chance to ignite. Seems real good. Seems really good. I just want fiery golem death. See, I wouldn't have gone down the fiery, you know, necromancer death. I did specifically because I picked up an item that gave me bonus ignite. And that made me want to do that. So, like, itemization of this can definitely lead you down interesting routes. I am gone. 
Keep Lost Refuge safe. Fight off the void. Do not succumb to despair. Oh? Are you looking for Penion? Heard he left to take the shard and face the void himself. He will fail. It is too late for us, and soon it will be too late for him as well. Too late for everyone. Orbis is already here. Oh look! You're gross! Ugh. Let's just put some ghosts out. Yee. Hi. That's a cool beam you got there. Real sucks that you missed. What's it feel like sucking that bad? What's that like for you? Nice. Oh my god, look at all the loot. Uh, what is an Ursine leather belt, dude? Four potion slots? 31% increased minion health? Alright. You know what? Let's just... You know, let's just... What's that one do? Dodge rating. Death Mask of Frost. You know, that's a lot more armor than my current one. I have to say. That's pretty... Oh god, it looks sick, too. Look at it. Mmm. I like how I'm all twitchy. That feels good in my bones. I like that. In my bones, chat. Nine percent increased minion damage. Yoink. Now we don't lose our minion damage. What's this? Health on kill. Not a very good one. Alright, I think we're good. There's a lot of loot. Yeah, I love when gear actually shows up in the character. I super agree with that. Gear showing up in the character is, like, mandatory for me for games like this, dude. You feel it skeletopathically? I definitely do. I have enough skeletons for more skeletopathy, currently. I've become very powerful in that regard. You lurk on every stream because you always lurk because you're playing on a, on a separate monitor? Makes sense. I, feel you please I accept. Stop Give me my passive points. Okay, bonus health regen, bonus minion health regen, and reduce health drain. We love to see that. Done. What is this going to be? Infernal Shade. Target enemy and all nearby enemies take fire damage per second. Each enemy can only have one Infernal Shade attached at a time. Expires after five seconds. Max four active shades. That's going to replace Spirit Plague for sure. You may find a treasure, my friend. It's kind of insane how little gold these are all worth. I may actually just start filtering out all the loot. Didn't you promise me a reward? Oh, yes, yes, yes. This whole thing will be worth much more soon anyway. Won't be worth much more anyway. Okay. He just gave me legendary gloves? Bro, what? Okay, 3% of elemental damage leached his health. 32% increased leech rate, and 13% elemental resistance. Yeah, alright. Done, I guess. Like, holy shit. That's awesome. I know I do zero elemental damage, but 13% elemental resistance. Does my fire over time, my status effect, not count as elemental damage? Because I thought it would. If it doesn't, then... Bleh. It does count? Well then, great. I do a lot of elemental damage then. Gods be with you. Stay safe. Dude, we out here. Fire is not an element? I feel like fire is in fact an element. I feel like it is. It's just a feeling. Yeah. 
I feel like it's the element of fire. I may be wrong about this. Yeah. Especially because, guess what? Guess how we can fix this? See that right there? When I hold down alt? Elemental resistance adds to your fire, cold and lightning resistances. Hmm. Hmm. Would stand a reason that fire is an element. Seeing as that elemental damage increases fire damage. I'm still on the fence, Chip. This is a typo. You're a typo. That's right. How you gonna feel about that? Minimum skill level's now level 3. Alright. Another one. More. I might end up switching to poison eventually, though. I might end up switching to poison, because poison seems like way more interesting. Fire's cool. Poison's kinda cooler. Oh god, it's the worm. Oh god, the worm is creating other weird things. Uh, oh, my poor skeletons. And he's down. Alright. What is that? So we have time rifts in the open world, too. Oh god, we're like way back in the past now. We're in negative 6020 BE. The ancient era, it's all dinosaurs. So we went to an era we weren't even aware of before. Alright. Alright. Good to see my, my boots are lava proof, that's good. Did that just resurrect itself? Jesus. Keys get redeemed after stream, guys. Don't don't panic. You're gonna be okay. I promise. I'm actually gonna be making alerts for those soon too. Gross. Yeah. Yo, what about my butterfly effect? Don't worry about it. Pocket dimension, we're fine. Keys, you'd have to learn how to read, I think, if you wanted to know about the keys. I know that's difficult, yeah. Channel point redeem. Keys. Could be difficult. That lava looks really good, yeah. bit exciting, you know. A little bit exciting. The Ancient has dinos? Yeah, we just fought him. That one's gonna come back to life. Yo, 
Yeah, we are smashing it, dude. Ew. Ew. What the hell is that? I think there's way too much HP. That is gross. Summon Volatile Zombie. Don't mind if I do. Oh god, they're beautiful. Oh, they're so beautiful. How many of these can I make? Do they have a timer? I can make six of them. Nice. It begins, chat. The great exploding of our time. Yes. Yes. Whenever you kill an enemy, you have a chance to inflict poison on en enemies around them. You know, I feel like poison into poison would be kind of a cool way to do more damage. You know? That's probably a good thing. What does this one do? What does that do? Let's just let's just get a point of poison in it, and that gives us infernal shade. Target enemy and all nearby enemies take fire damage. Let's do this. I didn't have any animation with it. Where animation? Odd. One more. Even more ignite. Maybe animation on target? Might be. Might be. I love big machinery. Oh, level. Level with lava in it. Big machinery. Alright, it's doing exactly what I want it to. Oh my god, it's amazing. Oh, it's amazing. This is the best. This is fantastic. Look at him, he's covered in a bomb. You basically put like a bomb spirit on him, and then he carries that bomb spirit for a little bit. My golem is just wrecking house, too. Oh, hi. Just gonna put a spirit on you for a little bit. Ow. Jesus. All right. All right. <sighs> yeah, minions are pretty good, man. Minions are pretty damn good. Let's go up this way. I really enjoy the game, dude. Uh, I enjoyed enough that I was only sponsored to play it for two hours, and I'm not stopping. That was half an hour ago. I have no reason to stop playing it. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. And today is Wednesday, my dudes, so that means playing video games for a very long time. Imbued Ritual Stone of Evasion. Offhand Catalyst. Interesting. Heretic Garb. Plus one to wandering spirits. That's hungering souls. Wandering spirits would be the other thing. Interesting. I kind of like mine more. Like this one more, rather. Yeah, let's put that on.
Oh, but that one's just kind of better. Yeah, that one's just better. What is one attunement? What is plus one attunement? Is that a character set? Each point of attunement grants two mana and improves your skills that rely on your innate magic inside you and your surroundings. Interesting. I don't know what that does. Mine gives me two intelligence, though, and intelligence actually increases skills that rely on carefully studied magic, which is my minions are intelligence-based. So there's no reason for me to get rid of the intelligence. Attunement's interesting, but it's not. A, these aren't attunement-based. They're minion and intelligence-based. Two minutes sentinel. That makes sense. Was G in search stuff? Oh, I'm not worried about that. I like finding it outside of that. Naturally finding those mechanics and stuff like that makes the game more enjoyable for me. Yeah, because just knowing the mechanic doesn't show me where it is, how it fits into the world, all that kind of stuff. What is that? There's something over there. What the hell is this? Uh, uh, oh god, there's a bad man in there. Oh god, I made a mistake. Oh god, I made a mistake. Ah! Oh god, he's not even close to death. This is really not good. Let's not die, alright? Let's do anything except for die, right now. Which damage do these do? Alright, we're good. Okay, we're not good. Okay, we're a little bit better now. Let's get that health potion. Did he die? Holy shit. Hi. Who's that? Pepper? Pepper's a good name. Hello. You have Wardenbergs. Yes, you do. Wanna see the ch wanna see them? Yeah. You wanna be named Pepper? You can't hear me anyway, you're deaf. No? You wanna go? You wanna go wild? You wanna run away? Where are you going? Where are you going? You wanna sniff that? Wanna get that? Steal it? Boink. New ferret. Shay just named it Pepper. She is deaf and has Wardenbergs, just like Mouse. Exactly the same. So what is this? We got an experimental leather belt of hope. It has like a weird icon on this. 28% increased poison damage. Four potion slots. 16% increased mana regen for four seconds when you use a potion. 14 mana gained on potion use. Void resistance and cooldown recovery speed. That is disgustingly strong. That is really, really strong. Yeah, we're using that. Yeah, we're using that. You have a fair name, Salt? No, not yet. Although soon. You know, she's got a best friend. I found the first thing I don't like in the game. I need to know, this has increased chance of finding potions. Is there an increased chance of finding magic items? 
Is there a magic find in the game? Who's this? There is not? Okay, then, I, then I'm fine with it. As long as it's just increased chance of potions, that's great. Because what ends up happening is if you have a magic find in a game, what ends up happening is your magic find becomes the only stat that matters. That's the only thing that matters. If the gear doesn't have magic find in it, then it doesn't matter. At no matter what. Because you have to get that to get better gear, to get that to get better gear, and it just ends up being this feedback loop of shittiness. More potions is fine. I'm okay with that. Oh. Who are you? What's your new name? Moose? I did say Moose before. For one of them. Do you want to be named Moose? Do you want to be named Moose? Do you want a Moose name? I was thinking the other ferret that is really, like, friends with Pepper could be Salt. Salt and Pepper. Because they're both white. Why? And look at that. You're very new. Oh, little man. Little man. You're gonna be okay. It's got a little bit of a big spleen. A little bit of spleganomy. Big spleen boy. So, those two ferrets are two of the five that came into us from that abandonment case. Someone abandoned them in a shed along with a um, bearded dragon. So, we brought them into the rescue and it's just, it's sad, man. But they're going to be okay. They're going to be okay now that they're with us. How about Peepo? I'm trying to get Shay to name him Peepo. Who's this one? Huh? What'd you name him? Badger? Badger's a pretty good name. You do look like a badger, don't you? Oh, you're not awake, are you? You're like, what is cool? It's okay. It's okay. You don't need to be afraid. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He got so afraid of the microphone. Are you sleepy? You wanna go to sleep? You can sit on me and sleep if you want to. If you want to. It's okay. He's a little scared. There we go. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be alright. Good boy. Gonna be good. He's so afraid. A little scared. Do you have a fat spleen as well? A little bit. Small. What's going on? You wanna run? You okay? He's not awake yet. He's probably awake. Yeah. So the new ones, um, there was clear signs of abuse on two of them. So they have a little bit weird reactions, and that's one of them. So my hope is to train that out of them to show them that they're okay, you know. What happened to the bearded dragon? State of the Humane Society. We don't we don't rescue bearded dragons, we rescue ferrets. So we took the ferrets and the beardy the beardy is with them. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. They're gonna be alright. One of them needs surgery. He needs his tail removed. He has a, what is called a cordomo, which is a large tumor on his tail. It's on his spinal, spinal spinal cord. So we'll get that removed from him on Thursday. Yeah. Nice. Interesting. God, I love the exploding corpses, dude. At level 20, we get another another special passive, it looks like. I haven't decided which one I want for a special passive, actually. This is minion damage. What does this look like for there? Oh my god. Explosion deals damage in a larger area. Zombies no longer move. Hmm... When a zombie dies, you have a chance to cast Infernal Shade on a near on an enemy nearby the zombie. So we get a combo effect? Which means if I get Infernal Shade skills, this will make it so that when it dies, it also does Infernal Shade with the Infernal Shades. Oh, man. Oh, the combo. When a minion dies, you have a chance to cast Volatile Zombie at its location, expending its mana cost. Whenever a minion dies, it has a chance to explode into a Volatile... But this is a minion. Does that mean that when a volatile zombie dies, there's a chance that it summons volatile zombie?
We're going for that one first. That's the first one we're going for. It may only be 30% chance, but I don't give a shit. That's insane. This cannot summon more than one zombie. Oh, never mind. Can it be triggered by zombies or corpse parasites? On the alt text. Zombies can't summon zombies. The explosion's based physical damage and vomit's base skill and poison damage are converted to fire. What do you mean, vomit? The explosion has a chance to poison enemies. Hmm. Poison deals poison damage over time and lasts 3 seconds. The first 30 stacks each reduce poison resistance by 5%. 2% against bosses and players. And players? We got PvP in this? Zombies will now vomit on enemies before exploding. Insult to injury right there. Dealing physical and poison damage over time. Zombies lose 33% of their maximum health per second while vomiting. That's fantastic. Vomit deals more damage, multiplicated with other modifiers. Vomit is a chance to poison enemies each second. Bro, this is getting awesome. There's so much weird shit in here. How do we get more zombie? The explosion deals damage in a larger area, and when a zombie dies, it creates a skeleton vanguard, but volatile zombies cost more mana. So, the zombie sheds its skin by exploding and releases the skeleton that then joins the skeleton war. Okay. I'm into that. I like that. Yeah, it's the hatching. We hatch the zombie. Ooh. Zombies deal more damage and have more movement speed. Both multiplicative. We're gonna have to get that. Ferocious Horde. Zombies have increased movement speed per point of missing health, but their health decays faster. Zombies now leap toward the, towards their targets. When a zombie dies, you have a chance to cast Sacrifice on another nearby minion. Sacrifice cast this way costs less mana. I don't think I want that one. Summoning speed... Mana efficiency, grave attunement. Zombies deal more damage, multiplicated with other modifiers, and zombies' health decays slower, but they also move slower. I don't know if I want that. Giant zombie. You now summon, summon a single large zombie with more health that deals more damage in a larger area, all multiplicated with other modifiers, but volatile zombie costs more mana. Oh my god, dude, it doubles the damage. Both area and damage modifiers also affect repulsive vomit. So we can make one giant zombie that- that has a Giga Vomit. Is that what I'm seeing here? God damn it, dude. Okay, I think going for Shepherd of Thralls is the right way to do this. I think Shepherd of Thralls is the right way to do this, because then we can get more minions out of our minions. Having them shed their skin and join the skeleton army is kind of sick. The other way we could do it is Effigy of Combustion, because that's also sick. The fire exploding or the more skeleton exploding both seem really good. Effigy of Combustion is just so good. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna be thinking thinking. There's a lot of thought that has to go into this. Wait a minute, we have another thing to go on. Oh god, there's so many things in here. When a skeleton dies, there's a chance to summon a random new one of the same location every th after three seconds. You can summon more skeletons. I do love more skeletons. You gain ward whenever you or your skeleton dies. Whenever one of your skeletons dies, not you or your skeletons. You summon multiple skeletons in a single cast, but summon skeleton costs more mana. This does not affect your maximum number of skeletons. That's fine. That's way better, actually. Skeletons getting health leech. Ridiculous. More skeletons. 
Skeleton warriors have more maximum health, while skeleton rogues and archers deal more damage. Don't mind if I do. We'll go this route, and then we'll get one more skeleton here, and then... Why do we want that removing archers? I guess that's for that side. We'll get these, and then we'll get hollow walkers. Hmm. Yeah. I think archers are better. I'm gonna go down this route. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this twice so I can get one extra skeleton. Then I'm going to go down this route. I'm going to get that once, and then I'm going to get the skeletons, the archer ones. So that way our archers have an increased critical strike chance of 30%. Then I'm going to go to multi-shots so we have a, more arrows every single time. So that we just fire a shitload of arrows, right? Just a shitload of arrows and they all have an extra chance to crit. Just arrows forever. We'll have five skeleton archers, all of them just wrecking house. Because the biggest problem with skeletons is when they're melee, they just die. And we don't have the shield, we don't want to get the Dread Phalanx or the Shambling Steel, so it's fine. You know, we'll leave it this way. And this will just bonus out the damage. Archer damage, 15%. That's great. That's huge. Golem can tank, exactly. We use the Golem as a fire tank, we use the Archers to do damage. You'll love to see it. Burn him alive! It's fine. Just burn it all. Just burn it all. It's fine. Dude, the combos in this are just good. We love our zombies, dude. Nice. Your death has come. I don't feel like my death has come. I don't think that's true. You know, like I feel like I feel like I'm still alive. I might be wrong about that. But I feel like that's likely the case. Gods. Terra watch over you. We're gonna go get this way and get this shrine. Hmm. That's a lot of stuff. 88% increased poison damage. I feel like the game is deciding for me right now. Just a little bit. You know what I mean? Just 88% more poison damage. Okay. You know? This game is half the cost of Diablo? Yeah, and a little bit of twice the game. There's a lot of map in that map, dude. Is there PvP? There was something that said that I deal more damage to players, so if there's not PvP right now, it likely will exist. Have you played Path of Exile? Yes, I have. I have played Path of Exile. Quite a lot. In my country, D4 at full price equals four copies of Less Epic. Weird, dude. Epoch, rather. Likely due to currency Got conversion you. rates. Ooh, more Stay XP. Safe. Let's go sell all of our junk. Feeling lucky? No. 
Just want you to take all my junk away. Those staves are pretty good, man. Panion Silda, I fear you please stop him. One sec. Yeah, I'm definitely going to set up the loot filter. Because I was looking at it before. I already hit all normal items. I want to add some more rules. We're going to add an affix to this. We want to look at minion damage. The reason why I didn't add a loot, loot thing first is I didn't know what kind of statistics we had available to us. And I think that's really important to understand. I think I'm actually going to wait on this. I want to know more some of the statistics that exist in the game before I start writing filters that lock me out of stuff. Because there are still items that I find where I'm surprised by what I could do with that build, you know? Did anyone redeem a Heartbound Steam Key? Yes? Yeah, I've been streaming for seven years, my dude. You can make it emphasize? I mean, sure, but also, I'm just going to wait. I want to know more about the game. You have to understand what drops first before you start throwing out filters, because otherwise the filter is going to change how I feel about the game. It's going to change the way that I can make my character builds. Yeah, I know you can X, uh, hold X to temporarily disable it. Ew. Ew. Oh, boss fight. Ooh, boy. Another bone golem. I'm out of mana. Shit. Some skellies yet. Gotta keep dropping those in, dude. These explodey guys do a shitload of damage, by the way. Got him. Seems he failed to handle the void's power. So much for their mighty elder. Pathetic. Yeah, pathetic. The shard. Wait, that's two shards. This is a bad idea, right? I know you can set the loot filter to just recolor instead of hiding. I just don't want to do it yet. Loot filter's cool. I just don't want to engage with it just yet. I will. It'll be okay. I promise. The end of time. I'm gonna put you up there. You seem a little disoriented. First time here, traveler. Yes. Is that a giant worm in the background? Is that the worm at the end of the Okay, good. This is what is left of your timeline. And many others. Welcome to the end of time. Don't act so surprised. Countless other travelers have come and gone from here. Warm regards, dude. <laughs> I must have looked that surprise my first time as well. Are you just a full-time streamer now? I've been a full-time streamer for seven years. I make video games and I play video games. Wednesdays are gaming days where I play. The rest of the week I work on video games and I help other people make video games themselves. I work 16 hours a day. Every day except for Thursday. Most of them well, I work 16 hours a day on Thursday. I just don't stream on Thursdays. Is a dangerous yeah. hobby. If you there you go. Chance, what does there you go mean? You should find your friend, <laughs> Gasper. He might be kind enough to show you how to tap and you're happy? into your yes. true potential. Very much so. 
you... I think the way to put this is this, man. I get to help other people make video games. I'm gonna die one day, right? So are all of us. All of us will. But we're making things that the next generation can play and be excited about and maybe go make some of their own things. Everything that we do creatively becomes a part of a culture of humanity, even in a small way. So hell yeah, I'm happy. I get to make stuff. And when I make stuff, other people make stuff. And then maybe someone far down the chain will also make stuff because of that. So hell yeah, I'm happy. That's awesome as hell. How do you do 16 hours? Because I've been doing it slowly more and more over time until now. And that's it. There's no way Thor can read my silly little sentence. I can, though. Over the last seven years, I've basically just sat there and trained myself to read chat, talk to you guys, and did all of this in a way where I feel good about it. Burnout incoming? I've been doing this for seven years. The first two and a half years of me streaming, I didn't miss a day. The only time I did is when I was too physically sick to go to the stream. And I had to stop. That's it. Yeah. Slow cook incoming? I know, right? I think it's funny when people try to apply like other types of rule sets to, to me or anybody else. Just because you have a limit doesn't mean I have that same limit. Just because I have a limit doesn't mean you have that same limit. The way that I run my day is I work 16 hours a day, I have 3 hours of free time, and then I sleep for 5 hours. And that's what I do every day. On Thursdays, I do the same thing, I'm just not on stream. Because I need a day off stream. That's all. Do you do any sports? No, dude, I'm a programmer. What? <laughs> oh, sports. Stay safe. Ridiculous. Brings you here. Who's there? Nana? Nana who? Nana, your business! Right. Fantastic. May your oh, look, the gambling man is here at the end of time. But no, I'm very happy doing this. And it means a lot to me that so many of you guys were part of the game jam. 1,400 people in the game jam, man. I'm actually going to be talking to the teams about their prices and everything today so we can make sure this Hello, can start getting out to them. Because transferring all that money is not easy to do. Yeah, I do bodybuilding po contests every day. Woo. Get muscles. Is this the year you pop off? Last year, November was. I went from... Basically, when I first started streaming, we had like no viewership. Over six years, I got up to about 400 viewers, which is our core community. M grand majority of them are still here today, right? In November, we went from 400 average viewers up to about 10,000. And now we're here. And the reason why is because we started putting out YouTube shorts and people found them there and then moved over to Twitch. So on YouTube side, we have 1,500 viewers. And on Twitch side, we have 10,500 right now. And it's wild. And I can't thank you all enough. So thank you. Seriously. You're the reason I have a Twitch account? You're awesome. We found more and more that that's very, very, very common. Fall of the Outcasts. Bro, what? So this is the endgame environment with procedurally generated maps. 18% increased item rarity, 10% increased experience gain. Enemies have 35% chance to shred armor on hit. Let's go to this one. Level 58! Jesus Christ. Don't go to any of them. This is nuts. I'm a little bit early. It's so freaking cool. What level am I? Like 20. I just started. It's an awesome system, though. I love that it's, like, so thematic with the rest of the game. Enter the time rift and unlock your mastery. Where's... Where do I go? Wait, what is this? I love that. That's such a good look at the horrible death hole, whatever that is. And the big worm. Is that another worm? Is that a baby worm? Baby worm. Baby worm. 
wear diapers for long streams? No. You've you might. Up. I just get up and use that's the bathroom good. like an adult. I know that's I'm difficult sure for you to understand. You have many. I see you've spoken with the armor-clad woman. Outrageous, she dude. She may be flippant, but she intends well. Your potential is infinite. Infinite in strength, yet at risk of drowning in a sea of other selves. Countless alternate versions of you have come and gone, only to drift away into nothingness. Some of them were strong, and their power can be absorbed, given a new home in you. I warn you, your will must be absolute, or you will risk losing yourself to the storm of shades. Do you accept this risk? Then close your eyes and focus on the potential you wish to wield as I guide the shades to you. I mean, it's gotta be Necromancer. It, it's just, there's no other way. Picking a mastery is permanent? Yeah, I mean, it's Necromancer. I'm, I'm going pet build. I want a pet build. It's got, no, I can't be Lich, nah. Necromancer. I'm going pet. I like pets. Pets is the way, dude. Necromancer. Not even a choice. I'm not even looking at it. No. Necromancer. 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 Alright, what do we got in Necromancer Mastered? Oh my god. Wait, I can still use points on this? Really? How do I... Remove points. Can I remove points from Acolyte and put it into Necromancer? Yeah, Necromancer, dude. That's true. Twenty minimum? Okay. We have twenty in that. That's fine. You have additional health and you use a potion, you and your minions are imbued with hunger. Boring. Increased damage, minion damage, 4% per point. Minion attack speed, 2% per point. Increased minion cast speed. Ooh. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down the damage tree. And we're going to get these. Your minions have a chance to shred armor on hit. The reason why is the more of this that we have, the more disgusting we can get. That's great. That's really good. So we're going to start moving that direction. I see that you are still you. That strength will be necessary if our world, our reality, is to have any hope. Yeah, I got summon Wraith too, that is true. How do we summon the Wraith though? Summons a wraith that will rapidly fade from this world, but will seek and attack foes while it remains. That's kind of in the same realm. How much damage does this do? I don't actually know the damage. The, the same in the same realm as the zombies, though. How long does a shade last? A wraith. Oh, that lasts a while. Do we have a limit on how many of these we can have? It looks like we can have six. Okay, we can have up to six of these. So mana regen is king now. So zombies are good. Wraiths are technically better. And they serve the same purpose. Infernal Shade is cool because it's an ability that lasts on them. They both have AoE, don't they? Does a wraith not have AoE? I think I'm going to switch out the zombies for the wraiths right now. Yeah, you can go into negative mana on your next cast, but then you have mana debt. It just takes a while to come back.
Wraith is an area tag? Oh, it does. Yeah, physical melee area. So that's a physical ability, though. So physical versus physical fire spell. So the minion tag on that is different. We need more physical attacks, so I think this is fine. I should have to go back up. I don't know why I left that area. There's a portal up there. Has a node to make it fire. I'm interested in seeing that. At level 20, we should be getting another thing up there. Into the council chambers. You think I got extra skeletons? Did I? Oh shit! I got extra skeletons. That's awesome. We got one extra skelly. Hmm. I see. Why the terror? You've done. I see. Even we have the shard now. You. Thank you. There is an old passage to the surface. I will dispel. Hello. Search for other time rifts. Okay, we've got another quest down over here. May I tear a smile upon you? Farewell. All right, here we go. Those archers are sick, dude. God, they're so good. You love to see it. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized something. If we go into here, under this, this right here has reduced health drain. Does that count for my wraiths as well? Where they just take reduced damage over time? Okay. That's pretty sick. And yeah, EHG Photon. Fantastic game. Awesome as hell. I love the way that everything combines together. It feels really good. Let him burn! Easy. We're gonna start stacking mana regen for sure. Seems like they finally fixed the servers. Good. It's a difficult task. Like, to be honest with you, I have a whole post about it on Twitter that exploded because people didn't realize how hard it was. Yeah, all the skills seem to be viable as well. I agree with that. That's a lot of dudes. That's a lot of dudes. I'm running out of mana. Let me get my dudes over there. They resist physical damage. Wraiths were a mistake. Oh god. Wraiths were a mistake, chat. Conditionally, thank you for the rating party of eight. Hope you're having a good day. I made myself fully physical based. This is not this is not smart.
You said there's a summoner behind them? Oh god. Oh god, I've just been fighting minions. That's not good. Okay, there we go. I was like, why are there so many of these, dude? That was that. It's just that there was a summoner. So anyway, there's a lot of dudes. There's a lot of dudes. Summoner versus summoner, dude. Legendary body armor, you say? <gasps> it's a minion body armor. Minions have a 40% chance to bleed on hit. Minions have a 122% chance bl increased bleed duration. Ho! Oh. Let them bleed! Tons of bleed, dude. Oh god, the bleed, dude. The bleed is immense. Holy shit. It's just bleeding on everything. Everything is bleeding and on fire. You love it. A single legendary augments the shit out of your build. How's it going, chat? Kronos, it's wonderful. I didn't stop playing the game after the two hours. I just got a legendary that makes it so my pets make things bleed. Or a unique, rather. It's a unique item, right? Yeah. Unique leather coat. Minions have 40% chance to bleed on hit. Increases my maximum HP, 25 armor, and minions have 122% increased bleed duration. The horns of the immortal empire fill the hearts of the living with fear, and the bones of the dead with glory. Hell yeah. Legendaries are a different thing? Alright. I'm down with that. Can I get mod, please? No? Lol. You know, the mods are paid here. They're, they're, you know, it's not really how that works. I have a great deal of trust in the people who are the moderators. Yeah. Let's get deeper into here. I'm loving these. Rot flies are horrifying, by the way. I'm almost level 18. I'm getting there. These are worth a ton of XP. There we go. The experience gain has been pretty immense in here. More damage. No summoning for you this time, bud. I don't know what that was. There's something big down there and I'm not happy about it. Oh god, what is that? Is that a golem? Holy shit. You see that thing? There's like a moving mountain in the background. Horrifying. Actually, horrifying. Yeah, we're gonna follow that thing and find out what he is. Is he friend? Is he enemy? I don't know yet. Well, he's activated, that's for the sure. cultists had a philosophy. The void transcends reality. And by embracing it, so could they. Oh, that's a bad idea, bud. After You're looking war, gross. This world was gone. If they devoted themselves to despair, 
did welcome them. A form of hope. Desperate. Worthless in the end. We're seeking the last shard in Chapter 3. So interestingly, we saw the golem activate, but we don't get to see the golem. I want to know. Dungeon. There's so much map in this map. This route will bypass many areas, but requires access to completion of Lightless Arbor. Let's go back here. Please? Can we not travel there right now? What's going on? Travel button seems broken. You good? Alright. You are there? Is that what it was? Oh, I thought, it, I thought that's where I was going to. So that's the surface. That'll go up to there. I was thinking it was over here for some reason. I want to go back to the upper district because we have find signs of lesser refuge in the shattered valley and search for other time rifts. Where is the shattered? This is the sheltered wood. What is the shattered valley? Is that in the imperial era? Is that where that is? Which era is this in? Okay, so the Shattered Valley is actually up past this. So we do have to go back to the surface. Okay, now it makes sense. Yeah. Dude, that laugh is fantastic. Yeah, those laughs are sick, dude. I'm digging that. You're fantastic? No, you're fantastic. What's level cap? I actually don't know. We're getting there. It's a hundred? Alright. Hundred's pretty up there. That's good. That's good. Is there anything progression-wise past level 100? Because I know that certain side quests are actually giving me skill points. Is there any way to get anything beyond 100? Is it just gear? There is. Cosmetics? That's cool. Gear and corruption? Interesting. I just realized something. There's basically no reason for me to cast Hungering Souls. So here's what I'm going to do. There we go. Now we're good. Now we can do Hungering Souls on one. We got rid of it, so we got Summon Wraith now. And now we can do this for our elemental damage, if we need elemental damage. We'll save a place for mages for later. We don't have mages yet. At least I don't think we do. Now we're good. We can just adapt or build. Doesn't matter. of an ARPG gamer in general are you? Very much. Tens of thousands of hours much. I love action RPGs. Very, very much so. 
and I'm very critical of them. Yeah, I'm a huge nerd for this. Yeah. Look at all the love in chat. That's fantastic. Oh, level 19. Another one. Ugh, ugh. It's huge. Maybe get to see Endgame? I mean, I will. I'm not going to stop playing this. It's a Wednesday. I got unlimited time. I got no stream tomorrow, my dude. We can go all day. We can do 20 hours. No one can stop me at this point. It's too late. I think that thing just came back to life and then I murdered with a cut of laughter. Holy shit. I'm getting levels so quickly in here, dude. It's 100% worth. Yeah, this is absolutely, absolutely worth it. Jesus. Interesting. It's an idol. But it's a one-slot idol. Look at that. We'd love to see that. One-slot idols. How's the game feeling? Very good. I'm really enjoying it, to be honest with you. I do know about the loot filter. Yeah, I do know about the loot filter. I just haven't set it up. I want to see all the different types of affixes that items can have first before I go and go full bore into the loot filter. Because right now, it's not really about filtering loot, it's about just playing the game, right? And I'm well ahead in terms of scaling on the monsters that I'm fighting, so I'm not worried about it. Ritual stones are so interesting. It's an offhand item that buffs the hell out of you. We love exploding zombies, dude. There we go. There we go. What are we going to choose? I feel like it's got to be Wraiths, dude. It's got to be Summon Wraith, for sure. That'd be really foolish not to do that. Wraiths have more maximum health, multiplicative with their modifiers, but Summon Wraith costs more mana and has reduced cast speed. Hmm... The cost is not that much. Putrid Wraith, which poison enemies. Okay. Wraith's critical strikes deal more damage. You control more Wraiths at once. Gain ward for each Wraith summoned, but their health decays more quickly. Wraiths are larger, deal more damage and hit a larger area with their melee attacks. So that's just better. Wraith's just better. Health no longer decays, but you are limited to only two Wraiths. That might be worth it. Because if we use something like... Okay, so... If we use that... With this... Am I still bound to only two wraiths? I can get four wraiths. Mm -hmm. 
Effects with increase your maximum wraiths do not apply if you have this node. Okay. Damn. Bleed, which we already have bleed. I think we should go down this route. I actually think we should go down this route. Right here. Yeah, I think that's the right way to do this. Yeah, I think we're going to go down this. We're going to do Twin Spirits. We're going to do Sequel to Avarice. And we're going to do Sanguine Spirits, because we're already doing Bleed Build. Yeah, I know Spamming Race gives you Ward. I know that. I think this is a better op option, though. Because what we want to do is we want to be spamming Zombies. Or some other Sacrificial Ability, right? We don't really want to be spamming Wraiths. Because it ruins our overall output. Summon Wraith has a shorter cooldown, and there's a shorter delay between each Wraith being summoned. Nice. Removes the delay between each Wraith being summoned, but fewer Wraiths are summoned per cast. Round it up. Yeah, zombie DPS is really good. Okay, so we go one, two, three, one. Because we got four points. One. Alright. There we go. Go into our zombie, or into our giant dude real fast. Base physical damage of fire golems melee attacks is converted to fire. Consequently, this damage scales with increases to minion fire damage, but not increases to minion physical. Fire Golems also cast Infernal Aura, a spell that deals a burst of damage on cast and fire damage over time afterwards. Yes. We need one more point in this, so we get another skeleton there. Fire Golem. Alright, I think we're styling now. We got all of our dudes. Covered in dudes, Jet. Oh my god, it's amazing. Oh my god, it's amazing. It's everything I wanted and more, Chet. There's no blood golem build? There is. I just didn't go that route. I wanted fire. Covered in dudes. AFK build? Not even. I'm doing fire and bleed. And it's great feeling right now. Okay, I think we have to go back down this way. That might wrap the map together and we'll probably end up exiting out top. This can eventually lead to an AFK build? How would you AFK build? There's no... infinitely spawning monsters. You can do thorns. You can do that. It's a goon squad. It's pretty good. I mean, look at him, dude. The best part about being a necromancer is just walking through walls of enemies. Oh, Rita could do this? I'm playing on hardcore, though, so, like, I don't want to be AFK, you know? Hmm... I want to look for minion damage. I want some... Affix. Actually... Yeah, can we search this? Minion. Class specific. Minion freeze rate multiplier. Holy shit, this goes wild, dude. Minion fire damage is cool, but that's not the only damage I want. I want minion damage. Minion health. Minion health regen. Damage over time for minions. 
Minion melee and bow damage. Minion spell and bow damage. Minion melee and spell damage. Minion dodge rating I don't care about. Experimental minions transported with traversal skills. That's weird as shit. Damage reflected for you and your minions. Minion melee attack speed. Increased minion cooldown recovery speed. Don't care about that. Minion increased healing effectiveness. There's so much in here, dude. Minion chance to bleed on hit. To poison on hit. Melee critical strike chance. Can't use any of them for Acolyte? What are you talking about? I guess these are primalist idols. Does that not work for me? Can't do primals? Okay. How do I uncheck this? It won't let me uncheck that. Can you not uncheck that from the... Right-clicking didn't do it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I see. It, it's not working. Acolyte idols. Minion cooldown recovery speed. Chance to apply mark for death on hit. Inflict plague. Minion fire damage. Minion cold damage doesn't really matter. Critical strike chance for you in your minions. Alright. Let's hit confirm on this. And we're going to say... Is there an advanced option? Because I don't want it to remove these. I want it to emphasize these. Yeah, capitalize his item label. Let's add that. So I'm emphasizing items with those affixes. And see, this one is now bold. Because this got minion health regen. So that makes sense. Do recolor instead of show. Recolor. Oh. I'm going to make it green. There we go. That's so good. That's a great way to do that, man. Yeah, you never have to use both. That's good. Horrifying. Oh, wait, we got a point. More damage. Summon Skeletal Mage. All right. We're getting rid of Infernal Shade. We're getting Summon Skeletal Mage now. How many of these can we have? Two mages at a time. There we go. They don't have a cooldown, so they don't burn to death. Nice. Now we got a wall of dudes. Oh, we got a wall of dudes. You can have three? It says right there, you can have limited to two skeletal mages at a time. Unless I have some kind of special on it, it says that I can only have two. Why does it let me have three? You are limited to two. Plus one for Necro, is that what it is? That's kind of sick. Yeah, the Necro passive, I feel like it should update this tooltip. You know what I mean? Like, that should that tooltip should be updated because of my Necro passive. Yeah, these should update. This is limited to three, and it's actually five. So I, I feel like that should be updated. Yeah, tooltip should update like that. That'd be a piece of feedback I'd give, for sure. I always like updating tooltips, especially when it's like damage ranges and stuff, too. Damage ranges feel good. Yeah, sadly the tooltip's not updated, but it, sh it really should update. Yeah, they ha the way that they update those... Do you know how tooltips update? I don't care about the 10 gold. I don't care, confident. So if you're wondering how tooltips get updated, it's kind of an interesting thing for video games. What you do is you have to build something called a token. Where inside of that sentence, that token can equal to a stat. And then that stat, as it updates, will then inject itself into that. So all of these have to be what is called tokenized. So it's not as simple as just like, oh, update it. They have to build tokens for all of these. The tokens actually have to have names. Those tokens have to be measured. And then they have to be put into the text on all of those. And there has to be other things into there to make sure that those tokens don't actually like, conflict with other tokens, and that they don't make the text too large. Yeah. It's not a crypto thing, you goblins. I swear to God. Amazingly, tokens existed before crypto. That's why we had arcade games. Dear God. All of you. All of you have brain rot from the internet. I swear to God. 
can't handle yourselves, can you? Can't do it. Oh, I have a new potion. Interesting. Did they just auto-use that potion? Hmm. Okay, so we can't get another one still level 35. When are we getting a Thor NFT? Never. Never at all. Not gonna hit. What do you have? What do you have? What does it have? Increased minion damage. Where's that go? Here's in the offhand, doesn't it? Minion health, minion damage? Don't mind if I do. It's working, Chet. It's working. Oh yeah, no, I saw the quality of life thing for the elements for that. I'm actually quite impressed with the amount of quality of life that's in this. God, it's nice feeling. Just having all that bonus damage suddenly completely changed my character. Oh. My mages, dude. We love mages. Oh, we love mages. What did he just say? He said, do you wish to learn? Ah. Oh, I don't want to learn. Go away. He's a void prophet, that's why. He's a prophet of the void. He wants to teach me the way of the void, dude. A little bit of an academic, but it's true. Horrifying. God, I love the zombie. Ooh. Ooh. Level. Okay, hold up. Increased physical damage, necrotic damage, minion physical damage, minion necrotic damage. Increased health regen, 10% per point. Minion health regen per second, plus two points. Now here's the thing, what if I got a bunch of blood armor, and my minions actually were generating faster than they cost in health degradation? Could I have infinite shades without taking the infinite shades talent? That's the real question. And I don't know. Degen is quadratic with time? Okay, never mind then. Nah, no, you can't do it. Yeah, you can't do it. I want to get Aegis Fall. That's the biggest one right now. So we need three points of Cursed Blood. Because Aegis Fall is going to let us shred armor on opponents. Which is, with the amount of minions that I have, is just going to be overpowered. We want to get that shred armor, dude. Yeah, shred armor is the biggest thing right now. We just need that. Oh, hi, main storyline quest. Farewell. I think this dude up here I can turn into. Who are you? How did you know? I can defeat the void horrors. Let's Go do on. it. Just these runes of shattering. I don't think there was anything else that was interesting in here. No, I think that's it. 
I like it better than D uh, D4 and PoE, personally. I think so far I like it better than both as well. Legitimately. How'd you compare it to Path of Exile? Path of Exile is really cool. But I think I like the world setting more in this one, if that makes sense. The reason why I like it is the world setting. And it's the right level of complexity. Well, here's a problem that I have. Let me show you something. I haven't felt overwhelmed by any of the progression of this so far. When I try to show a friend Path of Exile, when I try to get a friend into Path of Exile, let me show you where they stop playing the game. Let me show you this. They stop playing the game here. This is when they stop playing the, the game. Because the moment my friend, sh like, anytime I try to bring someone to Path of Exile, they open up the talent tree and they go, I'm out. Instantly, they do that. And they didn't do that to me in this game, in Last Epoch. So, like, this is going to be instantly better for me playing with my friends when I'm like, hey, come play an action RPG with me. Like, that's really what that is. It's just overwhelming for new people, dude. It's just overwhelming. So, like, that's rough, dude. Is Heartbound similar to Undertale? No. It is a chooser and adventure style RPG, but it is not similar to Undertale. Hard pass on that tree. Yeah, it's just, it's overwhelming for new players. For people that are into it, it's fun. But for people who aren't into it, it's really difficult to get them into it. And I think that's the biggest problem for me. It's like, I want to play games like this with people, you know, with my buddies. And I can't. I'm a bad of exile. This is overwhelming for me. Yeah. I love the laughter, dude. They laugh so well. Oh, shit, a simple yet fun action RPG? This feels good. I like the progression in this better than Lost Ark, which Lost Ark is a action RPG. I think the world setting is just about as deep, actually probably a little bit deeper than Diablo, and I think that it's not as overwhelming for new players as Path of Exile. It's in a really good spot, and like, I play a shitload of action RPGs. A shitload of them. I also play like weird action RPGs, like ones you probably never heard of from Korea. Like tons and tons and tons of like very weirdly named Korean action RPGs, and I play the shit out of them, dude. Yeah, play Grim Dawn. Play the shit out of Grim Dawn. Like tons of them. Mabinogi's awesome, dude. So I love this stuff. Do you like Lost Ark? Up until the end game, yes. I would agree that Lost Ark is fun up until the end game, and then you hit a brick wall of trying to progress your character and it just feels like shit. I hate that. The end of that is bad. Ragnarok Online is great. Yeah. Hell yeah. I enjoyed Torchlight. Animations and Torchlight I didn't like. Torchlight was fun. Torchlight 2 was fun. Animations felt real clunky. Yeah. I've told you, dude, I'm an action RPG player. Like, this stuff is... These are my bread and butter games. I love these. Ooh. Gotta make a new, new bone golem. Technically a lava golem, man. Right? What about Defiance? I think I played that. Defiance game. I don't remember if I played that or not. I might have? That was a long time ago. I might have played that. Many a time ago. Bread of Vegemite? True. Bread, butter, and Vegemite. Let's be honest. Minion physical damage. Minion necrotic damage. Yoink. Minion physical damage. Uh, minion spell damage, minion melee damage. Hmm. But my offhand gives me minion damage. But it gives me percentage. But this gives me flat minion damage. Uh, yeah, base damage increases are enormous. But this is two-handed. We're doing base damage increase. Base damage increases are, like, always good, dude. Why can't I right-click it? Konami. There. Yeah. 
We're going to save this offhand, though. Because that increases damage, minion damage. But that's a flat damage increase. Which means it's going to multiply in all of our mul multiplicative skills. So, like, there's no way that's not good. You thought I was playing Dark and Darker? Was the reason that you thought I was playing Dark and Darker because I have Last Epic... Or Last Epoch, rather, in the title of the stream, and the category, and currently on video. Is that what made you think I was playing Dark and Darker? I just want to make sure. As long as we're clear, right? As long as it's not misleading in some way. Uh, I wish goblins could read, dude. Maybe one day. Ooh. Quest completed. Is this block game? Definitely, dude. Minecraft had an upgrade. Don't worry about it. Oh, actually, we need to go down this way. Because there's more stuff down there. How do we get down there? There's, like, another doorway all the way down there. It looks like we can go down this way. It's probably a mod for that. Probably true. Minecraft, you guys are funny. No, I'm actually having a blast in this, dude. Is there any crafting yet? I haven't set up any crafting yet. I'm going to soon. I'm trying to get a feel for all the items first before I start expending resources. I love just watching things burst. It's just a lot of bursting, you know? Yeah, I can tell that this is very much like Splatoon by all the... I'm a squid now. I'm a kid now happening on screen. See that guy there? He was a kid, now he's a squid. Yeah. He's not turning back, though. He's just staying a squid all over the floor there. Yeah, it's true. It's true. You figured it out. Welrin Undercity. Oh. Oh. Feels good. Look out for Zubats. I know, right? Going this way. Level 22. What are we getting? Another point. We need three points in there so we can upgrade to the next thing. And I get to get over to whatever this gold icon is for my quest. Uh, a living human that isn't dripping with void. Can you understand me? Or are you mad like the rest? I can understand you. Splendid. You can hear my request then. I need your aid in ending my existence. <laughs> Excuse me? I've been entombed here for centuries and this broken world no longer has anything to offer me. The immortal emperor's gift was once a blessing, but now it is a curse. Yeah, immortality is a curse, by the way. 100%. Being immortal would be awful. It would be awful. Do you know why it's awful to be immortal? Because the reason your accomplishments are accomplishments is because you had limited time to do them. If you had unlimited time, nothing you would do would matter. Horrifying. Actually horrifying. Immortality is a curse, dude. 100% a curse. I'll help if you give me your phylactery. You have a deal, living one. Nice. He's gonna give me his phylactery, dude. Feels good. Let's go destroy some soul repositories. Longevity, yes. Immortality, not on your life. Not even a little bit. How's the game? Fantastic. Ooh.
It's fantastic enough that even though I was being sponsored to play the game for two hours, I decided to keep going, and it's been four now, and I haven't stopped. Is a thousand immortal? No, immortal means forever. Excuse me. Rude. I can't pick that up because it's on the little platform. That's funny. Oh, shit. Okay, so last time we opened one of these, a horrifying wizard came out of it and almost killed me. Um, I'm going to invoke the rule of do it or no balls, though. So here we go. We did it. It was easier that time. What did I get? Two volatile zo zombies summoned on potion use. <laughs> what? <laughs> when I used my potion, I summoned dudes? You've got to be kidding me. I mean, that's a no-brainer. That's, that's freaking... Oh my god, it did. Oh my god, it's amazing. Potions are a weapon now. Oh god, potions are a weapon, shit. I only grow stronger. It's a potion of send dudes. It's a potion of send dudes. Oh god, that's amazing. Give me another one of those. I need more potions of send dudes. That's freaking awesome, dude. What a game-changing thing. I love that I can use a potion as a weapon. Holy shit. You've returned. The last repositories are destroyed. If I could, I'd grace you with the Emperor's gift as thanks. But that time is long past. A true death. I never thought this moment would come. None of us did. Will the immortal Emperor recognize me on the other side, I wonder? If there is another sign. Now I recommend you stand back. Tearing the phylactery from my body may prove volatile. What do you mean, volatile? Uh. Alright, where's the phylactery? Was he supposed to give me that? We had agreement. We had an agreement. I got scammed. I got scammed. I got scammed, chat. Believe a skeleton in the wall. Get scammed. What do you do? Kill him? I know, right? Who are you? Don't worry about it. Go on. I don't think he gave it to me. No, he didn't give me anything. Bastard. You ripped me off. I got ripped off by an immortal. As a necromancer, can't you just bring him back? I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess, you know. I don't know if I should... Should I throw away an experimental item? Experimental items seem insanely rare. I'm gonna put that in my stash with the other legendaries I'm not using. No, that's not what I want. Yeah, we'll put that in the stash. Yeah, I'm gonna save them, because I don't know if they have any extra mechanics or anything that goes on with them. Oh wait, there's a little diamond thing here. What do you want? Greetings. All right. Farewell. Dude, imagine running into battle and just chain chugging potions and zombies sum summoning everywhere. You're like the craziest alchemist that ever existed. This shit's red.
Why is he drinking all these potions? Oh, the ground is alive. That's why. These guys are a little bit tougher. A little bit stronger. Ew. Okay. You know, I think I want to go... I kind of want to go this way and go to that alternate leveling path and do that dungeon. Is there a potion of send big dudes? I mean, technically, yes. So, if we go into here, and we click on this, there's one in here that makes it one big dude? What happens if I drink the potion when I have big dude? Wouldn't that be so send potion of big dudes? Because then they apply all the status effects of my dudes. So it would be send potion of big dude. Wouldn't it? Only 10% chance. I don't give a shit. Chances of them from an indirect cast. 10% of the time, it works 100% of the time. 10% of the time, I get big dudes. Like... Potion of big dude. I'm fine with that. Let's go this way. Rates have chances to cause enemies to bleed on hit. Yes. More bleeds. You... Higher Golem's Infernal Honor consumes skeletons and skeletal mages that it hits to deal more damage over time. We're not actually going to do that, because then we'd have to cast skeletons all the time. Your Golem deals more damage over time, multiplied with other modifiers, and Higher Golem's Infernal Aura deals damage in a larger area. Yeah, damage over time and Infernal Aura, like, Aura area damage is just king. Like, there's no reason not to do that. Alright, let's see here. We can now do one more skeleton. Now we got six skeletons. We love skeletons. Skelepathy. Does my belt only allow three now? Oh, this one only has three potion slots. Better use one. Anytime I see a potion now, I'm going to use a potion so I can just get more dudes. I just want more dudes. My potion of send dudes is the best. Ow. Ow, my bones. I just have to rub my face on the enemies until my zombies kill them. It's the best. That means it's working. God, these zombie... Like, these monster designs are actually sick. What is... What is this? Oh. It's a void centipede. Gross. Before you is an altar made by the cultists who live in the docks. A large cultist has been crucified with a glowing object embedded in his chest. Within the object, you see squirrels of speckled light, almost like stars. This must be the symbol of hope. Alright, well, we've taken all the cultists' hope away now. That seems good. That can only go well. My dudes can't walk upstairs. They don't need to. Stairs hold them back. They're more powerful without them. That dude just did a thousand damage. That was a thousand damage, dude. That's freaking sick. I like this experience better than Path of Exile. I think the reason why, honestly, dude, is... Uh, I talked about it earlier. Path of Exile is overwhelming for new players. This is not overwhelming. It has a lot of progression systems, but it introduces them to you piecemeal instead of doing them all at once in a gigantic tree. And that's all it is. If you want to play Path of Exile, you can play Path of Exile. You want to play this, you can play this. But for me, I like to play these types of games with buddies. And getting someone invested in Path of Exile is incredibly hard. Because it's just, it's scary. 
you know, it's a big, gigantic talent tree, and it just makes him feel like garbage. I remember the first time that I played Path of Exile, and the feedback that I got from a new player, or from a, a long-standing player, was make a character, level up to 70, and then delete that character, and then play the game for real. That's not a good loop. That feels bad for people, man. I think I want to go... Let's go back to town first. Can we get a Discord channel for this game? Yeah. Last Epoch? 100%. I want you guys to be able to play this together. That was correct advice, and I liked Path of Exile for that. That's not for everybody, though. It felt like wasted time the first time oh. I played a character in that game. Because I knew that I'd just be throwing it away. What's multiplayer about it? I only have it in single player right now. Uh, the servers are having trouble because there's so many people. Nice, I was very overwhelmed by PoE. Glad to hear that's probably more my speed. Yeah, no, it's... I found that it's introducing systems to me piecemeal in a way that I know is not going to be overwhelming to a new player. So I find that to be a, an, in, a, an improvement, frankly. It's a better system. There's a lot of systems, but you will be introduced to them slowly over time. Wait, is it Shrouded Ridge that we have to go to? It is. So we're going to Shrouded Ridge. When I first started today, we couldn't play on servers. Uh, that may have been fixed by now. What was the point of leveling to 70? So in Path of Exile, if you want to respec your character, you have to use what's called an Orb of Regret. An Orb of Regret is a consumable that removes a talent point from your character. So to get to level 70 and then have to respec is awful. So that's that's why people are like, oh, make, make it to like 70, learn everything about your character that you can, and then just throw the character away and start over. Because the cost of, of farming all the orbs of regret is just a nightmare, frankly. That's why. That's why people say that for that game. What is gifting? Gift inventory. What does that mean? What is a gift inventory? What is that? I don't know what that is. So you can trade? Gifting gear to others? That's interesting. I like that. So we don't have to throw it on the ground. Sick. I actually wonder how we get a second golem. Because supposedly you can. There was like a bunch of tooltips that represented multiple golems. Only get people you're in a party with? That's awesome. Dude, I am wrecking house. It's one node. Is it? Is it unique skill node? I'm gonna have to get it. Top right above the start. So you're talking like... Is this the one that summons a bone golem as well? So you have two golems? Is that what that is? You summon an additional golem, but each golem has a reduced maximum health, is smaller, and deals less damage. All multiplicative with all other modifiers. So... That would be fine. You'd get three golems, wouldn't you? You'd be able to get two normal fire golems and one... Okay, so this would just create a bone golem and a fire golem, right? Does that make sense? This node's modifiers to health and damage are multiplicative with other modifiers. I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, it, technically it is still a buff, because each golem has 45% reduced maximum damage, which means that each golem total combined is, is 110%, so we're gaining bonus damage. Yeah. Notice the node before blood golem? Where's the node before Blood Golem? Your Golem hits restore health to you and itself. Okay, so that makes sense. I'd rather have the Fire Golem. The World Pyre seems like the right way to go. I want to get more melee and movement speed off of this. Also, bonus spell damage. Amalgam of Mages would be huge. Because this is spell damage. Maybe we just make a gigantic, horrifying aura. Maybe we just do that. Maybe we're just gonna do gigantic nuclear aura. The game. I might just do that instead. We'll see. 
Yeah, microwave build, dude. Did I crash the game? Oh, there we go. Alright, we're at the Lightless Arbor now. This is the start of a dungeon. Interesting, so we actually put a stash right here too, that's cool. Human, can you understand me? Yes. That's good. Everyone else seems to have lost themselves. As soon as they woke, they started stomping about, rumbling the entire mountain with their steps. The giant golem. They are the only source of life that massive I can sense. So it may have been. Wait, I also detect other humans, and they are all under the mountain. No, this is not good. Probably because he ate them. They won't live there for long while the mountain beneath is lumbering around, Ooh. causing cave-ins and you are the only other living being that isn't acting like their head has rotted through. If you can find a way deeper into the caverns, of course, it's been- That could be a problem. Do not worry, though. There are clusters of pyre amber that give off light you could use. Be careful, though. If your bark is particularly dry, you might catch fire. I don't have a bark. That's good then. Yes. Hurry and find a way in there so we can save the humans. All right. Each attempt in the dungeon requires a key. Dying or leaving through a portal fails the attempt. I don't have a key. Okay. How do we get a key? Hmm. Well, let's go kill stuff till I find a key. Rando drop. Drops her endgame. That's kind of cool. I dig that. I like that. It gives you a reason to go do a special one. That's cool. Just pick the lock, I know, right? Yes. I have them right here. Alright. See how they strain, reaching for the symbol of hope? And we free them? For the final pieces, the void scours that hope that hope from this world. Our bodies will be used as sacrifice so that we may become one. Damn it! He's just a freaking cultist. I used a potion of send dudes. Oh god, look at all the bleed. Oh my god, he's bleeding to death. Look at him, 47 stacks. Oh god, it's going up. Oh god. Potion of send dudes! The bleed is so good. The bleed is so good. The potion of send dudes is amazing as well. The bleed, dude. Holy shit, the bleed. What potion is that? It's not a potion. It's actually a belt. The belt creates potions of send dudes. Two volatile zombies summoned on potion use. 7% increased minion damage. Oh. Fireplace action RPGs, my favorite genre. Action RPGs and social sandbox MMOs are my favorite games. I will play these until the sun burns out. Oh, there's a portal down here. There's one of those weird portals. Yeah, it's a potion of unlimited dudes. There's a ring of send dudes too. I can't wait for the ring of send dudes. All right, what's going on in here? Did you enjoy BG3? Yeah, I did. Really enjoyed it. Wish you had unlimited dudes with this potion belt. You too can have unlimited dudes. Ashes of Creation falls into the social sandbox of my part, right? Yes. Yes, it does. Yep. I am very much so looking forward to Ashes. Let's pull this up. We need more cursed blood, so that's enough points for that. And with that in mind, we now have more points here. Another chance to bleed. Another one. And then even more aura. Just larger and larger fire auras. Bleeds forever. Wonderful. 
I wonder if it graphically changes the size of the Aura too, so we just get this ridiculously large graphic on screen eventually. I don't know if it does, but I want it to. It looks like it does. Impaler of Authority. What's that do? Minion damage and minion bow damage. Worthless. Okay, we've gone back in time to the ancient era here. And there's something in this timeline that we need. We're fighting dinosaurs, it's fine. Build additional pylons? True. I could do that, there was one back there. I hate how OP this looks. I'm very strong. But this is nowhere near endgame, so... I feel like there's gonna be one of those moments where it... It basically tells me to sit down. And I felt it try to do that a couple of times. But I just had a build that scaled too well. But if I was a, If I was not good at action RPGs, it definitely would have told me to sit down. Already. Like, it definitely would have done that. Oh? Glyph of Despair. Was that a legendary glyph? Has a chance to seal an affix instead of upgrading it. The sealed affix is moved to its own slot, leaving its old slot open for you to add a new affix. What the hell is that? Is that legendary? It is legendary. Wild? Alright. Into the bag it goes. That's freaking neat. Yeah, it's dudes versus dinos right now, dude. Dudes are winning, by the way. What are you? Ocean of dudes. You ever played Baldur's Gate 3? Yes. Yes, I have. I actually really like Baldur's Gate 3. It's very fun. Oh, man. Okay, that was dangerous. That actually got really, really scary for a second there. Dude, he's got 50 stacks of bleed. He's got so much bleed. Hell yeah. Can I burn in the lava there? Alright, we're good. Alright, I think we're good. Got all this stuff set up. Is there anything else in this level? I don't think so. I think we're good. Is there anything else that we need here? I think the map is clear. There's like a... Shrine down there. I don't think we need it. I think we're good. Yeah, nothing more. If your homies die, do you need to manually resummon them? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, yeah, we're going to the abandoned tunnel. I got a lot of homies, though, as you can see. Yeah, I saw there was a sacrifice build for Necro. I've never liked sacrifice builds. I like my dudes staying alive, you know? I like more dudes, not less dudes. Just give me all of the dudes. Steamrolling everything? I mean, yeah. That's sort of the idea, right? I'm 
Uf. What about bonus dudes? I have bonus dudes. Every time I use a potion, two bonus dudes. Bonus dudes. A lot of dudes. Yeah, this is my build with Chet. Which one of you is the gigantic, horrifying golem? I feel like that's Kronos, right? So I knew it was going to be Necro gameplay before I clicked. I like Necro. I've always liked Necro. It's either that or the Bear Man. It would likely have been the Bear Man, but Chet voted Necro. I let them decide. This is not my fault. Necro Bear Time win. I know. It's just Diablo, right? Have you ever played an action RPG beyond Diablo? Do you think that entire genre is one game? Sir Cape D3 build? Uh, Witch Doctor playing as a chicken that spread disease. I named him Kentucky Fried Curses, and it was funny. He was also very good at leveling, and I was top 10 Wish Doctor for a long time. It's fun. Your buddy who's number one Necro for a while? He likely got banned in my guild. Yeah. You see, fun thing about Diablo 3 is I worked at Blizzard at the time when I played it really heavily, and I was on the team that figured out how to catch the bot that was the primary bot that everybody was using because I was an offensive security specialist working at Blizzard. So when we banned everyone for that finally, I signed online and 98 of the 100 people in my guild had been banned. We were the top guild in the world. <laughs> oh, it was funny. It was pretty good. Maybe don't cheat in the game. Maybe don't cheat. The top thousand players in the leaderboard were gone. It was like me and like four other people that I knew. That was it. Was I one of the 98? No, because I didn't cheat. That was the point. It was me and one other guy in my guild didn't get banned. Everybody else was cheating. Every one of them. Did you know it was going to get him banned? I knew it was going to ban one guy in my guild, and it's why I ended up doing it, because we missed the rank one spot in Diablo 3 by 12 seconds for a dude that was 20 Paragon levels higher than us because he was botting. And I got so sick of it that I was like, we're just going to burn this thing. And I sat down at work, and I was like, ripping through all the assembly, trying to find a way to do detection on this. We finally found a detection method, because it, it was driven completely out of spite. I was mad. I was mad that there were so many people cheating in the game. We banned them all, dude. We banned them all. It was great. And then I sat on Owncore and I read the forums and I drank the tears because it was really funny to watch everyone complain. I only bought it one time. Boo hoo hoo. Good. That's all it took. Get wrecked. Very funny. Super funny shit. Yeah, I've banned over 2 million players in my time, though. In my time working in the industry, I've banned over 2 million players um, across World of Warcraft, Diablo, Starcraft, all kinds of stuff. Used to work with the risk team all the time. Offensive security is my jam. Okay, we have everything that we need here, but I need more points. I think increased minion damage and minion attack speed is the right way to go. Because this just does physical damage and minion physical damage, minion necrotic damage. We need all damage. We can also do minion health, but I don't think that's necessary. Damage reflected? Buh. Buh. Maybe not useful? Yeah, flat five reflected points. It's just five flat. That's not useful. 
Yeah. I think I'm going to do Risen Army. That's like the direct bonus damage stuff that I need right now. We need as much damage as possible. I'm trying to get as, as multiplicatively scaling as possible because there's so many different sources. And they did multiplicative scaling between all sources, which is disgusting. So if we go to minion, 140% increased minion damage right now. I'm just like, mmm. Real nice. How rich am I? I've made a lot of money since November. More than I've probably made doing anything else in my entire life. And what I've done is I've started a corporation so that I can pay all the moderators full-time wages. So this is going to pass down to them. Created a benefits account for them, so that'll be done as well. I give away all of my donations through Pally.gg, 100% to the moderators. I've been able to now, hopefully, get new land so that I can build a larger ferret rescue so we can go from 25 ferrets at our current rescue to 100 ferrets by the end of the year. And that's what I'm doing with all of it. I'm super public and, like, open about what I do with anything you guys give me, because I think that it's weird to do that any other way. I think it's kind of gross. And I put receipts for all of it in the Discord. So one of the things that I also do is when people do TTS messages to me, if you look at this, your TTS message, when it gets answered, I actually have a timestamp for that. So when I, when I answer it, it says your name, the message you ask, and the timestamp in the Discord. And if I don't get to your TTS message by the end of the stream, then that turns into debt, and then that gets paid out to, to um, charity. So we've already paid $7,500 out to charity since November. And that was $7,500 there to Ferret Dreams Rescue and Adoption in Colorado. So if I don't answer your question, I don't keep the money. That goes there. And it, it's actually calculated every single day, dynamically, through StreamerBot and then thrown up on here. Yep. StreamerBot and st SpeakerBot are awesome, dude. You're some other kind of streamer. It's refreshing. I, I just don't... I want there to be transparency. That's what I want. Because I know it's super easy to be like... I don't know, it's, it's super easy to scam people, and it's super easy to, to feel like you're being scammed even when you're not, and I just don't want that to be a thing. So just transparency is the key, dude. How large is your team? We've got 14 moderators, um, myself, two editors, and five translators that work on the lo localization team to translate our games. And they have to moderate everything across Steam, Discord, Reddit, YouTube, Twitch. There's a couple other places. A lot of shit. They gotta do a lot of shit. So my hope is, once the corporation's fully formed, which it's in the middle of right now, once that's all done, then I can start hiring people on full-time, pay them real human wages, and then just move forward with that. And the benefits account means that they're going to be able to get, um, like, not only retirement fund, but also healthcare as well. It's huge, so I'm kind of excited for that. And I've already funded the benefits account, it's already done. The money's in it, we just gotta wait for the corp to be fully formed. Oh, the Reddit, too. Yeah, there's a buy stuff for Reddit. Yeah, there is. What about the basement mods? Oh, they live in the basement. And we let them have free smells of bread when they're good. That's true. Yeah. Do you have to be an S-Corp to do the benefits? We are going to be an S-Corp. So that is the plan. You have to make a corp first and then apply to be an S-Corp afterwards. There's like a whole thing for it. I, I'm going to do it all. It's going to suck. Wow, I just lost a lot of dudes on that. That was not good. These guys are a little bit tougher. A little bit stronger dudes in here. No, the mods get days off whenever they want. Mods get days off whenever they want. I, I don't give a shit about that. You want a day off? You, like, you have no idea how much psychic damage moderators have to take, dude. You have no idea how much psychic damage they have to take. Every single day. They have to see so much shit. So if they need if they need time off, they're just like, hey, I need time off. I'm like, go do whatever, dude. Whatever. We'll have somebody fill. They just have to communicate it. If they don't communicate, they just disappear. That sucks. Like, you can't do that. You have to say something. That's all. Jesus. Nice. Alright, we're good. It's a lot of death in that fight. Yeah, common vulnerabilities and exposures database. Yep. And exploits, rather. I don't think it's exposures, it's exploits, isn't it? What did you just say? Tofu Pixel. Tofu Pixel. 
Tofu Pixel is another streamer here on Twitch. No, it's not even about glorifying malware with cool names. It's just dumb. I just don't like the cool names. I swear to God, you know what will end up happening? If I find a major vulnerability and I release my, my zero day, I'm going to name it Butt Scratch. So that every major, like every major distribution site, everyone who talks about it has to be like, oh yeah, Butt Scratch vulnerability, that's bad. Every pen tester from then on is going to have to use a scanner to scan for Butt Scratch and put it into a, a document anytime they turn that in, unironically, Butt Scratch. Because like, that's why I hate the names. This is why I hate the names, dude. They're the worst. Naming vulnerabilities is the worst. And this is why. Butt scratch, dude. This name will be taken by then? Dude, take it. If you're, if you're a researcher out there and you find a zero day, name it Butt Scratch. I want a website for that. I want a logo. I want everyone to have to scan for it. Everyone. Butt Scratch. That's the way to do it, man. That's why I hate naming vulnerabilities. They're dumb. This your first character? Yes. I actually started this stream today for a sponsored stream. The developers are actually in chat. I don't know if they're still here. But I really enjoy this. Like, a lot. And my build is outpacing the monsters pretty hard right now. We've had a couple of scary moments, but I'm playing a hardcore character. Oh, actually, we gotta go this way. Ooh. Ooh. Double chest. I like that. What is this? A large stone tablet old, holds an old tome. The record has been established to chronicle the history of Magister Wallace and his exodus to the underground in the face of a creeping dark substance. Turn to page 23. The elders of Welrin are fools. They spend so long hiding the nature of the Shard from the Immortal Empire. Yet the second those tyrants are at their weakest, they want to flee into the mountains? Forget this so-called outcast queen. We need What we need is a lesser refuge. Flip to the end. For decades we hid there. The Magister insisted we were in no real danger, only for the Void to sweep in and end us all. Take the tome. Two passive points, holy shit. Okay. Okay. I think we need, I think we need blood armor. I think we need actual blood armor on this. Because getting some more HP regen on our minions is kind of a big deal. I think that's probably the way to do it. Sacrifice? Yeah, getting those two points there I think is the right way to go. It's not very much. But it definitely feels worth it. I'm running out of mana. There we go. Yeah, it adds up really fast. Just HP regen adds up really fast. Because it increases our HP regen as well. And having more HP regen is kind of the, the way right now. It's kind of the play. The Lost Refuge. Is there anything else we can do here? Okay, let's start moving forward. How much longer am I on for? Until I... Until I don't want to be. It's Wednesday. I can do whatever I want. Tomorrow I'm not streaming. Like, that's kind of how that goes, right? Make new golem. Yeah, it's Wednesday, my dudes. And I'm summoning dudes. So I can fight these dudes. So I can become a stronger dude. Oh god, it's full of eggs. Ew. Ew. God, it's everywhere. Jesus. That's a lot of dudes.
Looks like I have to go down into the right. Legendary. Of course, it's unique. It's the close call shield again, but it's a better one. We'll keep that. Gross. This is actually that talent point is actually making my dudes a lot safer now. You can see that they're actually gaining like a lot of HP back dramatically. Another one. Bleed infected from wraiths has increased effect and duration. All right, that's gonna be great. More bleed, more wraiths. You sponsored for the entire day? I was only sponsored for the first two hours. Yeah, I actually need to remove the sponsored tags from everything. One sec. I'm not sponsored to play this anymore. I'm playing it now because I enjoy it. To be clear. The first two hours were sponsored. I've been playing for five hours. <laughs> uh, I may actually really like the game. Yeah. The healer actually has to do his job. That's how that works, right? Lazy healers, aren't they? Dude, I love people like that. Why didn't you heal me? Why were you standing in fire, dumbass? Healer's not gonna heal you, you stand in the fire. You don't deserve the heals. That's how that works. Yeah, every healer is screaming right now, dude. Like, it's the funniest thing on the planet, though. Love that shit. Why is that got a little indicator on it? Did I pick that up? Hmm. Excited for Elden Ring's DLC? I haven't even played Elden Ring, my dude. Uh, huh. Idols. We don't know anything about those idols. I want to take those. Okay, let's dump all of this. Sort it. What do we get? 10% increased health regeneration. We'll just put that in there. What does this one do? Necrotic damage and minion necrotic damage. That's not as useful. This is cool. Okay. Minion health by 59%. Uh, I'm going to say yes to that. <laughs> Just 59% more minion HP. That's fine. That's fine. Easy. Holy shit, dude. You have to resummon it for it to update? Done. Ugh. Oh, so many summons. I don't have very much mana. My mana's pretty low. Alright, we're good. A mana debt. It means that I'm I'm below my max mana. I'm below zero. And it has I can't do anything until it regenerates. There's stat control? No, you get it from items. Yeah, so like, bonus int and stuff like that, it comes from items. That I've seen. I don't know if you get them from anywhere else. Otherwise, just put it all into int, right? It wouldn't even matter. Master of Mana Ball? There's nothing there. Mana Ball just goes into debt. When you go below zero, you have debt. You can't cast anything until you get it back up. You're a fan of Hades? Yeah, I love Hades. Hades is a fun game. Talent tree is statistic points, too. That's true. Alright. Oh, it's alive. Oh my god, look at it. Just, just look at it. Send dudes. Send dudes. He didn't have any dudes. He didn't have enough dudes. You see the minion health regen in the minion tab in your character sheet? I was actually on the minion character sheet. All we have is percentage based. So I don't actually know what their flat regen is. We just know it's increased by 15%. But I actually have flat increases on my character, so I don't see those anywhere. You're a hero already? 
Is this fast? Just walking through it. I'm playing on hardcore as well. So many secrets, so much power. It could have been used for greatness. You. Oh, void worms. Actually, okay, we got a couple more places to go. Spooky door. Okay. Minion damage. More minion damage. Alright. We know what's in this thing. That's gonna be awful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna summon a lot of dudes. And now we're gonna open it. Oh, it didn't work. He's still there. I thought he was going to die instantly. Okay, good. Got him. Got him. What did he drop? 30% increased minion damage. Three minions teleported around you after you use a traversal skill. 30% more minion damage. It only gets stronger, chat. Only stronger. Only stronger. Only stronger. Fifteen minion health regen. That's more than the talent points I put into that. Done. My talents are only giving me six. There's a way to enable health bars on top of the minions. That might be helpful. I might use that. What's that? Critical shrine, your crits are... Your hits always crit. Nice. Okay, let's see. I want to do... More damage. We've got the HP out of the way. We're doing more damage now. Shrine of wealth! Yes. Alright. We were absurd before. Now we're very absurd. The level of absurdity is increasing. You don't have a movement skill binded? Don't need to move. All I need is feet, my dude. What level am I right now? 26. Shoot team feet. Should do that. Ooh. Yeah, that one's done. Do I have to go all the way around? How do we get up there? There's like a thing in the way. How do we get up there? Oh, it was a lie. Okay, the map was just a lie. It's fine. All 
All right, the Lotus Halls. I wonder what level these monsters are. The map tells you. Oh, the map is level 22. Okay, yeah, we gotta progress faster. There's no reason to be here. Yeah, area level is 22, I see. But it's fun. Yeah, we're way over leveled, though. Like, I'm four levels over the level that I should be. What's this? I'm in the missing parts of the bridge device so it can be reactivated. Hello. How are you? How are you? How are you? You wiggly? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's not scary. It's not scary. It's okay. I know. I know. It's okay. I'm scared. A little bit scared. Yeah. Little feet shaking, I know. Here you go. Huh? Okay. It's uh, one of the girls from the uh, rescue case that we got. Not this recent rescue case, but the one before that. She's a little afraid. She'll, she'll be okay. She'll get used to it. You get used to being around people that don't cause problems for her, you know? Yeah. Nice marmot. Thanks, bro. Yeah, no, I run a ferret rescue here. Um, Shay and I do. And that is a unique shield. That's a new one. What is this? Cradle of the Erased. Gain a stack of Golden Aegis each, sec each second. 10% block chance per stack of Golden Aegis. Lose a stack of Golden Aegis on block. Plus 2 block effectiveness per 1% total uncapped resistance. That's sick. That's a really good shield. That's cool as hell. We've got all these uniques, man. I'm just going to put them over there. Ashen Adorned Immortal Idol of Insight. 48% chance for Summon Wraith to summon a Flame Wraith instead. What? What do I do with this? Where does this go? It goes in the idle section? No shit. Okay, we're keeping that. We don't have a shape that works with that just yet. Yeah, bank for now. That's freaking nuts. Another one. What's the item? Is it this? It's the shield. There we go. The slab. 51 health, 57% reduced block chance, 100% less damage taken on block. Maybe the five gifted subs are there. That's very nice of you. You're freaking awesome, dude. Thank you. The slab. Some slabs mark the dead. This one marks the living. It's pretty good. Dig that. Return the slab. Someone's old like me. Yeah. I see you. I see you, old person in my chat. Same timeline. Damn right, Curse the Cowardly Dog. Do we have to go this way, maybe? The map is not showing a good route over there. Having a blast with this? Yes. I am having an absolute blast with this game. 
God damn it. Nope, not strong enough. Yeah, the green items are the ones that I have marked to be minion damage. Okay, hold up. 16% increased minion health. We're styling. We're styling. This is good. What game? Look underneath the stream. It's listed for you. Get the stream on in the background while you learn to code. Kick some ass, dude. Goblins can't read. It's true. It's unfortunate. There's a pinned comment. There's a stream title. And there's actually the category for the stream. Goblins can't read. Confirmed. Mysterious statues. The shards of the epoch are calling you to the statue, but nothing is here. I'll put trust in the shards. Okay. What is this there? Yeah, trust the shards, dude. What just happened? Did I get something? Did it drop something? What did it do? Oh, it was the part. Okay, I was so confused. I was like, I thought I'd have to click on something. I didn't have to click on anything. I just walked near it. Ew. I think it was gross. Oh, it's green and it's legendary. Or unique. What is this thing? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. That's actually green. That's not just me green. It's a set. Chance to apply damned on hit with necrotic spells. Oh, it's a set, but it's not for my kind of build. God, that's cool. Mine's better. For now. It's a set item. It's a set item, but not for my build. So my build is, is pets. This is a build for necrotic spells. That's for a different kind of... Yeah, it's for warlock. Yeah. Not for me. I didn't know there were sets in this game. Hell yes. I love set bonuses. I love... Yeah, 200 armor is enormous, for sure, but... Here's the problem. Mine makes my potion send dudes. I'm gonna be real with you. They make they let me send dudes, and that's it. The sits aren't really great for low level mostly. That's every action RPG. The, like to be real with you, yellow random items will generally overtake pretty much anything else if it's done correctly for itemization inside of an action RPG. Random items are the true endgame. Set items are cool, and you can build builds around them, but random items generally should be the endgame. So I think that's fine to me. Legitimately. Some sets are very strong for leveling, yeah. Then there's a twist, don't tell me it. I want to explore it naturally. I want to learn it over time. Is freeze for anyone else? No, I'm not frozen. Ooh, that's a cool shrine. I like that. I love the loot shrines. Those are neat. As a story, pretty good so far. I've actually been enjoying it. The um, the time travel mechanic stuff is freaking rad, dude. You speaking of all little zombies? Yes, I will be. Once I have enough points. Another one. We're almost there. I almost have Aegis Fall. Almost have Aegis Fall, dude.
Has he played Enshrouded? Yeah, I played a little bit of Enshrouded. I really liked the game. Very much so. I want to play more of it. Minecraft is looking sick. I know, right? Oh, so much bleed. I love that those monsters actually, like... They, like, grow up out of the ground, you know? There it is. Bleed effect plus 15%. Bleed duration plus 15%. Another 40% aura, re like, radius. Now we're gonna go this way. We're gonna get rid of skeleton warriors. That's the next goal. We're gonna get rid of skeleton warriors. We're gonna go this way. Your skeletons have increased critical strike chance, but you can only have one skeleton warrior summoned at a time. That's number one. There we go. Now we only have archer skeletons. And we have six of them. And we have three mages, and we have two wraiths. Boy, we're gonna be crushing stuff. We're gonna be crushing stuff. And my skeleton archers now have 30% increased critical strike chance. I believe that was chance. Might have been chance. Could have been damage. Yeah, increased critical strike chance is 30%. And the next thing I'm gonna do is this, which is Unbound Necromancy, which increases the base critical strike chance of my skeletons. Because if it's 30% multiplicative increased critical strike chance, this will give another 4% flat critical strike chance, and then we're gonna go forward. We're doing it. And then we're going to get another skeleton out of that one. So, two points here, one point there. So we'll have seven skeletons. Yeah, we'll have seven skeletons. And then we'll get multi-shot to maximum. Is there anything over here that we need? No. Oh my god, look at all the fire bullets, dude. Look at him go! Look at all the arrows! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Jesus Christ. Hey, so that was really scary for a moment. I almost died. It was a little spooky, you know? That's not good enough. That's not good enough. Minion health. Oh, this one. Minion health. There we go. Alright, we're doing it. Anything else we need in here? Thank you the raiding party of two. Shall. What's up? How's it going? Yeah, number big. In beginning. Nice. God, there's so many arrows, dude. It's just a machine gun. It's just a machine gun, dude. God, it feels good. This build is doing everything I wanted it to do. Anna Cake Live, thank you for the rating party of 278. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What are you guys up to? How's it going? I'm killing stuff. With a lot of skeletons. Playing hardcore. Oh! Minion damage and poison damage. Minion damage and poison damage. Minion health. Minion health. If we drop 16% minion health, we can gain 11% minion damage. I've, yeah, it's hardcore. This is all hardcore. Ill suited. 
I think we're gonna do that. I think we're gonna do. I think we're gonna do eleven percent minion damage. We need more damage. Our dudes have enough HP. We're good. Playing warlock, nice, dude. I'm doing necromancer. Chat voted for me. We don't need longevity. No, we just need to do damage. Oh my god, there's even more. Okay, hold up. Sixteen percent increased minion damage. Done. Because I think mine only gave thirteen. Yeah, give twelve. Easy. Yeah, if dudes are dead, just send more dudes. Just send more dudes. Over on YouTube side, thank you for the raid. Ice Grenade. What is up, man? Throw more dudes? Yes. Headbeast green too? I guess that was true. There was a headbeast there. 29% minion health. So oddly enough, my current one is 15 minion health regen. Which I think is way better. Like, just flat regeneration for the minions is pretty huge. Like, really, really huge. Yeah. Send boots. I got boots. I got boots. One bad AoE away from losing the character. Nah. Nah. See, here's the thing. I'm playing hardcore, so I have two modes. Dead and winning. And right now I'm winning. I got nothing to worry about, because I'm winning. You post your build in Discord? Sure, man. Yeah, I don't see why not. I still need to optimize some stuff on it, but it's looking good so far. I'm winging it, so. The fixed multiplayer? I've been playing single player. Am I winning, son? Yes. As you can see, not dead. Hum what is that? 30% increased minion health. Minus 37% and 11% minion damage. Mine's better. Nice. It's a crit shrine. We love crit shrine. Man, we just melted this whole place. That felt good. Nice. We did it. That was a cool animation, by the way. How many times do you die? None. I'm hardcore. I'm playing a hardcore character, there's no death. We tried crafting, not yet. Okay. We love to see this. Yeah, there are deaths. Just... I guess there's just one, yeah. Not deaths. Death singular. Is the only one I can have. I have a lot of dudes, though, so... I feel like my dudes are gonna stop me from having deaths. Dude, I love that that guy just has one giant arm. Did you see that shit? Minion damage. I think even if you die on hardcore, your character doesn't get deleted. No, you don't understand. If I have a hardcore character die, I delete them. Even if the game doesn't delete them. Because I want to play hardcore. That's the point. I wouldn't choose the option if I didn't want to play hardcore. 
The fun of it is that I'm not going to die. Until I do. And then I don't play the character anymore. It's gone. Yeah. Okay, mine increases minion health. But this increases minion damage. That's a lot of damage. But that's also a lot of health. <clears throat> I think I'm going to leave it the way that it is. Eh, I don't know. 26% is kind of big. It's taunting me. But it's not 26%. It's blood out because we have other multiplicative scalers already on. We're going to leave it at health. Yeah, we're going to leave it at health. Yeah, the health ratio is better based on my current statistics. Is this game like Diablo? Yeah, action RPG. Same kind of a thing. I think the environments are more interesting, though. I think the gameplay is more interesting. I think the story is more interesting so far. So, I like it better. I tried Hardcore WoW? No, I haven't played Hardcore WoW, but I kind of want to. All these weird environments. Alright, what are we doing? The End of Ruin. Alright, here we go. You thought it was D4? Could you... Did you think it was D4 considering the pinned comment? Wait, did... Jake, did you change the pinned comment? Don't change the pinned comment. What are you doing? Stop that. No. Bad. God damn it, dude. Do not change the pinned comment. Mods, do not change the pinned comment. Leave that there. Do not change that. Fixed. Do not change that. People kept asking me about TTS. That's fine. There's a command for it. Don't change the pin comment. Alright, let's go. Wow, that's a cool boss. I'm gonna use a potion to send more dudes. Nice. Jake is not fired. He didn't know. But don't change my pin comments. Alright, let's see. Minion damage on that one. We've got minion damage there. Minion health shield. Oh my god. 67%. What does this one do? That's not as good. That's a lot. Minion damage, damage reflected. The shard. Give me the shard. After eons alone... Three again become one. On the precipice of a broken world, there is hope. Hmm. The epoch is reforged. As the traveler left, their real journey began. I think we can just sell everything. There's not really anything on me that I need anymore. At least all the blue items. The so blue items don't really matter, except for that one. That one stays. That shield would be pretty goddamn amazing, though. Thank you for the $50 to the moderators. Holy shit. Please don't dispose of Jake, thanks. I'm not going to. What's the matter with you? Thank you for the thank you for the 50 bucks to the mods, dude. That's funny as hell.
I might turn this shield into something. Actually. Because, like, we don't have a shield right now, but 67% increased minion health. Maybe I could craft that into something? We had minion damage. You can't add minion damage to a shield? Hmm. Maybe a shield can't have that. Actually, can you craft this? You can't craft items. Okay. You have to have a shard for the stat you want to add. Makes sense. I do, though. Maybe I don't. Yeah, see, look. Cannot be applied to a shield. Minion damage. Yeah. That's the problem. So if we added that, what would this look like? Do we know what the percentage is going to be? Because I need it to be this, right? Like, how does that work? No weight? You can upgrade it? Add scroll? What scroll? In this? You mean the runes? There's no scrolls here, bud. Unless you mean this. Modifies the outcome of a craft through an upgrading an affix. Randomly changes the upgraded affix to a different one that can spawn on that item type. That sounds awful. Modifies the outcome of a craft granting a plus 25% chance to have no forging potential cost. Okay. Yeah, hope seems good. Adds one random tier 1 affixes to all empty affix slots on an item. Removes a random affix on an item, returning a number of shards equal to its tier. Rerolls the values of all affixes on the item within their tiers. Destroys an item. Hmm. I see. So each time I do this, it can increase. Let's try this. Well, that's a sick-ass item. It minus, minus two forging potential. It has 18 forging potential. Holy shit, you can make amazing gear. Okay, I understand now. That's just a better piece now. But now that I understand this system, let's see if we can do this. We don't have that affix, do we? Okay, we need more shards. I understand now. Now here's a real question. Can we... Can we break this? Can't forge uniques. Okay, so set items count as uniques. We're not going to craft it more, not yet. There's more stuff I want to do. Because we can destroy items this way. And if we shatter it, we can take the minion health off of it. One shard created. Okay. So that's a way that we can choose to get certain... certain crafts out of this. It only made one doing that. Which one did it make? Minion health shard. Okay, so it looks like it rolls it at random? Maybe. It's random. Interesting. Take care. I see.
That makes sense, Dangerous Robot. Unlimited stash dabs is pretty sick. One of the unique shields can upgrade by killing mobs. Really? That's kind of sick. Should you check your specialization passives? No, I haven't yet. God, I wish that UI would go away. Come on. I need to look at my UI. Go away. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're going to do this to bleed chance to be 100%. Done. Uh, this one is going to be larger AoE. And this one here is going to be... Physical damage doesn't really matter. We're going to give him blood armor. And now the next level we can do Aegis Fall. Which is huge. Soon. Yeah, we got wraiths, dude. Got a lot of wraiths. All right, let's see here. We played Pacific Drive for the first six hours of the stream. It was a lot of fun. Love the hell out of that game. Yeah, asymmetric warfare. That's when somebody, like, kicks over your signpost so you nuke their house. Right? Like, that's... That's kind of how that goes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Exponential sarcasm. Exactly. I think that's fair. True. How do you think I play social sandbox MMOs, man? You took a step into my area, so I blew up your entire alliance. But you should know. What level is this area? 23? We gotta keep moving. This stuff is weak. We'll get there. Disproportionate response is what we want. Proportionate? Nah. Let's remove it. Those bears look sick, by the way. Oh, we gotta go down this way. Sounds pretty American. Well, I am American, so... It all checks out. I could have been a bear, that's true. Instead, I became a Skelomancer. Yeah. But I know Skelepathy now, so that's fun. That is fun. America. Can one turn off the camera shake? Um, let's go to settings. Gameplay. Oh, interesting. If your gameplay is smooth, but your stream is stuttering, enable this option. Disable some options below. This will not give you better loot drops. This will not give you better loot drops. Holy shit. That's really funny. That's really, really funny. This will not give you better loot drops. It was at the bottom. Oh, there we go. Screen shake intensity. Low. It should have an off. It should have an off for that. I do think this is funny. Do you guys think that the stream is stuttering in any way? Are you guys having problems with that at all? I'm seeing some people say yes and some people say no. I'm gonna try it. Oh, that was weird. What the hell was that? That did something weird to the graphics. Huh. Yeah, screen shake mode off. Screen shake intensity low. Oh, okay, I see. Saw it. 
How's it look now? Does it look better? Or are you capping FPS? Because you're only seeing 60 FPS. It downgraded graphical quality? Well, that's not what I want. Give me that grass. Give me all this back. I'm on a 4090. Give it all. Oh, much better. Actually, let's just go all the way up. Let's see what this looks like. Let's we'll keep it at 60 FPS and then it won't be a problem. All right. That looks good. What does it look like for you guys now? Yeah, no, it's for streaming. That's the thing. Not much change. There's an ultra for everything. Oh, there is an ultra for everything. Why is that scrollable? That's really funny, actually. It's just scrolling for a single option. It's trying to de-incentivize you from clicking it, dude. Up there is a Master Ultra. Let me go look at the Master Ultra. Master quality. Ultra. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I'm looking at it in the stream. It looks fine. I don't see any stuttering or anything at all. My drops will be mid again. I wasn't using streamer mode the entire time, you goblin. I swear to God. We just found out about it. You said it looks a bit blurry? What, are you saying it looks blurry now? Really? It's on Ultra. What are you talking about? There's nothing blurry in this. Yeah, turn your stream quality to 1080. Because it's going to be based on your, your stream quality. I stream at 1080p, man. Yeah. It's blurry when I squint. Can you please fix it? No. No, I can't. I can't fix that. Is this game like a Diablo game? Yes, it's an action RPG. If you are used to games like Diablo or Path of Exile or Lost Ark, you will you will li largely enjoy this. Um, Grim Dawn is also another good example. Same games in the same genre. I like this one more, though. This is fun. I'm really enjoying this, and I can't wait to see the end game. And I'm going to play all the way to the end game. I might not even stop playing until I get to the end game. Because if I'm going to do it, I might as well do it all the way, right? Might as well do it all the way. TA is on. Is that what got turned on? Hmm. Yeah, none of that. I like the jagged edges. That's likely what you were thinking was blurry. That dude does not want to die, does he? Yes. God be with you. Nice. Your monitors are only 720p. Are you on a phone? We are enjoying some games, Ultra Lord. This is it. This is the game's day. I need more armor.
defenses are starting to fail as the monsters go up in level. Need more HP regen, I think. And more armor. The real question is, does armor actually reduce damage taken from all hits, but not damage over time? Okay. So damage over time is going to be a danger for me. Interesting. What's the difference about this versus Diablo? I think that the itemization, the monsters and the spells are more interesting, and the reason why is this. I can choose spells I want to specialize in, and every spell has a talent tree. That's freaking awesome, dude. Like, that's really, really cool. Yeah. Is progression fun? Yes. I've been having a blast so far. Yes, I am having fun. Most definitely. Capping resistances help versus dots. Oh my god, what is that? It's like a cannon. That's a cool monster design. I like that. How do I get in? How do I get in? How do we find a way in? Is there a way in? Is it a little wiggly spot up here? Streamer doesn't we crest log. True. Oh, uh, we have to defend ourselves to pass the gate. <sighs> see, chat, what you don't understand is I make fun of you for not reading all the time because I myself can't read. As you can see. Yeah. Okay. We got a rune prison. Let's just... We're just gonna back this up for a moment. Let's kill everything nearby and then open the box. It's gonna kill everything nearby. Alright, here we go. Ready for this? Summon a bunch of dudes. And open it. Where is he? He's in there. The wizard's out. He's at 50%. Uh, okay, we got him. Experimental Outcast Gloves of Frailty. 11% of armor mitigation also applies to damage over time. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's a really big deal. That's a really big deal. That's exactly what we were just talking about. Also, thank you for the $12 to the moderators. You kick ass, dude. That is awesome as hell. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, ask, and you shall receive. I love the way you're able to read this chat with 9.4k viewers. Yeah, man. I spent the last seven years reading chat. I won't be able to read every message, but I can read as many as I can. Have a great day. You have a great day, dude. And I'm doing this on hardcore, by the way. That's the best part. I haven't died. Not gonna die. You sure you don't have increased loot drops? There's no such thing. No, I don't. Don't read this message. It's too late. Unfortunate. I know. What the hell are those? Are those just environmental hazards? No, they're monsters. Okay. All right. What level is this area? 26. And I'm 29. All right. We're getting the good spots now. Monsters are envi environmental hazards? No, they're not. They're XP potions. I drink them. That's how that works. Delicious. See that guy? Experience. Teleporting bear? Teleporting to turning into XP. Perfect. Reflects 300% of damage taken. Nice. Hit me. It'll go out well. Doing big boy numbers? I know. There's big boy numbers now. Did 
That was just a shrine of, of idols. Holy shit, dude. Alright. This game looks freaking sweet, because it is. How do you unlock idle space? I don't know yet. I have a little bit of idle space from the main quest, and I haven't unlocked any more, and I don't know how to. I have some upgrades that I need to unlock idle space for, though. Alright, here we go. Time travel shit. Let's see what happens. It's all side quests? Makes sense. Have you tried getting better? No, I thought I'd just stay the same throughout the entire of my progression, you know? You hate to repeat, but you don't you don't understand kernel level anti cheat? Okay, so kernel level anti cheat is this. It gains full access to your hardware and the software on your computer in order for them to be able to see if you are cheating at the game, even if you're using programs that are out of process, meaning that they're not injecting into the memory of the game client. It gives an unprecedented level of access to the developers to your machine. I don't like that. I'm a hacker. I've been a hacker for 20 years. I'm an offensive security specialist. Used to work at Blizzard Entertainment, then Amazon, then the United States Department of Energy. When I see these things, I don't like to engage with those games. That's it. Is that what Valorant uses? Yes. So if you're wondering what that is, that's what it is. That's my personal thing, I don't want to do it, right? It's up to you to know what you do. Does it work? No. Because if it did, it'd be a silver bullet, and it's not a silver bullet. People still cheat at these games. They find different ways to do it. Colonel of Landing Cheat could see your port folder? Maybe. And if it's weird enough, maybe. Are you basically a necromancer? No, I'm not just basically a necromancer. I am a necromancer. How do we know what games use this? They uh, disclose it. It's part of the, the sign-up. You have to actually agree to it. There's a whole thing. Anyway, that's what that is, if you haven't known. Not a fan of it. You've not seen me romance any necks so far? Wait till later. Appreciate it. Gonna keep saying no to my friends. It's up to you, man. Like, for me, the reason why I have to care is because... I'm offensive security specialist. There's things on my computer that I don't want to have kernel level access, you know, I don't want to give away kernel level access to my machine. So my plan is to get a burner machine, a secondary machine, that allows me to play games on that that have kernel level anti-cheat, and then export the video live to this machine and then play that on here. And just replicate the commands over. That's it. Yeah. Just have a secondary one. Liath's Machinations. Plus two to Fireball. 50% of fireball base damage converted to lightning. 23% chance to apply a spark charge on hit with fireball. That looks sick, dude. If only I was a wizard. Oh, what is this? Minion health. Really high minion health. But mine is experimental and creates dudes when I drink a potion. I don't want to get rid of it. It has begun! Minion armor shred. Yes. Zultra Lord with the 20 gifted subs. Thank you very much, dude. No. A VPN's not going to do anything for something that's installed on your local machine. Oh my god. I don't... VPN advertisements have rotted your brain. It's not a security tool. It's to get around geolocation. It's GYP. That's all it is. It has nothing to, it has nothing to do with security at all. I oh. I'm gonna eat this snack and cry and cry on my own.
It's delicious. It's encrypted, so is TLS. Oh wait, the whole internet runs on that. Am I eating on stream? No, you didn't get to see it. That could have been anything. I could have been chewing anything. You don't know. Is there a way to secure cafe Wi-Fi? No. Don't don't use PvP enabled networks if you're doing sensitive stuff. Like what? You just out there going to Starbucks and logging into your bank account? Like what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it. Ridiculous. VPN will protect. No. No. See, here's the thing. I don't know how many of you guys are being ironic. I don't know how many of you are being unironic. I have no idea at this point. Because there are definitely some of you that truly believe that VPN is like as good as antivirus. There's some of you that do. That is so horrifying to me. Hell, there's some of you that think that Norton is better than Windows Defender. Slowly dying. This is slowly killing me. You know that, right? Like, I'm, I'm slowly dying due to this conversation. No, it's not. Windows Defender is God, dude. Best damn thing you can have in your machine. I am upset now. Deep in my bones. Malwarebytes? No, not Malwarebytes better than Windows Defender. Malwarebytes is great for spot checks. Windows Defender is great for everything else. You don't need anything else. If you are an, an individual user and not a company, you don't need anything else. You just need to not be an idiot on the internet. Stop downloading weird shit and running it. Monster. Dude, that thing's a beast, Jesus. Holy shit. Nice. Bonus level point. Mmm, armor shred. Mmm, armor shred. Delicious armor shred. Oh, man. Okay, hold up. going to town. It has begun. Do I still have plans to upgrade my pirate look after looking yes. at Burke Black? Burke Black is too pirate for me, dude. Stay safe. That man is so pirate, it's ridiculous. Insane to watch. 48% chance to summon for summon Wraith to summon a Flame Wraith instead.
I have two flame wraiths, so they're permanent now. Everything is fire. Yes. Yes. And they also apply bleed. Craftimation 101 is another good one, too. Yeah. Look the size of that glass. Yeah, dude. I drink two to three of these a day. Every day. Alright, let's get back out there. Clearly hydraulic fluid, you'll never prove it. No one will ever believe you. Okay, we gotta go up this way. I think we already did this portal. That's the one we just went into. Yeah, it is. <laughs> School bad, join circus. And I read. God, it's, the snack I'm eating is so spicy. Ooh. Ooh, what am I eating? Uh, it's an Indian snack. I threw away the, the bag of what it is. It's just these, but they're they're filled with like a, a spice paste. And they're great. But it's a kind of, it's an Indian snack and then like each one you eat, the spice gets stronger. So it's one of those. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's so spicy. Right. That's it. Oh, it's so spicy. Yeah, it's a stacking dot, dude. It's Indian food. I love Indian food. Oh. That's yes, kind of cool. Good luck. Let's actually see where that goes. It goes in my off end. Might be able to turn that into something amazing. I like the Ursine branded stuff. It looks cool. It is. It's a stacking dot, dude. Ugh. I'm gonna have to blow my nose in a minute here. I love Indian stuff, dude. I think it's like Indian mini samosas. It's very similar to that. Yeah. Me if other people say it's spicy, I eat Trinidad and Murugut scorpion peppers directly off the plant. I grow them. It's the third hottest pepper in the world. I love spicy shit, dude. I'm not just some, like, sad white boy that's like, Oh, a jalapeno, bah. Like, no, dude, no. <laughs> you kidding me? Yeah, no. I love spice. I love the shit out of spice. These are nasty. Level 26 on them. Oh shit. That was close. Let's just stay over here. Where there's less bullshit happening. Welcome, traveler. May Etera smile on you. What's down here? Where are they to let you walk over here? There's like nothing here. Ugh. One sec. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, no. Flavor and heat are not the same thing. This is hot. Like, um... It's not a flavor, it's- it's burning. 
but not temperature, not temperature burning. Spicy. We use the word spicy for all of them. Open your sinuses, it's already done. Hot food is pain. I love hot food. I wish we had a BCD tofu house up here because they have really, really good bowls there that are like super spicy if you get it on like the highest level and they're great, dude. I want something that reminds me that I'm alive when I eat it. That's what I like. That's the thing that I like. I want food that is a weapon when I eat it. That's what I- yeah, Thai food. Yeah. Oh, I love Thai food. I love Thai food. Thai food's great, dude. But why? I don't know. I enjoy it. Glyph of Hope. Nice. How's the stream going right now? Food is great. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what the stream is right now. I love it, dude. Okay. We can't do the dungeon yet. We actually need to go back the other direction. Throwing hot ones? I'd do that. I'd do that in a second. And I'd sweat, too. I'd turn red, I'd sweat, but I'd love the shit out of it. There's something broken in my brain that makes me enjoy these things. And I'm fine with that. I love spicy stuff, man. I did that, like, one chip challenge, and there, you're supposed to stay on stream for an hour, and, like, 15 minutes in after I ate it, I was like, this isn't even shit. I just went back to work for the next 45 minutes. We have a video of it on YouTube. It's really funny. You're a masochist? No, I don't like other kinds of pain. I just like spice. The bomb tastes gross. I like Trinidad Maruga Scorpion Peppers. I like those. I like to eat them raw. They're very nice that way. I don't usually like it done in sauces because the vinegar reduces the spice. Um, Carolina Reaper is something I've never been able to had, have fresh. I really, really want that. I've never had it. So I'm going to have that eventually. And I've had Carolina Reaper hot sauce and I put that on everything. It's great. Sea Dog ate two of those during his auction. That was awesome. That's, that's hilarious. Yeah, there are some times where they make a sauce and the sauce tastes more like a cleaner, and it's not correct. Yeah. It's it's not good that way. Carolina Reaper is a good hot sauce pepper. I agree with that. Bleach sauce. Yeah, and it's not good when it's bad like that. It's, it's not... It can get really, really bad. For sure. Funny stream stop? No. I refuse. What level is this? 27, and I am level 30, so we're still three above the level that we need. Which is fine. That's a good place to be. The spicy shit, too. It's my favorite, man. Headhunter Lavium. He poisons. But he's dead. At least he will be in a moment. Oh god, my dudes are so strong. Is he just not dying? Alright. What do we got? Hmm... We're going to need five points in Mortal Tether to increase our maximum number of skeletons by one again. 
I don't know if that's even worth it. I think they might. I think it might be worth it. Yeah, Armor Shred is really good. I wanted to get as much Armor Shred as possible, but I need to start going towards my new skeleton. You say you only need one? I thought they needed more. No, that's five. That's five pits. Pips, see? Connection requires five points. Yeah, that's five. Larger rates. There we go. Larger rates. Ooh. Look like it wanted a glance. Nah, it makes sense. Yeah, five points is kind of a lot of investment in that, but it's maximum mo like minion HP, so maybe that's fine. I'm starting to get worried about my own defenses. Is the problem right now? It's good base build. Yeah, it would be. The one that I have right now makes it so every time I use my potion, though, I summon two zombies, which is sick. That's your loot filter setup. Anything minion related turns it bright green. Offense is the best defense? It is. Unless you get one shot. <clears throat> My mage gets one shot? Should have built a better mage. Could have been a necromancer, you know? Where this game is very OP. I've heard that. A lot of people have been talking about that lately. Druid is minions. That's true. Druid look cool as hell. I was actually going to play Druid, uh, but chat voted Necromancer, so I'm playing Necromancer instead. Yeah, this is a hardcore character. Yeah, it's hardcore. I should probably put that in the title. Let me go put that in the stream. done on that. I'm going to put it over here. Are drops enabled now? I have no idea. I think drops are on specific streamers. I don't think they're for everybody. Yeah, I think they're for everybody. So sponsor there? Yeah, I decided to leave it on because they sponsored the stream, and I think it'd be weird because it'd be kind of misleading if I didn't have that on there, even though we're past the sponsored segment, so I'm just leaving it on. <gasps> Who is that? Is that a bean? Have you been digging, little man? You are so cute. You are so cute. I'm gonna eat you. Where are you going? Oh my god, you're so wild. Oh my god, he's wild. Sir. Sir. Beans. 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 He's <laughs> crafting me. Oh my god. Hi. This is Beans. Ah, he's full of beans. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he's full of beans. Holy shit. Yeah, his name is Beans. He's one of the ferrets in the rescue and he's freaking red. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Beans is full of beans. Is this a cult? No, it's an after school sandwich club. Ugh. Do I name Beans CFO? Maybe. Chief Financial Officer could be Beans. That's true.
Ooh, new ring. What is that? Also, thank you for the rating party of two. Whiskers on Wall Street. Nice name, by the way. 56% increased minion health. Dude. Okay, we're dropping a little bit of minion damage, but I don't care. That's a lot of minion health. Become stronger. Yes. Who? They're a rescue too, yeah. Yeah, we can help with that. Yeah, we don't have any space. We're at, we're at capacity right now. We're over capacity until the new house. There's another there's another ferret that a nearby rescue wants uh, to know if we could help with, and I was like, we're over capacity, dude. Yeah. We're over capacity right now. We gotta wait until we get the new house, which should be March 8th. And then maybe, maybe everything will work out. It'll be fine. It's going to be okay. Oh. No, ours is better. <laughs> March 8th plus time, that's true. We got stuff to fix on the new house first. We need internet and everything else that goes along with it. But the baby, they're already at another rescue. They will be just fine. Not worth. I'm just gonna leave that one behind. Actually, no. We can take of. We can actually take the bonuses on that, and then maybe extract them. Summon more dudes. Dude, look at that thing. I love this monster design. The soul cage is just freaking awesome. It's just a cool monster design. Almost level 32. Oh, I should have dodged that. It's a little spooky, you know? Oh, two of my wizards died. That's not great. One of my skeleton mages, or skeleton casters, too. Alright, we're good. Just a walking army? Yes. My job is to send dudes. That's what my job is. This game needs a dodge button? I disagree. I think it feels fine the way that it is. I know active dodge is kind of fun sometimes, but I don't think it's necessary. If you design the entire game around active dodge, then yeah. But if you add it in afterwards, it could imbalance everything. Says the Necro, damn right. I don't need a dodge. I don't need it. Yeah, play Rogue if you want to dodge. Bingo. Path of Exile 2 will have the dodge. That's not really a selling point to me, though. I want Path of Exile 2 to have a better new player experience, which it won't. So... That's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about when my friends go and join and they open up the talent tree and they go, ah, and then they stop playing the game. Yeah, my dodge is 12 feet tall and on fire. Agreed. There he is. We have another point. Got two points in there now. We do have we do have transplant. It's a teleport. I mean, it's not really a dodge, right? Transplant is you make another version of yourself. You teleport your your mind into it, and then you blow up your old body. Like that's not you're not really dodging, right? The old you is still dead, technically. It is pretty dope. It's a cool ability. Yeah, replicating. What is Ward? Like a shield around my character. 
Bonus shield. Goblins have to read impossible. Ooh, special monster. Oh, God. Come on, don't die. God, it's a lot of dudes. Nice. See? Who needs a dodge? Not necessary. Just need more dudes. My potion is my dodge. Alright, we still got a little bit of the ways to go. Level area is 29, we're at 32. So, here's the real question that I have. When does the difficulty scaler go up to such a degree that I start getting my ass kicked? Because I'm getting my ass kicked, like, really lightly right now. Like, it's pulling its punches. And it has slowly been going up. But I haven't felt like it's really kicking my ass yet. Act 6 boss kicks ass? Okay. Everyone's saying lagon, lagon. Desert, lagon, good luck. Okay. Once you learn him, he's relatively easy. Really? So there's learning mechanics. Alright. I'm in. I might actually go put some more points in Acolyte in a moment here. What? His model's broken. He's actually right here in his model's over there. Look at that. What is happening, dude? What a bug! Oh my god, that's an amazing bug. Oh, that's wild looking. That's very funny. Dude, he's going. Funny Balrog. Yeah, here, I'm just gonna... We're just gonna fix him. Bro. 34% increased minion damage. Okay, we're gonna move minion health over here. We're gonna take that off. We're gonna put 34% increased minion damage on. That's enormous. Fourteen minion melee damage, fourteen minion spell damage. Two-handed sword. One damage more than my old one. Nice. Sword. Percentile buffs are multiplicative? Yes, they are. I know there's- I know how to use control to compare items. I know. I know. I don't need to. I can read numbers. With my brain. You don't even- you don't do melee damage? No. I summon dudes. And those dudes do damage for me. Actually, wait a minute. Hold up. This counts as a spell.
I think because this does spell damage, it actually is better. Because these count as spells. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's better. I think the staff is going to end up being better. Only minion spell damage? I guess it's a minion tag. Scaling tags, minion intelligence. Intelligence, 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 intelligence. Okay, so maybe it doesn't count. Because we've got... Hmm. Because none of that else would count. Also, they've got a tooltip error there on the staff, if you can see that. Zero to zero, but it's 13. 40 to 40, but it's 21. Yeah, only ones that apply minions or minion mods. But we've got minion melee damage, minion spell damage. I think I'm going to use the sword, man. I think I'm going to end up using the sword, because it's got minion damage. Higher minion damage, which is really the only statistic that I think scales there. Most of your minions do bow damage? Yeah, but they also do minion damage. Yeah, I might destroy it and then craft upgrades to the minion damage sword. That's a good idea. Boop. Eight shards. Nice. The name of the things? I don't remember the name of them. Next time I go to the Indian food place, I will let you know what they are called. Because they come in a green bag from an Indian market. And they're really good. Oh, look at that guy explode, dude. Imagine being that guy. Couldn't be me, dude. Oh, I lost a skeleton. Unforgivable. Remember one of your minions died, so you have a chance to summon a skeleton vanguard from its corpse. A minion that deals melee physical damage using a spear. Limited three active skeleton vanguards. Interesting. I don't think we'll end up getting that. I need unbound necromancy is what I need. Minion bow physical damage plus one per point. Flat. Oh, man. Skeletons count as physical and bow, right? Okay, they do. Okay, does this mean... Let's think about this for a minute. Well, let's think about this for a minute. Okay, so... When we go into our passives... We have a bonus here, which is plus one bow damage... Plus one minion physical damage. 5% per point. Does that actually... Those stack together, right? Because they're physical bows. Because they have both. That's sick. Nice. Okay, good. Melee minion damage doesn't matter. It's the bow and the, the ranged one. The bow and physical is what I'm after. Because I'm using bow. Got a lot of bow dudes. You're exploding zombies, some of the vanguards? Maybe? Maybe? Oh yeah, the sword damage. We could upgrade that. Oh, I've been doing this without a weapon. I didn't have a weapon on. It was sitting in my forge window the whole time I fought that boss. Didn't need it. Minion melee damage? Minion spell damage? Minion melee damage, minion spell. Now it's 28. Oh. Now it's sick. Washed up safely. Good. It seems problem is. She's deep in Magellan. Yes. I'll hang back and cover our tracks. I'll only slow you down. 
Okay, let's think about this. Melee damage does nothing for me, but that spell damage... Because mm. some of these guys have spell damage. This is spell damage, that is spell damage, this is spell damage. And this is spell damage. So everybody's good. There we go. Don't need that. Oh, wait. 15 minion health regen. We're saving that one. Suddenly it's the PoE intro area. What, does Path of Exile have like a copyright on beaches? Is that... Is that the argument we're making now? Okay. Glad we had that talk. I'm dead. I died instantly. I died instantly! Fantastic. Fantastic. What a good death. That's when you know it's good. And you know what? I play hardcore. You know what that means? That's right. In hardcore, we die. And we start again on a new character. Back when I first played Diablo, way back in the day, the first druid I ever made I named Barstow. I don't know why I named him Bars, though. But when I did, everyone thought I came from there. I didn't even know it was a place. Bear time. Mm. Who's driving? In the beginning, Bear is driving. There was darkness. Only the terror. Myself. And the void. What did he die to? A big scorpion? Kicked my ass. I was One content sec. with nothing. She dreamt of light. Of life. Of humanity. We disagreed. And yet, in her world. Yeah, I didn't realize I was gonna die there. Majosa of the desert. Lord no, there's a hardcore mode. It's a soft hardcore. I can still feel the restless spirits of my family. Hmm. Temple of Etera will have my answers. I start off with a pet. All right, how many of these can we have? Oh, he can also howl and heal us. Oh, that's sick. All right. As he wishes to destroy us and steal a terror's legacy. Yeah, send dudes. We sent the final dude, guys. It's fine. But did you restart? I died. You know what happens when you die on hardcore? You delete your character. That's how that shit works. You think I'm gonna you think I'm gonna not delete my character on a hardcore death? You kidding me? No. That's not how hardcore works, bud. In hardcore you die. You die for real. The wolf looks different. I know. He's got like a... He gets like an aura thing around him. Now let's take a look at this. Strike at your enemy with a mighty lightning-powered storm. When you use Gathering Storm and hit at least one enemy, you gain a storm stack. Every second you expend a storm stack to cause a storm bolt to strike a nearby enemy. Hmm. <coughs> Probably people checked out after the death. I don't care. If you're only staying because they didn't die in hardcore, like, come on. That's fine. Hardcore is a waste of life. No, I enjoy it. It's fun. Like, I'm gonna be real with you, dude. Hardcore is fun. 
Hardcore is really enjoyable. I like it a lot. Somebody said that there's actually, like, a hidden area in here. In the very beginning. Hardcore is a challenge, yeah. Yeah, your fun is wrong. Exactly. If you don't like it, don't play hardcore. I like playing hardcore. I like the idea of it matters when you die. Anything in here? Weird. If you don't start over from the beginning of the game, it's not hardcore. Why start over from the beginning? When we start AOC, when it comes out in early, in alpha, uh, about four months from now. See if that weapon's better than ours. It is. I like hardcore games, though. I do. When I'm playing an action RPG, I prefer hardcore more than anything else. Whoa. These dudes are hit. I gotta get the hell out of here. Early game, this druid is, like, really getting slapped. Like, You're really right. getting slapped. Like, thanks. Are you all good? Name's no one. Come. Let me watch you fight. Interesting. What are we getting here? I feel like Beastmaster is going to be the way that I go. Or get to turn into a bear. Your minions deal increased damage, and using a potion also heals your minions for a percentage of the amount it heals you. That's sick. You've increased health, and every three seconds, your next hit restores your health. That's also sick. Will you join the AOC guild? Do exclamation point AOC in chat. Increase spell damage. Increase minion spell damage. We just get lightning and cold resist automatically. Oh. Increased melee damage, increased melee damage leech to his health. We're doing this route. Yeah, primal strength. Let's actually go see what strength does for us. Maybe I could do a leech build. Maybe I could do a leech build. I don't know. I don't know if bear, like a leech bear build, would be kind of cool on druid. That we can turn into a bear. Yeah, maybe we'll go that route. Yeah, let's start this off right. Get some leech going. Yeah, where bear? I'm gonna go bear. Smack him, dude. The necromancer die? Yeah. Skelomancy is no more. I'm trying to do longer streams on Wednesdays, so Wednesdays are going to be the long streams, dude. Because I can just play games, because I'm not going to stream on, on Thursday, you know? Hits are definitely slower. Definitely slower. 
Yeah, I died. I died. I left a blue mace back there. Oh, I think I'm used to not picking up blues. You're probably right about that. I'm so used to not picking up blues that you're... Yeah, you're totally right. Ooh, it's a biggie, too. Thanks for that. Thump. God, it hits. Summon Thorn Totem, huh? Wait a minute. What is that? Is this tower defense now? Summons a totem that fires thorns at nearby enemies. You can have a maximum of two thorn totems by default. Is that, wait, did that dog just roll on the ground, dude? Hold up. More health regeneration, please. I don't know which one I want. I don't know which one of these I want to have. I know I get to turn into a bear. There's a bear summon. Werebear form. Okay, it's druid werebear form. That's what we want. That's what we want. So I guess Wolf would be the way to do this. Wolf bites. Okay. Wolves get leap attack. You can summon wolves of up to your maximum number of companions. What's my maximum number of companions? How many wolves is that? Can I turn my wolves into bears? Lightning damage. Nice. You can have an additional wolf active at once. You can have an additional companion active at once. The extra wolf counts towards your companion limit. Hmm. Hmm. I think you should go this direction. We'll also have additional base health regeneration and increased health regeneration. Yeah, I feel like that's the right way to go right there. I'm going to do that. Tough wolf. This game has a, a helmet that turns your wolves into squirrels. Insane. Where'd you learn to fight? I like I'm just silent, dude. New character dead. I died. So a new character. When you die, you make a new character. Ooh. Well done. Nice. Almost there. I'll see you ahead. Let's see what we got here. Alright. Plus eight melee lightning damage. This one's inherently better. That's good to me. You're saying another skeleton was superior to yours? I am. My skeleton was not powerful enough, unfortunately. 
Neither was my skillopathy. Yeah. Lightning bears. Sounds like they're the key. It's now. Speaking of, I must head there now. Feel free to look around. Aloha from Hawaii. What's up, dude? How's it going? Yeah, my necro died. Sadness. Mm. Let's pick up some junk. What do we get? What is that? 10 ma master HP. Let's see. 20 armor. 20 armor. 22 armor. That's much better. That spear is okay. Five armor, six percent increased move speed. There we go. I think we're good to go. Much tougher than we were. I look like a monster, dude. No rings? Oh yeah, there's rings over there too. Is gold account wide? I don't know. Yeah, it is. Most definitely is. There's no rings on him. Yeah, no rings. Right. Look at me. I look like a luchador, dude. <laughs> oh, it's ready. Grail was just telling what a bolt bolt not you you could they should do this. And our alliance is secure. Here's actually what I like about the dog. You ready for this? Wait for the dog. Watch this. They added a really nice touch to this. Wait for it. I'm gonna eat this snack while I wait. I watched him do it before. Do it, dog. Wait for it. He's not doing it, dude. No, he's not doing it. Come on. There it is. Look at that dog. Also... Throw the gold on the ground or you're not hardcore? I can't. It won't let me. I am unable to do this. It is not allowed. Yep. There's nothing I can do with that. Yeah, just born rich, dude. I was a druid. Born with 36,000 gold. Don't worry about it. Should have selected solo character found at the start. What does that even mean? I don't know what solo character found means. Never heard of that. Trust fund druid. There's a challenge setting. Okay. Look at that swipe, dude. God, it feels good. Another one. More strength. More regen. Oh, wait. The chest over here. Okay. Thirty-three percent chance to shock on hit. Alright. Nice. 
Done. It's like dramatically less damage though. My other one is 20 melee damage plus 8 melee lightning damage. I think the other one's better. That one may be like gold or whatever, but it's not that good. Yeah, this is so much better. Like, look at that. It's like twice as much damage. Yeah, I wiped, dude. My character died. I died to a gigantic, like, horrible thing. A scorpion. It's a build plan. I want to become a bear and kill things as a bear. That's kind of the whole plan, really. It's just summon... Summon little dudes that can follow me, but also bear. I'm gonna be a druid. I'm gonna turn into a bear. Yeah, I wanna be a bear. And now that I understand the game a little bit better, I'm gonna be able to level faster than before. Just crush that guy. Level is this place? It's level three here. I'm only level five. Let's get up there. I'm gonna get up to level six before we leave this area. The BG3 bear? I mean, if you want it to be the BG3 bear, you know. That's on you, bud. There's a whole Google for you out there. I don't think I can provide that for you, though. Just saying. Can I leap over walls? I can't. Damn. <laughs> he tried to dig and I crushed him. Oh, there's an interesting item. Three health regen and 7% physical resistance. Alright, now we're starting to stall. Let's see. There's no mana cost on this. Why am I using swipe? That does more damage. Physical melee area strength. Lightning melee strength attunement. Interesting. Big fan of the sound design? Yeah, I agree. I super agree with that. Termin, thank you for the rating party of two, bud. Oh, wrong way. Uh... Yeah, I think Gathering Storm is just better. It's slower, though. Like, you can see it's it's definitely slower. Oh, look. You're really strong. Jesus. Okay, this is bad. Nope. I need more levels for you. I'll be back. Oh, wait. I got a wolf. I totally forgot I could heal with the wolf. I'm not used to owning a heal. God damn it. That horrible thing. I can't get near it. There we go. Jesus. Yes. 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 Alright, this is good. Wolf good. Yeah, the wolf is everything I wanted and more, dude. I'm definitely not as healthy as my necromancer. Like, most definitely not. But I'm smacking, dude. Huh? I need to get higher level. That's gonna be the problem right now. 
This early game, I feel very vulnerable. <clears throat> yeah, the health pool's dipping really, really fierce. It's, it's likely because they don't have enough armor right now. Yeah, I just don't have enough damage yet. Jesus. Yeah, no, we're gonna need we're gonna need defense, dude. Smush. That smash is just so nice. It's just so nice. What does the second spell do? Lightning. As you can see. The first spell heals me. There we go. I'm trying to just grind out levels right now in the very beginning, so I can have a little bit of a level advantage, so I can stay healthier. Yeah, the totem skill is good. Okay, let's see. There we go. That's kind of sick. I think this... This is where we need to go. Yeah. I'll be respecting that later, but I think we're good right now. Smoosh. I may have to take a shield for a little bit. That might be the right way to do this. The shield may be the right, right, you know, direction. Yeah, you'll feel the raw item of, of like, weapons and, like, items on this character. Yeah, 100%. That's why I like playing Barbarians sometimes. You just feel the items. It just feels good, you know? I'm also definitely feeling the levels a lot more, too. Getting strength is huge. Yeah, this is going to be the big one. So, you have increased health, and every three seconds your next hit restores your health. Yeah, that's what we want. The nearest allied target is healed for 100 health. If the target is one of your minions, then the health is tripled and the minion is energized for 4 seconds, increasing its size by 20% and its damage by 100%. The Terror's Blessing. As much as Gathering Storm is cool, I kind of like Swipe better. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is probably switching this out to a Terror's Blessing, switching this one to the Leap, and switching this one to the Totem. Nice. There we go. Did that not work? Interesting. Yeah, it didn't seem like it did anything. That's odd. Rude. Oh, you can heal yourself with it. Oh, it's amazing. 
I'm immortal now. It doesn't matter. Kill me in one hit or not at all. I didn't realize that I could heal myself. Holy shit. That's good. Is this bear mode now? Soon. I want to be bear that can heal himself. What's this? Boop. <laughs> the image is broken? Yeah, it's just placeholder shit, dude. I just haven't put it up together. We're gonna get real buff, dude. We're gonna get crazy buff. It does make him big. Look at him. That new ferret's doing very good. Very good. Did you kill Scalepathy? Yeah, she died. It happens. You can dual wield melee weapons by equipping an axe or a sword in your offhand. You take more damage while dual wielding. Multiply it with other modifiers. But I mean, you get two weapons. Do I want same mode again? Yeah. Ah, oh, but bears can't dual wield. I mean, they got two bear hands. You know. You know? Hunter's Restoration also heals minions. That's sick. I think I'm just gonna keep getting strong. I don't even think I need any of that. I think I just need to be big. Big. Oh. We just have to kill everything. I mean, plus 17 melee void damage. Yoink. One side, what would be the purpose of We're doing a it. it more. More. This way. Dude, you're, you're gonna get captured. Two hundred damage. Dude, I'm telling you. This seems like it's gonna be the way. I just need more cooldown redux. I love crushing stuff. Rude. Mana regen, health regeneration. Yeah, 
Done. Chalice is the way, dude. We're good. That should hold them. That's a good idea. Well, tell you what. Let's get out of here first, and then I'll explain more. These peace talks are hard. That leap, to work dude. Don't know why why that leap is immense. It's all about the leap. Need a fair companion? No. I need to become a bear. I have one objective. My objective is to become a bear. I am reaching this objective every moment of this game. More. God, it feels good. Did you start over? I died. Skelepathy not strong enough, dude. Now become bear. What's your favorite D&D &D class? Wizard. Hands down. I love wizard, dude. Wizard is 100% my favorite. God, getting a new weapon as a melee class in this feels great. Just... Mm, just mush him up, dude. What do you think, a Rogue? Haven't played it yet. What about least favorite? Paladin. I don't like Paladins in D&D. I don't like Paladin because every Paladin ever, ever, just chooses goody 2 choos shit. I want to have a really interesting dynamic Paladin. I want to have one that is more interesting than that. This is not as good. Because mine has 17 melee void damage on top of it. But it would be good if it did. Yeah, Dark Paladins are the way to go, dude. More interesting Paladins. Choose a cooler god. I love the leap, dude. Alright, there we go. Eight points in leap. We got eight extra strength from this. We got 32% increased health regeneration. Now I gotta put points in something else. What does attunement do for us? Let's see. Two mana and improved skills that rely on the innate magic inside you and your surroundings. This is all strength. Attunement. Attunement. So, attunement is going to be all of our spell stuff. Let's actually take a look at this. Is that an attunement ability? It is. So we're going to need attunement. We need werebearers and we need attunement. So, natural attunement is going to be the next piece. And that's going to give us lightning resistance and cold resistance anyway, so it's kind of a win-win. We'll get that up until we get to this point. So we need two more pieces, two more points, and then we will start getting survival of the pack, because that's more damage for us, more melee damage. And then we'll go back to attunement. Increase physical damage, cold damage, and lightning damage. Hmm... I don't know yet. You have additional spell damage per two attunement while leaping, and kills with Stormbolt have a chance to reset Fury's leap cooldown. Nice. Chance to summon vines where you land. Interesting. When you land, you cleanse all ailments on you and your minions. Bro. That is... That is ridiculously strong. Hey, Zizaran, what's up, dude? When you land, you and your minions are healed. 
It's bees. When you land, you and your minions get in frenzy for three seconds. Okay, hold up. This is like the buff the shit out of yourself path, and I like that a lot. Global melee damage. Global spell damage. You and your minions gain additional melee damage and spell damage for three seconds. Yeah, ferret playtime's going on. If you guys want to watch the ferret software channel, playtime is going on for the ferrets right now. You'll be able to watch them go play. So, ferret software or ferrets.live is the domain. That is our ferret. That's our ferret rescue. How about swipe though? We could go check swipe. What does swipe get? Way of the hunt. It's got a bear on it. Swipe deals significantly more damage, multiple with other modifiers, and slows enemies, but it has a cooldown. When you attack with swipe and hit at least one enemy, you call forth a spirit wolf from each of your summoned wolves. That's what? Alright. Hmm. Aspect of the Panther. When you attack with swipe and hit at least one enemy, you gain attack. As stack of Asker the Panther grants you more damage for each one of those. Dude, this is getting wild. I think I like this more. There we go. Leap is going. Now when I land, I get buffs. Mmm. Yes. Isn't Gathering Storm good? Yes. I just like the speed of the other one right now. Speed of swipe right now is kind of what I'm after. Questions, but let me first check and make sure the epoch's safe. Good. No. Not this time, nerd. Oh, he got him anyway. Got him anyway, dude. More layoffs, EA cutting 5% of its workforce? I'm not surprised. Yeah, we talked about it before. A lot of people overhired during the pandemic, so I'm really not surprised. Is this a Diablo 4 mod? What's the matter with you? Yeah, they modified it so much that they made their own video game that has nothing to do with Diablo. I find it amazing that people can play a video game, and if it's their first game, they think every other game is a copy of it. Action RPGs, my dude. It's a whole genre of games. The health bar is a circle? Many of them are. Go play Lost Ark. Go play Grim Dawn. <laughs> Go play Minecraft. Modded Minecraft. Oh my god, dude. It always makes me laugh, because it's like, what? Why are you like this? Yeah, most of them do. Most of them have spheres. Almost all of them do. Because Diablo defined the genre. 100%. Diablo defined the genre. It's also a genre with hundreds of games. Wilson's great, dude. Wilson's really good. I really enjoyed Wilson. A lot, actually. How many hours do I have in that game? I only got 22 hours in it. I think it's because I played it when it first came out, and the end game wasn't there yet. I might want to return to that and play it. Wilson is good, dude. I really, really enjoyed that. The end game wasn't very deep at the time, but I think it is now. Everything okay? What Happened in that Necromancer, it died. It did a really good job at taking a blow to the face, and then didn't get back up again afterwards.
One moment. Necromancer died, dude. Became a new skeleton. That's how it works. Hey, look, a bow. Impossible. Let's take a look at this bow. Hellreach, rogue bow. Not for me. Bow fire damage, increased bow attack speed, and fire penetration. That's awesome. You saw me eat? No, you didn't. You saw me chew. It's different. You saw nothing. Chewing and eating is the same thing? No, it's not. You don't eat gum. You chew it. Got him, dude. Better not be eating gum. No, you shouldn't be eating gum. You shouldn't be doing that. Yo, you shouldn't do that. Bad goblins. No. What is this poison shit? Go away. Chance to ignite. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's good. 12% increased melee attack speed. 15% increased mana regeneration. 21 dodge, 6% physical resistance. Way better than flat HP. HP bar is too scary. Don't worry about it. We just need faster attack speed. Attack faster. Take less damage. Yeah, this is good. This game is designed by aliens? What does it even mean, dude? Explain yourself. Yeah, the necro ripped. The necro ripped, dude. It happens. I'm not too worried about it. I'm starting to get stronger. Alright. Let's switch this out for Gathering Storm. Because I have that movement speed now, or I have that attack speed now. It's exactly what I want. Attunement. What is War Cry? Knocks back nearby enemies and stuns them for 1.5 seconds. Rares and bosses will be stunned for half as long. Not worth. Gotta keep moving. Stun is free hits. Yeah, but it's only 1.5 seconds on a 10 second cooldown. That's 1.5 seconds I could be dealing damage and getting XP. I'm not playing a ZDPS build. Not necessary. Mm. 
Mocha fighting everybody in here? Yeah, good Mocha. He's usually a soft little sad boy, so it's good to see that Mocha's fighting people. Dump some shit. Yeah. Plus three strength. Nice. Yeah, dude. We love it. We good. Let us name the wolf. Can you even name the wolf? Because you can have multiple wolves, can you? Level 18? Level 9. Using a loot filter? Not currently. I will be eventually. I need to know what stats are best for this character. Don't know yet. the bork bork dude how do i name the bork bork can you pet the dog no i can make him howl and fight things though all right never let a dragon face you Shit, 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 shit. All right. And you're dead, dude. It's over. was fun. Yeah, it's a dragon griffin thing. It's horrifying. That music was sick. That fight was dramatically different from the last time we did the fight. Oh my shit. Yoink. Okay. Alright. This sword... 53% increased stun chance, 35% chance to ignite on hit, 72% increased critical strike chance, 11 melee fire damage. Yoink. That's so good, dude. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Soon you know it's good when he's vibrating rapidly, dude. There's a silver one over here that we gotta do. A bit better than the previous sword. A little bit. I died on the necro, yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, it feels good. Yeah, I died. It happens. Jesus. That's a lot of bullshit. The dog's doing work? Yeah, the dog is awesome, dude. No. Not die here. I love you jump across the whole length of the screen. Feels so good. I know, dude. The jump is awesome. Like, look at how nice that feels. It just feels good, you know? He's back. He's been quite... You're back. No, 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 no. I'm so sorry. sorry to you, too. Speak with Keeper Balthus. Where is Keeper Balthus? Oh wait, he's doing the thing. Okay, I didn't get left behind. I know there's no need for the portal stone. I'm trying to kill as many things as possible. Went to sleep this morning in your bag? Nice, dude. Okay. These are all level 9. I'm level 9. Okay, so we're at, at level. We're at level. I've unlocked Tempest Strike. Who's Tempest Strike? Melee combo that cycles through Cold Strike and a Physical Strike and a Lightning Strike that trigger Elemental Tempest. That's expensive. Let's use it. We're going to use that as a killer. Wait. Oh, it slaps. All right. Yeah, I know it hits. It eats mana like crazy, but goddamn does it hit. What happened to your necromancer? Done. Yeah, it hits. No, we're good. We're good. This is fine. All right. More attunement. Or wait. Survival of the pack. Increase melee damage and increase melee damage leached as health. It begins. We're becoming the bear. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Plus one to Fury Leap. And plus 12% increased melee damage. I mean, a lovely. 
I lose HP regen, but I don't really care about that. This is going to make it so we get Frenzy when I land. This is going to make it so that we're healed when I land. And then that'll remove all debuffs on me when I land. This is going to be sick. This is going to be so goddamn good, dude. Yeah. This is, this is how it happens, right? A full cleanse in a game like this is like... That's what you want. You want to cleanse. Now let's take a look at this. One handed? No. Two hands. Yeah, you land so hard it expels all the poison in your blood. True. Dude, we're getting there. Watch over you. Gods. <laughs> Just jumped all the way into the next zone, dude. <laughs> oh man. Yes. Gods be with you. I think this character is going to last a lot longer. I'm just melting everything. The area is one level below me. Hmm. Worm. And now it's two levels below me. More melee damage. Hmm. Farewell. Oh look, it's our buddy, the worm. Why does this game feel so good now? Love when he died? I don't remember. God, that heals the hell out of me, though. Oh? Mine gives more damage and is a faster attack speed, so I don't think that one's better. That one does melee void, this one does melee fire. That one is 26 melee. I guess that one's technically higher damage, but mine has a chance to... has higher crit chance and chance to ignite. I have a champion 50, it's the most fun class I've played. I really enjoy this, man. Like, I'm really, really enjoying this so far. All the characters have felt very, very good so far. I've played uh, Necromancer in this. Better than Diablo? Yeah. I feel like it is right now. 
What brings you Granted, here? we're still in the honeymoon phase. There's still endgame to complain about, right? At a certain point. So I don't really know about the endgame, but right now this feels better to me. What brings you here? The Terra's Grace Mule. Yeah, it is big coming for me, because I, I like Diablo a lot. Patch 1.1, they're adding a pinnacle boss? Really? I can't wait to die to it, dude. I like playing hardcore a lot, so... Is that 5% increased movement speed? 3%. I really wish that this would, like, show off both rings when I click on this? It doesn't show both when you do control. It's weird. Oh, Glyphophob. Yoink. Oh, wait. Oh, Not quite. It's funny, too, because people were like, oh, code it in this language, code it in the la that language. EVE Online was coded in, in Python. The whole server infrastructure was done in Python for years. Years, dude. Massive MMO. Doesn't matter what you you use as long as it is performance and scales. Yeah. God, that heal is huge. What do you think, Rust? The Rust? You mean the language? Do you mean Rust the language? Go ask Primogen about it. It'll make his hair turn blue again. It'll be funny. The fear. Ooh, what is that? Surrounds you with a freezing maelstrom that deals cold damage nearby to enemies. Okay, so we get an aura. How long does the aura last? Forever? Okay, now, for a while. I don't know if that's that cost-effective. I feel like you need to upgrade the shit out of that to make that worth. I kind of like the heal better. i will do war cry instead. B. Your wolves have a chance to retaliate with Stormbolt when hit or when they hit an enemy. That's only 2% chance. That's not very good. Additional armor on the wolf. And their tanks leech a portion of the physical damage they deal as health. What does Stormbolt do? Stormbolts cast by your wolves are affected by your gathering storm tree and scale with minion damage. I think I'm gonna go that way. We're gonna get one max companion. More. More melee damage. Gods be with you. Stay safe. Okay, that's one more done. Oh wait, there's the wizard tomb thing in there. Bro, should we do the wizard tomb thing? Did the wolf change appearance? He did. He's a storm wolf now. So yeah, he did. Look at that. He's zapping stuff. That's cool as shit, actually. Dangerous? What is that? Admiral Barrow raiding with a party of 3,000. What is that, bud? How's it going? You want to see me maybe die? I'm playing a hardcore character. We're going to find out. Barrow's a good buddy. Oop. 
I decided to F around and I almost found out. Shit. Couldn't see it because it was under the ground. This damn thing. Shit. Crushed him. Anyway. That was annoying. Alright, let's see. 0.7 seconds of traversal skill cooldowns recovered on potion use. 17% increased chance to find potions. Well, alrighty then. Four potion slots. Increased health regeneration. Yeah, that's just better. And my traversal skill is actually Fury Leap, so... When I use a potion, that cooldown of 6 seconds goes down by 0.7 seconds. Baru's mascot is a panda. Yeah, Baru's the best, dude. Admiral Baru plays a lot of games. He plays them really, really hard. He's a good buddy of mine. Awesome as shit. How you doing, by the way, Baru? I was fighting a dude. There's a lot of dudes. Russian dudes. Lick still on? Yeah, so they had to redo the liquor because Twitch didn't like that it had saliva on it for whatever reason. And Twitch is fine if the same emote is there without saliva, which... It's something else, my dude. Twitch has interesting standards sometimes, I have to say. I was still wearing the basic armor. I was wearing the starter armor still, dude. Okay, that's not good. Oh? No? No. No thank you, no nothing? For what? Dark code? What are you upset about? I just didn't know what you were upset about. What? I didn't see any. I missed something? Hope not. Yeah, I don't know, dude. We blasted it. There's 100% of Druid. I love this, dude. Appreciate you too, Fat. Good name, by the way. Is it Fat Jimmy? Is that how you pronounce it? Oh, you got a delay. You're part of the gang. What's up, dude? Thank you. Nice. Dude, this character feels infinitely better than the Necromancer. Like, I just, I feel good playing this. It hurts. Oh, it hurts. Oh, God, it's made out of weird shit. God, it's awful. Oh, it was made out of pain. 
It was made out of pain, dude, 100%. Oh, Alright, what do we got here? More! Yes! 20% melee damage. Or am I at, at messages to Thorlot? Always, dude. Always at me. You have to understand, right? There's 10,500 people over on Twitch side. There's another 1,000 over on YouTube. It's a lot of people, right? So I'm not going to see every message. I never do. I do as much as I possibly can, and I answer as many questions as I possibly can, but I'm not going to be able to see it all. Do as much as I can, mm. though. Is it better than D4? In my opinion, I really enjoy this. I... I I think there's space for both of them, but I think that I would rather play this than Diablo 4 right now. Summon Storm Crows. <laughs> the Storm Crow counts as a companion. You can have a maximum of two companions at once by default. Okay. Increases minion damage. Increases physical damage, cold damage, and lightning damage. I feel like... I feel like this is what we need right now. Tempest Bond. I feel like that's the next piece, right? Because we're going to get eight points of physical damage. It's actually going to be this one and then that one. Because this is five more physical damage. But that does cold and lightning damage. I'm doing cold and damage. I think this is the right way to go. A reverse execute on ourselves. This one is 10 more health, increased companion health, and companion revival speed, which is cool. But I feel like it's going to be, it's probably going to be Tempest Bond. We're going to do Tempest Bond. Because it's a different you multiplicative scaler, which we you always want that. Plead, plead. The gods have long left this world. But yeah, 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 gods long left. What? You'll never stop me. Go on then. Bah. What is this, an AI? No, it's Wednesday, my dude. You're honestly curious how many ARG, ARPG players would like WAS movement? I don't like it. I don't like WAS movement on ARPGs. It doesn't feel right. It really doesn't feel right. Oh yeah, the idols. Shit. I forgot them. I totally forgot about those. Yeah, WAS feels really bad in action RPGs. It just doesn't feel right. It's clunky, dude. Chance to bleed on hit. 12% of potion health converted to ward. No, I want him to bleed. Done. Yeah, I'm hopeful Diablo 4 will improve as well. I'm very hopeful for that. I think that this game is good. I think I'd rather play this right now. Mostly because the progression systems just feel more interesting to me. The characters feel more interesting. The world feels more interesting. And I don't even think that's a newness thing. That's just like a... I think it's a game design thing for this, man. Colors seem more vivid. I wouldn't say that the visual style is different in that regard. They're very similar that way. Let's go up to the right. Yeah, more builds that work well in this game. That I would agree with. There's a lot of builds in this that just seem to work. Any way that I build my character just seems to function. Which is not an easy thing to do, mind you. We'll over these. 11? 11 of my 13. Alright. Crush him, dude. Oh, wait. What boss, dude? Plus 10 melee physical damage. Chance to blind on a hit. That might be better. That might that might actually be unironically better. Mine is a chance to ignite on hit, but that's blind, dude. Blind is insane. 
Straight up. It hits a lot slower. Like a lot slower. I think the old one was better. Yeah, I think the old one was better. How do you stream so long? Well, first I hit the play button on my stream. And then I just don't hit it again. Yeah. You started a new character? Yeah, my, my last one died. Secrets out, guys. Yeah. It's true. Occultist Jade Ring. Necrotic damage? Worthless. Love listening to y'all while banging out my history paper. Nice, dude. Now, to be real with you, though, I've been streaming for seven years. I built up a tolerance to streaming so that I wouldn't die to it, right? You see, streaming's like Iocane powder. You have to make sure that you don't overdose on Iocane powder, right? It's not a good thing. Impossible. Streaming drain your social battery? No, it used to. I think it used to when I started off. I could only stream like two or three hours at a time. But I got better and better. Yeah, Princess Bride is great, dude. Alright, let's see if I can kill this thing. Some good hits. Plus 50% increased physical damage? Dude, what does that do? Interesting. So if I take this physical damage sword... Does that do 50% after the fact? I think it does. Yeah. So if we, if we wear this, that's enormous. It's local? No, that's, that's a global multiplicative scalar for 50% bonus physical damage. That's enormous, dude. Like, this increases my melee critical strike chance from 7% to 11% because it's 72% increased. This makes me have 50% more global physical damage. That's absolutely huge. Yeah, percent mods are global. I wish there was a total physical damage somewhere listed in here. Text and you can see estimated DPS. 87. 140. But that's not a physical. So 189. 143. Damn. 
the added flat is better because this has plus 11 melee fire damage. That's the issue. We need to probably make this one better. Let's see if we can do this. That'll give plus physical damage, but let's see if we can do something else. That's percent increased. Melee damage percent, fire damage percent. Is there a way we can get flat melee damage? Oh, this is plus X melee fire damage. That might be the right way to go. I don't think we have flat physical. We don't. Chance to ignite on hit. That's all we have. So for flat damage, we don't have that. Yeah, for physical, all we have is percentage increased physical damage. So we gotta get flat damage on it, too. No, no, this is this is percentage get damage. We don't have a, a material for that. Could be melee. Melee critical strike chance, melee cold damage, melee lightning damage. Plus melee lightning damage. We can do melee lightning damage because that actually modifies in with my other stuff. Yeah, we just don't have a flat one. Adds health on melee hit. That's enormous. No, I think this one is awesome, dude. The 50%. I'm just going to add it. Plus 8. Do it again. Plus 16. No forging potential. Totally fine. So now I want to see what this does. So we got plus 16 melee lighting damage. We got 189. 229. 144. 140. Perfect. Does more damage. 286. 294. Now that's interesting. 294 on the old one. Is it because the critical strike chance? See, this is what I wanted to know about it. Shred the old one? I'm not going to shred it. I want to know. I want to know answers. 286 versus 294. So one of these does more damage on that. The leap is better, though. Yeah, I'm mostly trying to figure out how the crafting system works. This isn't going to be like my end-all be-all weapon, you know? Thing just duplicate himself? What the hell? Hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So this antler goes in the off end. The offhand right now is plus one strength, plus one to fury, fury leap. And then 24 health, poison resistance, physical damage. Physical damage, minion physical damage. So it might just be worth it to just do this. I'll lose one point on this. But I think that's fine. We get another dog now. Two dogs. Two dogs. Increased melee attack speed. Hurricane split greatsword of lethargy. Chance to slow. Melee lightning damage. 233. 210. 354. 347. 145. 135. 
It's so weird that it scales so strangely. But I think this is fine. Yeah. Plus 30 melee damage. Very odd. Yeah, plus 10 flat damage in base, yeah. That's why I ended up choosing that one. More burst. I haven't played this game in like a year. It's awesome. Getting there, dude. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Oh. Yeah, no, that's good. 3.4% of melee damage leached his health. Ooh. Okay, skill unlocked upheaval. Let's check this out. Sunders the ground in a line in front of you, dealing damage to enemies along the path. Has 135% added damage effectiveness. <laughs> Earth Druid Crush. What kind of damage is this? Physical melee area strength attunement. Okay, let's check out our abilities now. We can get Tempest Bond. 4% physical damage. This is melee damage, though. Physical damage is something that we've kind of been able to touch on. I think melee damage is going to be the right way to do this. Necrodai, yeah. We're going to do melee damage first, because melee damage is all this. So melee, melee, melee. Yeah, and that's 30% multiplicative as a separate scaler. I'd rather have the separate scaler right now. Are you live right now? Because I'm live right now? Why are you live right now? It's Wednesday, man. Wednesday is long stream day. That's what it is. What is melee? Anything in, like, short range. That's melee. I have two dogs now, by the way. Got him. <laughs> Increased physical damage. Melee attack speed on mine, which is better. 41% minion health. Doesn't really matter for me. Shattering Pike. Doesn't matter for me. Alright. Oh, wait. Hurricane Club. We didn't check that one out. Nope. I really like the looting system, too. The loot filters are fantastic. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Yeah, no, on Wednesdays I can stream as long as I want because I don't have streaming on Thursday, so. Is this work picking up at the moment? I really enjoy this, so yes. Still life, please. They had me do a sponsored stream for two hours. I have not been under contract for... I don't know. Long time. I just keep playing it, because it's really good. <laughs> I'm no longer contractually obligated to play this, and I've played it for like another six or eight hours. Some absurd amount of time. Yeah, no. How long have I played this? Let me look. It doesn't even show because it's still running. I'm in the same play session. I have no idea. How long has it been since 6 a.m.? No, it's been- it's been eight- eight hours and forty minutes. 
I've been playing for 8 hours and 40 minutes. Yeah, I really enjoy it. More physical damage. More cold damage, more lightning damage. Double the while you have a minion. Hey. I'm just saying, it's a good game. Goodbye. Another one. Another one. We've almost got Primalus fully mastered, too. We've almost got it done. Let's see. Ancestral weapon. You deal additional melee damage with most two-handed weapons. The amount and damage type depend on the weapon used. Cold damage with the two-handed mace. Physical damage with the two-handed axe. And lightning damage with the two-handed staff. Oh, I need to use a staff. Swords aren't worth it for me. Shit. Okay, we need to have an axe. Hey, look. Cool gloves. 3% of elemental damage leached his health. Bruh. Yes, please. Yes, please. I'm not a warrior, though. I'm a druid. The wolves are awesome, yeah? Panium still life, you please. Stop him. Did that not work? Panium still life, you please. Stop him. Huh? Gods be with you. Stay safe. Yes. Follow your feet. Oh, hey, all my stuff from last run is here. Well, then. Is there anything I can actually use in here? 2% of elemental damage is Leech's health. Chill, shock, and ignite on hit with elemental skills. 30% increased chill, shock, and ignite duration. We can actually use the Tome of Elements. Hmm. That being said, I'm playing hardcore. Oh, wait, no. Go in the inventory. Just leave it in there. I can get other animal friends, too. I'm just not using them. I don't have them yet. I'm going to be turning into a bear eventually. Yeah, the sponsored slot is long since over, dude. Druid, druid, druid. It's your class, druid. Killing stuff. My class is killing things. I do it. Really well. Oh, that's interesting. I just found a secret area. Huh. That's kind of cool. I dig that. It's a lot of loot. Thank you very much for that rating party of nine. Hope you're having a good day. All right, done. So it looks like there's little secret areas like that one. That's cool. I dig that. Was the door blocked? I don't know. I just was able to walk into it. It might have been blocked by something originally. Dude, this mage is just standing there. Not a good spot to be. Look at him go, dude. Why is he just sitting there?
Why is this man so bugged? Oh, because I blinded him. Oh no, this isn't blind, so no, I have no idea. I got nothing. Plus one to all attributes. That's kind of sick. That's really sick, actually. Experimental hide gloves of hope. No. Not even close. Gross, dude. Is your first time playing this game hardcore? Second. First character died before it was a necromancer. I didn't build it correctly. I've been building this through it a lot more correctly. What does the G button do? No idea. Now I'll never know. Mine is definitely better. Melee attack speed into critical strike chance. What was wrong in the first build? Just not enough defense. I was too focused on damage. And a lot of it was moved over to my pet damage. So my character was physically weak. This one I made myself into a... Well, a tank, frankly. G is the game guide? Why does everybody want me to see... what? Why does everyone want to see my game guide? I've been told to look at that a ton. And it makes no sense. It's weird, yeah, like today. Easy. Mmm. That's a lot of movement speed. Okay, that is a lot of movement speed. I think I'm going to end up taking these, because look, we got 6% movement speed out of the box, and then we got another 9% in the actual stats. One dodge, 16, or one strength, 16 dodge rating. I think that's probably just better. Yeah. Likely you're going to put another point in Tempest Bond. More damage. You new here from YouTube Shorts. Just want to say love your stuff. Keep it up. And press G for game guide. Why is everyone telling me to press G for game guide? I don't understand. Pressing this button. Oh. You're awesome as hell, dude. You are awesome as hell. Thank you very much. Crushed. Smushed. That's a thing over here. Just annihilated him, dude. It's actually terrifying how much damage I'm doing. I don't need the game guide. Like, I'm alright. Promise. Or a ghost, god damn it. Most American character I can because I have the right to bear arms. It's true. Pressing G made my stonks go up. Nice, dude. Press G for girlfriend. No, you know how you do that? You have to go outside. Or 
stay inside and don't worry about it and just do the things you want to do and you might meet someone else who also likes doing those things. And if you try to change who you are just to get somebody, you're both going to end up unhappy with that relationship. Amazing how that works, right? Yeah. 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 That's a lot of gross shit. I don't like any of that. The chief for grass, yeah. Wait, other people are into the same things as me? Well, I hope so. If they're not, then... You might be into some weird shit. You know. Oh, you like money too? That's funny. I actually don't. I like doing stuff with it. The money itself is kind of irrelevant. If you can do something cool with other people, or for other people, then that's kind of the whole point of it, right? Why do you think I give so much of it away? I guess that's kind of the point. Otherwise, I'd pile it up like a dragon. Which all you've heard, it's very... Can I pet them? Yeah, you can. They're so cute, dude. Dragons are kind of cool, to be honest with you. You'd, you'd have a Thord? No, I just pay the mods. That's sort of the idea. Like, I, I'm in the process of building a corporation right now, and when that's finished, I'm going to be able to hire on the moderators full-time and pay them. And I will once again go back to being an employee instead of a drag. Yeah. game like Diablo 3? Yeah, if you play action RPGs, you'll feel right at home here. Oh, he's big. Hi. Oh, come on. Oh, this guy's gross, dude. Gross. You. Hmm. That is ridiculously stronger. Look at the armor. 7 health regen, 42 armor. Yeah, alright. Finished. Done with that. Wow, well, still playing? Yeah, I'm enjoying the shit out of it, dude. Yeah, 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 I can craft, I know. Terra's grace be with you. Take care of yourself. Is there BVB in this? I think there might be. And the reason why I say that is because there was a stat that said it does damage to players. Like, reduced damage to players. So if it has that, likely not something that's in the game yet, or something that I just don't have access to yet. Would you recommend? Yeah, I'm enjoying the shit out of it. Trying for your fire cape or something? What, dude? I'm at her runescaping, dude.
Yoink. Got him. God, this character just keeps getting stronger. Problem is, is I need to get an axe. Oh wait, there's an axe. What happened? Necro died. It died gloriously, though. To a scorpion. It's got one shot. I don't really need to upgrade from the sword yet. Soon. Serpent Strike, a melee attack with 140% poison chance. Poisons inflicted by Serpent Strike last 40% longer. Oh dear god. None of this is poison though. No, we don't need that. Now we need to become a druid. Increase damage. Primordial resonance. You have additional elemental penetration while transformed. Mastery skill wearable form. Yes. 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 I just need to continue the story. More story. Bear. 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 Crush. All of these are in the way of me becoming a bear. That's a really good belt. I think that's actually better than mine. Because we get 10% increased physical from that. Yep. One extra health regen. But 19 damage reflected. And 61 bonus armor. <laughs> definitely worth it. Yeah, definitely worth it. Eight, one seventy-eight, four twenty-one, two eighty-three. Hey, you know that two-handed axe? It's better. Yeah. Sick. Axe, axe, axe. We need an axe anyway. Gods, Terra, watch over you. Okay, you're done. Ho 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 ho. Squish him, dude. Oh? Yeah, that one's weaker. 100%, 110% increased stun chance. 100% increased stun chance with melee attacks. Wait a minute. I'm gonna hold on to that anyway, just because that's wild. I mean, it's dramatically reduced damage. Oh, look! There's, uh... They actually put HTML in there. It's BR... You know, you don't have to do a closed bracket on 
BR, right? For new lines. BR closed doesn't that doesn't need to happen. This is it's just BR. It looks like they did on all of these. Yeah, both stun and stun. Both have BR slash. That's very funny. You don't need to do that. It's just BR. Should be two line breaks to not being compiled properly? Yeah. It should just be BR. Without a slash. You don't need a closing. Doesn't need it. It's a, it's a self-closing element. Yeah. Self-closing is more correct. Yeah, it's a self-closing element. Not necessary. There's a dream part. No, I'm not. It's just that it's a tooltip error. Who gives a shit? I'm letting chat know you don't need to close it. Because people are like, oh, it's got to be BR space slash. No, it doesn't. Just BR. Play bruh? No. In fact, I'm going to play so little now that I'm banning you. View, bruh. Oh, wait. You can't now. Unfortunate. Imagine being that guy. Streamer do the thing. Yeah, no, right? Increases the chance for a melee hit to stun an enemy. When calculating stun chance, using the formula above, melee damage dealt by players is multiplied by 3, and other damage dealt by players is multiplied by 2. I wonder if this thing would actually stun the shit out of enemies. Let's try this out. This still sponsor time? Not technically, no. They only sponsor me for the first two hours. I just left it on because I left the link up there, and the link has tracking information on it. Stay back. It doesn't give me money, but it does add to tracking, so it makes the most sense to leave it there if we're going to have a tracking link, you know. You are not getting stunned. I feel upset. Dude, my wolves don't give a shit. Ow. By the way, the best way to get banned on my channel, just to let you guys know, is if you say, bruh, statement, as your first message in the channel. Happens all the time. It's the one thing I'll just ban people for. I don't even feel bad about it. Yeah, some of you are getting called the void right now. But it's not your first message, so it doesn't matter. You can call me dude, and that's fine. I'm from California. I say dude all the time. He fought well. He will find peace in death. Hmm. 35 armor. Ooh. I'm gonna lose some movement speed, but I think that's fine. I think that's fine. It's a lot of... a lot of armor. Maybe not. Maybe armor's better. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. We need more cultist choppers. We need them. Movement speed is a defensive layer, in my opinion. It's more than that. So, as, as someone who plays, like, action RPGs competitively, uh, movement speed is also experience gain. That is one of the biggest thing about it. It's faster progress, yeah. Movement speed is is experience gain. 100%. It's incredibly, incredibly powerful stat. You seem a little dis- This is- He might be kind enough to- Stay safe. You play competitively? Yeah, I used to be top 10 Witch Doctor in, in Diablo 3. Um, was in the top guild in the world. Also worked at Blizzard for seven years. I love action RPGs a lot, dude.
You make the chicken build? I don't know if I was the first one to do it, You've but woken up. in a time where everyone That's played haunt good. build, I played sure uh, pets, and I was the only one in the top 1,000, and I was like rank 12. <laughs> played D4 a little bit. I There's nothing competitive about Diablo 4, and it kind of took it away for me. I, I like competing on leaderboards, and I'm waiting for Diablo 4 to have leaderboards. I see your like, give them to me. I have, I, and there's not really I anything to compete over anyway. Kind of rough. Eyes and focus on the Druid. Potential you wish to Druid! I don't even have to look! Make me a bear. To you. Okay, how do I become a bear? Okay, I actually have to take us. We're gonna get rid of upheaval. Yes. Transform into Ferocious Werebear. Increasing your physical capabilities and getting four new abilities. Your mana is replaced with Rage Meter in Werebear form. When rage reaches zero, you automatically transform back into your human form. Your starting rage is equal to your maximum mana. Rage slowly decays over time at a constant rate. Okay. Very cool. Nice. Is that normal swipe? Is that the same as normal swipe? Is that a special form of swipe? I don't like that it's temporary. Legit. I don't like that it's temporary. Maybe there's a way that we can make it permanent? It's the same swipe. They look different though. The UI looks different. So I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to get rid of Gathering Storm and put swipe back on my bar and then start scaling with swipe. You can make it permanent? I thought so. Let's take a look at this. It keeps my pets, it looks like, too. Items can give rage sustain? That's interesting. Your fury leap now tree now applies to maul. Okay. Do we need that? This consumes fury leap's mana cost is rage. That's fine. We'll need that for sure. When you use maul and hit at least one enemy, your minions deal damage for eight seconds. It's fucking sick. Okay. After using Maul, you now use Upheaval towards your target. Okay, so Upheaval is a good thing. After actually using Roar, Human Form is now replaced with Swarm Call, which summons a Locust for each nearby stunned enemy for up to six and transforms you to a Swarm Blade form. That's weird. You now have a chance to cast Maelstrom and use Swiper Maul. And hit at least one enemy. That's very good. AoE slow frost on bear form? That's enormous. You get additional spell damage per point of strength on werebear form. Okay. So where is it that we can just have this forever? I'm not seeing that anywhere on here. Passive tree. Where are we seeing this? The rage only decays if you've used an ability recently, past four seconds. Okay, no rage decay out of combat either. We can just search for decay. You deal increased damage while transformed, and your rage decays slower. Okay. So let's look at rage. When you directly cast a spell, you regain its mana or rage cost as health. That's kind of cool. Increases crit chance 15% per point. So it's going to be a crit build at that point, right? It's going to end up being a crit build. As much crit as possible for Rageborn. Yeah. Interesting. Thank you for the rating party of seven, by the way, Draco. Hope you're having a good day. 
this isn't what I thought it was going to be. I thought the bear was going to be a bit different. Your wolves have a chance to retaliate with Stormbolt when hit, and now deal more spell damage. Server retaliation chance plus 35%. And spell damage plus 35%. That seems like a good idea. Yoink. Already got lightning wolves. More lightning wolves. Interesting. Maximum mana pool is also a big one. Are still you. That strength will be necessary if our world, our reality, is to have any hope. Hmm. Minions have additional armor, doubled for Locus. I think it's going to be this one first. Yeah. Because this is just... It doesn't matter to us. Not really. Damage, it's just 5% increased damage multiplicatively per point, and then it gives elemental penetration at level 5. Yeah, we're going to switch over to swipe. I'm actually going to put... Let me see if swipe is good. I'll, I'll probably put wearable form up as my next one when I hit level 20. Because we need to start building that out, right? Because it's not, like, good yet. This consumes Maelstrom's mana cost is rage. That's not good. You regain additional rage if you hit at least one enemy with swipe. That's what we need to focus on. I think that's the one. Rage decays slower. So what we can do... Maul and Roar affect a larger area. Maul melee damage to stun plus 15%. We can also go up this way, Endurance Threshold. What is Endurance? Is that like a shield? Is they're okay? Yeah. What? Best stream ever. Thanks, dude. Endurance is really cool. Is it tanky health? Is that what it is? I'm not going to press G and search it. I'm going to talk to chat, you goblins. I don't want to press G and search it. I want to talk to you about it. Okay, let me just be... Let me just sit here and stream it in, in a cave. And not talk to chat. No. I refuse. Endurance is sturdy? Okay. You can hover your health orb, and health orb and it explains endurance. Now that's interesting. Calculate his percent damage reduction. Oh. Okay. Okay. So if we take this, this gives us plus 6% damage reduction per point. So 26% damage reduction, all the way up to, what are we going to get? 44% damage reduction? And Endurance Threshold is going to go up by 40 per point. That's enormous. Yeah, we're going to go with this. You regain health and rage on kill, or when you hit a rare or boss enemy. <sighs> that could be Unlimited Bear right there. That could be one point that is Unlimited Bear. Okay, I might go down this way and then go to there to get Skull Crusher. So then Fury Leap now applies to them all because I use Fury Leap as well. That'd be disgusting, frankly. My dog's rolling around. Doing a tank bear? I kind of just want to kill things as a bear. Yeah. Unlimited bear, but no bear. Not yet. Soon. We got to hit level 20. That's the important part. You can also be a white bear? Awesome. I want to be a polar bear, dude. What level am I? 
Okay, I'm level 16 right now. Why? I you thank you. There is an old passage to the surface. Gods be with you. I will dispel. Stay safe. May I tear a smile upon you? Farewell. Greetings. Do not dwell on regrets. All right, let's rock. It's time. Would you take unlimited hot dogs but no bear? Or unlimited bear but no bear? I would say unlimited bear but no bear because, to be honest with you, hot dogs are dog shit. I'm just saying. Hot dogs are the worst thing ever made. You can be mad at me, but you're wrong. Bratwurst is king. Hot dogs are garbage. They're gross, dude. They're gross, dude. How can I say this? Confidently. That's how I could say it. Bratwurst, amazing. Sausage, amazing. Hot dog garbage. Do you want to know why, chat? Do you want to know why? When I was in, like, first or second grade, I picked up what I thought was a metal light switch sitting on the table. I started flipping it back and forth. It got jammed. It got jammed. So then I pushed it really hard. It cut the end of my middle finger off, which is why I have that weird fingerprint like that. That's the palm of my hand. As it was healing. They had to put my hand in a brace that made me flip off everything, which was hilarious for young me. I could to flip off anyone I wanted to, and no one could stop me. However, that finger got gangrenous, and gangrenous human flesh smells exactly like a cooked hot dog. Exactly like a cooked hot dog. Ruined them for the rest of my life. I won't eat the damn things anymore. The smell is the same. It's exactly the same. Also, my doctor's name was Dr. Wiener, so I got to flip off anyone I wanted to, and I got to say Wiener. Hilarious for young me. Very funny for young me. Worth. Almost. But now I won't eat a hot dog. Hot dogs are gross. Anything that smells like people, I'm out. His name was actually Wiener. It was very funny. Guy was a genius. One-handed axe. A cleaver. God, I wish that was better. I need another two-handed axe. I need a big one. God, it's so good. Oh wait, I can be a bear right now. Oh yeah. I'm not like a normal bear either. Like, I wish I was running around on all fours. Like, I'm a... I'm not a bear, I'm a bear man. I'm a man bear. You know? It's not really the same. Yeah, I, need the, I need the pig part. That's true. Not as good as mine. Where did your necromancer die? I don't know, like six hours ago. The moment that I saw, like, some horrible giant scorpion and it ate my lunch. Alright. Alright. Chance to bleed and chance to poison. Ah, <sighs> that might be really good. Oh, it's not very good. It's not. I mean, that bleed and poison is probably gonna do work, though. Let me try this. I mean, bleed and poison doesn't suck. Yeah, no, bleed and poison is pretty nice.
I'm gonna go back to the axe. Because the axe has more bleed chance. But I wanted to know about the poison. Okay. Thirty percent increased health regeneration. What's my health regen? Twenty percent movement speed is better. Yeah, I'm gonna be real with you. I just like making bratwurst, and beyond that, I like grinding my own sausages. They're way better. YouTube shorts are really good, man. Thank you. That's very nice of you. My editor, uh, who makes the shorts, is actually Shadelock, and is a brilliant human being. Actually incredible. Yeah, it's good. Grab your own sausage, dude. What kind of bratwurst do you like to make? I like to make pork pork bratwurst, and I also like to make um, beef sausages sometimes. And if I do it, I really like to do it with... I don't know. I like to have a lot of spices in them. A lot of them. Like, for instance, if I make my own beef patties, I put garlic powder, onion powder... Uh, pepper and salt, and then usually cumin is really good in a sausage, and uh, smoked paprika. Or not a cot sausage, ra rather in, uh, in patties. I like that. That's really nice. Yeah, cumin's really good. Cumin's really good. A lot of people kind of sleep on it, but it's great shit. Just another 5% damage flat. That's great. Yeah, human, dude. Definitely eating humans. Taco seasoning? Eh... It's all right. Getting better helmets now. Still not in the good area. I need more damage. It's all damage. Because I got the defense. Because I can just crush things, you know? I can't wait till I get to be a bear all the time, dude. Lightning damage increased, lightning resistance, physical resistance. Physical damage, physical damage, physical damage, minion physical damage. Mine's better. Dexterity, health regen, and dodge. Health regen, mana regen. Three strength. Two health regen per second. What is my strength at? Increases armor by 4%, improves skills that rely on raw strength of you and your companions. 310. 297. 253. 264. Health regen to 27. Mana regeneration to 9. Okay, it's not worth it. I'd rather just do the bonus damage. It is not red bell peppers. I am allergic to red bell peppers. But if they are dried or pickled, I don't have a problem. And we don't know why. I'm actually allergic to nightshades. It's a, um, it's a component of the nightshade. It's an alkaloid in the nightshade, likely destroyed under those conditions. Sucks. A friend that's allergic to capsaicin? That's rough. How do you know you're allergic to that? So, I'm allergic to bell peppers, and we didn't know why. And then I had a weird reaction to a habanero, 
where it like gave me an ingestion, and chat was like, hey, maybe you're allergic to nightshades. And I was like, chat's always wrong. Chat MD is a lie. So I went to the doctor. Doctor sent me to a, God, what kind of doctor is it for allergies? An allergist. And they did some tests on me, and they're like, no, yeah, this is, this is a problem. You are allergic to this. So I got tested. You know how they test you? They inject stuff into your bag. It's the one time Chad MD was right. I know. And they'll never let me live it down. It's upsetting as hell. No, potatoes have it in too small of a degree for me to have a problem. Bell peppers have it in such a high degree that I actually have an EpiPen sitting right here. So I actually keep an EpiPen just in case I screw up and accidentally eat it because I go into anaphylaxis. It sucks. Yeah, no, that one's bad. Bell pepper's bad. Yeah. That one's rough, dude. One grand of expiration medicine? Yeah, it is. You know what it is, though? It's worth it. Just in case you die. Right? If if it's a difference between I'm gonna pay $700 for an EpiPen or I'm gonna die, I'm gonna choose the 700 bucks. You allergic to Dug Dug then? Technically, yes. Technically, yes. You know? Yeah, EpiPens are like $700 now. They're crazy now. It's stupid. That makes no sense. Oh. We don't need this. Our minions don't matter. Why so much? It sh they should be like 40 bucks. Because they mark it up. Because they're bastards, to be honest with you. They're like two dollars in ampules, but it's the delivery system, and the delivery system shouldn't cost eight hundred dollars, right? Or six hundred and eighty dollars, whatever the hell it is. Yeah, in the U.S., they're crazy expensive. Most of it is covered by your insurance, by the way. I think I paid twenty bucks for mine, but it was like six hundred and eighty billed to insurance. So it's like, all right, whatever. Not my problem. Insurance is problem, you know. The cultists had a philosophy. Yeah, don't get me started about insulin. Same shit. Don't get the brand then? Okay, go find me another EpiPen to use real quick. Yeah, go for it. Oh, wait. How do you like Last Epoch? I love it. I love the hell out of this. Yeah, find me a great value brand that actually gets paid for by the insurance. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. It appears that there are today. Now, we had the same problem with Shay's inhalers for a while, because Shay has asthma. They're just crazy expensive sometimes. You to find all these different methods of, like, getting them and shit. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna keep that one. That's a maybe. What is a living seed? Huh. So a seed can actually do an off- it's an offhand that gives you health regen. What happened to your inhaler? I don't need an inhaler. Shay's inhaler. I don't have asthma. Shay does. Currency was the dumbest invention in humanity? No, it prevented us from having to trade seven chickens for a medicine. And if you, you know, at the time you didn't need seven chickens and the dude's out there building chickens, you know, like... Yeah, we needed an interim trade material. You can't just barter everything. It ends up being a nightmare. How many chickens would it take to get an EpiPen? Probably about 300 right now. Chickens are kind of cheap, dude. Yeah, be a chicken builder. Do it. American health insurance is the worst thing. It's pretty rough, yeah. Ooh. Crushed it. Hmm. No. 
Nobody calls McFly chicken yet, all right. Who made you this way, Zephyroth? Esoteric and strange. When Americans run to other countries for healthcare, it does happen. You want to see something terrifying in this regard? You want to see something wild? You ready for this? Let me go pull this up. Streams. Uh, from. Let's see. Healthcare. I have a post about this. You ready for this? You ready for the nightmare that this is? Behold! My bill! I had a hiatal hernia. Had to get that shit fixed. Dangerous. Probably born with it. Sucks. This is the bill. See that says $94,605? Well, wait. There's more to it. You see, that was the claim. The insurance agreed only to pay $17,982. Guess who paid the $76,000? Was it me? No. It was no one. You see... The insurance agrees to pay this amount, and the hospital writes this amount off on taxes, and I had to pay $130. Which is how the hospital gets to operate tax-free. Hospitals! Welcome to America. That's how we do our shit. Yep. Yeah, it's write-offs, dude. That's why this happens. I only paid 130 bucks. Yep. I paid $130, and that was it. Insurance. It's the correct way to go. You, are if that, that's good then. you can e either get it by having high taxes, or you can get it by paying for insurance. Either way, you're paying. As someone who works for an insurance company, most of what they do is sus, and no, I agree. I super agree. It's some weird shit. Jesus. Oh, almost died. Nice. Root staff, huh? The taxes would probably be much less. Depends. It really depends, to be honest with you. I don't pay a huge amount for for healthcare, to be honest with you. Like my my healthcare plan is very cheap. Like really cheap. I don't actually remember the amount of it, but it's quite low. How do you like the crafting system? It's insane. I think it's amazing. How do you like the cheeky? I don't care about the cheeky. The in-game guide is not that interesting to me. They have everything in tooltips anyway. I swear to God. No. Hmm. This game must be really good. I've never seen you live this late. Yeah, no, it's great, dude. It's really, really good. Oh, wait. I forgot to level up my points. More damage. Smush. Impossible. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ugh. You just love crushing them, dude. You just love crushing them, you know? Is this a druid? Yes, it is. Crushed. I love smashing, dude. That was almost a death. I was close. Ooh. Ooh. Hold up. That's an upgrade. That's a big ass upgrade. All attribute shard. That's really nice. That's a rarity, too. You never find that one. What level is this area? 17, I'm level 18. I feel like I'm leveling slower than my necromancer did. But I'm having more fun. So I think it's just worth. Yeah, I, I don't think this is a problem. like sticky. It feels gross. Oh. Oh. That might actually be worth it. Because we get an extra point of strength in there. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's good. Am I good? Yeah, I'm good, dude. Welcome to Wednesday. I told you it was going to be a long stream today. I wasn't lying to you. You thought I was lying? What build are you playing? Wolves. Bear. I'm trying to make a build where I can have an infinite bear. Or I can just be a bear forever, but it's just not ready yet. So instead, I'm becoming very strong and killing things. For now. Okay, we're leaving that. I'm doing kind of an elemental cleave build right now. Eventually, I'm going to be switching over to full-time bear, but I just don't have the stats for it yet. They leap with you? Do they also count as leap? Hmm. Hmm. Do they also cast it when they launch, though? That's the thing that I want to know here. Interesting. There's no tilt for that.
God, this thing is nasty. Those things were so much easier to kill my Necro. They're like way nastier on this character. Way, way nastier. Tell us your PC specs, 13,900k and a uh, 4090. Okay, that's another 5% damage, so we got 20% bonus damage. Nice shorts, thanks, man. Very nice of you. YouTube shorts, too? Nice. I don't actually own shorts. I have two pairs of pants. Okay, we're starting to get higher up there in our axes. Not good enough yet. That is three pairs? I mean, it's two pairs and then suit pants. So I guess technically, yes. Big guys are going to be the death of me if I screw that up. Oh. Oh. That might be a better one. That might actually just be better. Three sixty six. Nope. Not even close to being better, dude. Not even close. Have you taken with loot filters? Yeah, I have. Yeah, loot filters are really good. Like, the loot filters in this game are actually pretty goddamn incredible, to be honest with you. Insanely so. They put a huge amount of effort into it. But I... I just haven't used them on this character because I don't really know what stats I want. Like, I'm not really playing a pet build, so I can't just be like minion everything. You know? You don't know why fi filters intimidate you for some reason? They shouldn't. It's just a filter. The dev team of this game is owned by Blizzard? What? <laughs> What? What does it even mean? Greetings. That was a question. I'm super confused. You just make that up, or like, where'd you hear that? You just did that just come to you in a dream? I'm always confused by messages like this. Let's see. Who are you? Go on. We're gonna go down first because we actually have a map location there at the Wellrun Docks for a quest. It's a main storyline quest. Oh, did the did the old Dino Dance come back? Did they... Did they change the dino dance back? That's the old one, man. Huh. Yeah, they did. I wonder why they changed it in the first place. I wonder what the point of that was. 
No, it's not A-B testing. Because that would require some of you guys to have the old one, some to have the new one. And everybody had the new one. Yeah, there was a new one for a little while. I like the old one better. The new one was fine, though. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're going to take bear form, put that up here. We can go into this direction first, which is health gained on kill. Or we can go into this direction, which is endurance. Endurance is more toughness. Your hits have a chance to cause enemies to bleed while in wearable form. Okay, that's disgustingly good. Rage gain on kill or hit. When you hit a rare boss enemy. Yeah. Because we can stay in bear form forever. And that's going to allow it. Oh, yeah. Infinite bear, here we go. Who needs rage decay? Just get more rage. There's no need. There's no need for rage decay. No one cares. See? Doesn't matter anymore. bear. Bear forever. Every time I hit him, I get 12 HP back. Look at me. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even... Everything is bare now. It's over, chat. We've already won. The human world means nothing to us now. Bear for days. Only bears. I like my lightning bear build. Good. Everything is just a rage bar to me. It's like every monster's a mana potion. Oh man. We 
I've killed them all. There's no more mana potions, Jet. What is that? It's just a white block over there. Is that a missing asset? That feels like a missing asset. Impossible. There's no wiggler for him? No. Sadness. I turned back into a human. I was lost. Oh, wait. I'm a bear again. Junk all of that. Is this any good? Nope. Alright, let's see. Another 5% increased damage. And that 5 point bonus is now ours. What is Spriggan form? Transforms into a forest Spriggan, increasing your spell casting abilities and gaining 4 new abilities. You manage to replace with rage while in Spriggan form. When your rage reduces, reaches 0, you automatically transform back into your human form. Your starting rage is equal to your maximum mana. I kind of like Bear more than Spriggan, you know? That seems a little bit weird. Yeah, no, I'm still playing because I want to. The sponsorship was only for two hours. But I leave it up because we have the tracking links up there. Where people can download the game, or play the game. Those don't actually give me money or anything, but it does tell them that people got interested in the game based on watching the stream. So, I'm gonna eat this snack. One moment. Now, here's the real question. Do I want chitinous plating? I don't think so. Hmm. Druidic proas might be really good. We need 15 points of this. Let me see here. Because here's the thing, right? Your melee attacks have a chance to inflict bleed, and your spells have a chance to inflict poison, right? That might be really goddamn good. But we can also go down to this, increase damage while transformed, and then also do Druidic Proas. Or we could do Claws of the Forest into Focused Wrath. Status effects are sick, dude. I may just get two more points of this, because then it's 35% bonus damage. Are you mad that I said Proas? You'd rather me say pro is that right? pro is that correct for you? Is that, does it make you happier? Is that what you like? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No rage get decay out of combat, that's interesting. Increases the attack and cast speed of you and your minions. That's enormous. So we need that. This is whatever. We don't need this. Damage reflect. Who gives a shit? That. That's huge. We could also go the armor route. Because we have a lot of damage. But armor is going to be the thing. 
armor and endurance are both very huge. Did the Necromancer die? Yes. Gloriously, even. So what is Thorn Shield? From a protective barrier of thorns around you or an ally that grants 30 armor and reflects 50 damage to attackers. When the shield expires, a burst of thorn shoots out and damages all nearby enemies. If we get thorn shield and we put that on our bar, or put that into our talents that we're, we're specking up, we could make that amazing, couldn't we? Because I don't even have thorn shield. Where's thorn shield? What? Is it Thorn Armor? I'm not even seeing that here. Is that unique to that ability? That's kind of sick. It's like really sick, actually. Yeah, it's not a skill. Is it Spriggan form? Is that what it is? Percent increased area. So I think the first thing I'm going to go for on bear, honestly, is we're going to go down here to Skull Crusher. Uh, that's going to make Fury Leap Tree now apply to Maul. Maul is the one where I can slam, so that means all of this is going to apply in bear form, which is disgusting. And we're increasing the radius of that ability first. Yeah. That seems like the absolutely correct move. Man, bear pick game? Damn right. Is this better than Diablo 4? I'm definitely having a lot more fun than I pl had playing Diablo 4. What happened to Scalepathy? Died. Hardcore man, what are you gonna do? Happens. What the hell happened for Thor to stream this late? I just wanted to. It's Wednesday. Wednesday is play the video game day. You know I, you know I work 16 hours a day, right? On Wednesdays, I've decided to just do all of that on stream. I work 16 hours every day. Usually I just do 10 to 12 hours on stream. Today it's 16 hours. This is like no different from any other day for me. I know it's surprising for you, but like... <laughs> Wednesday is video games day. Thursday is play or work on things off stream day. We only want 16 hour game streams? I don't know, dude. Have you hit G yet? I refuse. Is this Diablo 4? No, it's Diablo 5. We actually hacked too much time and stole it from the future. Yeah, it's true. Swipe and Roar inherit all your bonuses from your Swipe and Warcry skill trees. Oh. Hmm. So Warcry and Swipe need to be on my skill trees. Apparently. Okay, let's see this. Uh, it's gonna be less damage, but it's got damage leached to his health. Uh, I'm gonna leave it. Like in the game so far? Yes. It's time to be a bear. Crushed. 
God, it feels so good. Russian dudes. I don't know what I'm gonna choose yet. I'm not sure. <laughs> Are you able to respect your mastery after the 1.0 release? This is the first time I've ever played the game, so I don't know the history of that. This game sounds too squelchy. Good. Squelchiness adds to me. It adds to the game for me. Can't respect mastery? Oh, you're talking about the, your, your subclass. No, you can't respect that. Which is kind of an odd thing, right? It's really an odd thing. You can't respect that. I feel like you should be able to. That one I think is strange. You spin to win? I'm not a warrior. I'm a druid. I turn into a bear and I slam things. Like that. Jesus. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get that, that slam, dude. Yeah, I'm a berserker. That was actually my name in WoW for ages, too. My WoW druid, my guardian druid, was named Berserker for a long time. And then I switched over back to Illidan, and the name was taken. I was sad about it. Why the fox is blue? They're actually wolves, and they're blue because they're lightning imbued. I'm using a, a spec where they actually have lightning. It's pretty sick, so they're shooting lightning all the time. They're really good, actually. Although likely, I will end up respecking out of them at some point. Because Bear doesn't really gain anything from having those wolves. And that's kind of important to understand. Necro get killed? Yeah. Bear having lightning friends is still pretty good. They just don't scale very well. They don't hit very hard. Yeah, they got a clip of the Necro death earlier. It was really funny. I just died to a, a scorpion and just walked up and ate my lunch. I wasn't even looking at the screen at the time, it was great. It's probably because the scorpion didn't have a skeleton, you know? I think it's something to understand. Scalopathy's whole power was interacting with other skeletons and stealing them. Scorpion has no skeleton. Instant, instantly owned. Nothing I could do. Impossible matchup, dude. So three potions? I died instantly, dude. But yeah. You've been permanently phantom taxed from this channel? Oh shit. I just imagine him busting through the wall and eating whatever it is. I'm, I'm not even eating anything right now. I still feel like he'd bust in the wall and just eat my stuff. It's gonna happen, dude. Let's get away from the wall. It's spooky. Hmm. No! I ran out of rage. I'm no longer a bear. That's fine, I guess. Hmm? 
Farewell. All right, let's see here. Your hits have a chance to cause enemies to bleed while in wearable form. That's a really high bleed chance. <laughs> like, that's a crazy high bleed chance. If you can only make games or play games for the rest of your life, which would you choose? Both. You can't make games unless you play games. Doesn't work that way. All I would do would make... The only thing that would happen is I would make shitty games. If I wasn't allowed to play games, I'd just make shitty games. Plus, the act of making a game, you play your own game. Tons. Tons! Oh god, the bleed. Look at that bleed. It's doing work. You know what's not doing work? This goddamn pulls of lightning. Jesus. Killed it. Hmm. Not a good one. No. Only five hours of sleep? Yeah. I also don't drink coffee, don't have energy drinks, and I only drink water, orange juice, and Ovaltine. And that's it. There's a Necro gone? Yeah, hours ago. Necro died ages ago, man. Drink more Ovaltine? I love Ovaltine, dude. I love Ovaltine. You have no idea. <laughs> yeah! Break them all. Bear status, dude. These guys are actually nasty. Alright. Off we go. Is Ovaltine food for ferrets, dude? No. Ferrets are obligate carnivores. They can only eat meat, bone, and egg. And that's it. Do you guys have Milo? I have to get Milo from Amazon. That's the only way I can get it here in the U.S. Um, Milo is really good though because it turns into a brownie on the top of your your child, like your milk, you know. But um, Ovaltine kind of mixes in. That's the difference. That being said, you can't really do a Tim Tam Slam with Ovaltine. It's not the same. It's not the same. I'm not even Australian, and I know, dude. He built every because he never uses the G button. True. Hmm. Let's just get 10% more damage. That thing hurt. That's interesting. Hold on to that. Crushed. One step closer. This man Vegemites? Oh yeah, dude. If you can't see the toast, then it's enough. If you can see the toast, you need more Vegemite. Also, Marmite is shit. I don't make the rules. It's true. 100% true. 
Ooh. Is this game any good? I'm enjoying the hell out of it. I'm actually really, really enjoying this game. Otherwise, we wouldn't be playing it this long, you know? Long day today. I'm going to try and do this on stream days uh, for games on Wednesdays from now on, where we just do really long days. It ends up being a lot more fun for me. And I don't have a stream tomorrow on Thursday. It's my Thursday. It's my day off, you know? So I think for me, this is like the right thing to do. It's more fun for me. Vegemite is a brand of Mar Get out. No, it's not. Marmite's garbage. Okay, this is gonna hurt. Ooh, shit. Every hit is giving me HP back. What is he doing? Where's he going? It's so easy to kill things as a bear. It's so easy to kill things as a bear. Ten percent of armor mitigation also applies to damage over time. Oh, 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 oh. That might be amazing. Not yet, though. We're saving it for later. Isn't that kind of meh? Bear have big armor. Yeah. It's not bad. Armor doesn't affect damage over time mechanics. So having damage over time when I have high armor later is a good idea. Like damage over time resistance like that. That's not great. Look how fast my wolves are healing. That's crazy, actually. I like they can cancel the boss move with that ability. With that roar. That boss, that roar actually just ended that boss shake. Marauder's Chopper. Uh, that might be better. That may actually unironically be better. 610. 650. Four hundred four, three eighty six, three nineteen, three twenty six, five forty nine, five twenty three. Yeah, the blue one's better. And that is much better. Oh. That's good. That's good. But it's dark and paler. What is that? Oh, we need more axes. It's all about axes, dude. Plus chance for crit. The crit chance is multiplicative scaling, so it's only like 2% crit chance. It's not really very much. Flat damage is king, dude. 
getting any extra flat damage is like, that's what you want. So, like, check this out. If we go into character sheet, and you look at this, you see how my crit chance is 7%, and now it's 11%? 4% doesn't matter. That 76, or 69% increase is a meme. Twenty-four percent added crit chance? That would be insane. That's absurd. I'm building up this bear spec though. I've only got two more points that I need before it becomes completely overpowered and ridiculous. It's already absurd, but it's gonna get even more absurd. Ow. When will stream end? When I say it ends. I don't know yet. What do you do on Thursdays? Relax. Work on Heartbound. Turn on loud music. Ignore everyone on the internet. Usually the case. Most of the time I do meetings, though. There's usually, like, it's turned into that day where, like, anytime I need to handle anything that's business-wise, people schedule the meeting for Thursday. What kind of music do you like? Uh, I really like Electro Swing and Chip Tunes. Like, a lot. So I listen to a ton of Electro Swing while I'm programming. Did you cut me? Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Woohoo, that was close. That's a little bit spooky there. Electro Swing is good, dude. Bear of Stellar, yep. That's Electro Swing, yes. Love Bear of Stellar. It's a really good- there's a really good band for, like, chiptune stuff. You ever heard of, uh, Dragon Bump? By... I think it was Extra Ball? I'm trying to remember the name of him. It's two dudes. And they wear helmets. But it's not those dudes that wear helmets. They're like pinball guys. Desert Planet. That's the one. Yeah, you got it. It's Desert Planet. I love them. They're awesome. They haven't made stuff in ever. Like, forever, though. I haven't seen anything from them in a long time. Still like their shit. We gain another level. I think I should probably take Kindness Planet. I feel like that's probably the right way to go. <clears throat> or Druidic Proess, because then I can get all those points to attunement and strength. That's a tough fan. Increased armor 4% per point, though. Am I getting enough cardio? Yeah, I go inside. Actually, after this, for my three hours, I'm going to walk around my neighborhood and uh, play Monster Hunter now. Just walk around the whole time. Do move around, have fun. It is hardcore. I might do the, sh the armor for hardcore, because that's flat armor, which is huge. Monster Hunter Now, mobile. Yeah, it's um, it's made by Niantic. Here, let me let me actually show you this. Mon Hun, there you go. I have like a friend code and a referral code in there, so if you use the referral code, I don't get money or anything. I just get in-game potions, and so do you. It's uh, it's made by Niantic, same people who did Pokemon Go. And they made a a mobile Monster Hunter. It's actually hard as shit. It's really, really enjoyable. Yeah, Monster Hunter now is incredibly good. Like, really, really good, dude. What hundred level? I think I'm 103. I just unlocked eight star monsters recently. I got I got locked behind Legiana, and I just didn't have time to go kill Legiana. Yeah. So I'm like way behind what I was, which sucks. Ingress is OG. Yeah, I played Ingress for a long time. A stars are fun, man. I've been killing a lot of them now. Yeah, I, I fell way behind. I got to, like, level 80 in the first couple of days, and then I just didn't have time. And I was like, well, shit. 
Uh, favorite weapon? I want to play Insect Glaive, but it's not out yet, so I play Sword and Shield. I have a ton of Sword and Shield stuff. Shay actually plays Dual Blades. So, together we just rip bosses to death, dude. Ever play Ingress? Yeah, for years. I played that for a very, very long time. Uh, from the time that it came out. I have, like, a beta badge and all that shit. I love Insect Glaive? Same. I really want to play it. I really want to play Insect Glaive, but it's not out yet. The item's not out. So, does SNS have oils? No, they have elemental types on the shield and, like, sword and shield, but one of the things that there are, there are hidden combos in Monster Hunter now. So if you shield block and then you hit back while you're shield blocking and then you start spamming, you'll actually jump forward, hit the boss a whole bunch of times while flying into the air, and then do a shield slam downwards. So there's, like, hidden combos and shit in Monster Hunter now. And they're great. They're super, super good, but they're situational, so if you use them wrong, you're just gonna die. I'm gonna laugh at you. I see people die to them all the time. It's very funny. Yeah, no, it's really good. It's really good stuff. Have you ever played Tarkov? Nah. I've seen a lot of YouTube short series. Well, thank you. I'm glad you like them, dude. Yes, SNS is great, dude. SNS is amazing. I still can't decide on this. We got one point. I think I'm gonna go Druidic Pros. Because Entombment and Strength are just gonna increase my damage overall everywhere. And this is a, an Attunement and Strength ability, so we're doing Druidic Pros. Yeah, I think that's probably the best option. The more that I look at it, the better it goes. Let me do Jurotic Pros into Wind of the Leaves. Uh, or we can do Kindness Plating into Thicket of Thorns. What does this do? I think Thicket of Thorns might be better. I think it actually might be better. Just the armor bonus and then on top of it, Thorn Shield. I want to live. We're doing Kindness Plating. More lightning damage for those. Yeah, because we're running into that point where I just need armor. You know? My armor right now is pretty low. You're late on? Yeah, I'm a little late. Health on kill shard. Don't mind if I do. I need to start crafting stuff, too. Don't overthink. Oh, no, I'm gonna overthink. It's called an action RPG. You need to overthink. You don't make good builds unless you think about it, dude. Like, that's how that shit works. Interesting. Crushed. They were built so far? This. Infinibear is pretty much my favorite so far. These are awful to fight. Jesus. Easy to kill, though.
one step closer. Yeah, I died. I died to a scorpion. Yeah, I died to a scorpion. The poison was just too much. It checked- it- I checked out instantly when I got hit. I was like, alright. Try not to make the same mistake now. There's no reroll in this? What do you mean, no reroll? I'm playing a hardcore character. Hardcore means dead. As much as the game allows you to keep your character after hardcore, I deleted it, because I died. Hardcore is about dying. Yeah. It's not fun for me unless I, you know, my hardcore character goes away. Unless you're talking about masteries. No masteries, there's no reroll. Everything else can be rerolled. Everything does. Yeah, everything else can be rerolled, but not your mastery. Which is like your subclass. God, that bleed is rocking house, dude. Level 23. I'm getting back up to where my Necro was now. There's two free passive points from doing that. So that's another 30 armor and 6% endurance. So that's really good. Endurance threshold going up is the way, dude. You're glad he doesn't cover himself in mud? He does. In Monster Hunter now? Yes, he does. In fact, if you use a water weapon, you can actually take all the, the, wa the mud off of them. Off of any of the mud monsters, so like the fish man and the, um, the big stone helmet dude, whatever the hell he is. If you use water weapons, it'll actually pull all the mud off of them instantly. It's a secret modifier bonus. Berioth, yeah. And Berioth and the fish guy, it'll pull it right off. Or Beroth. Is it Berioth or Beroth? I think it's Beroth. I don't know the monsters very well, because Monster Hunter World was my first one. Yeah, Monster Hunter World was my first Monster Hunter. And the modifier for mud coating them actually can be removed with water weapons. Even though it doesn't say water is strong against them, it's it's strong against them. So if you're with a buddy, have one go fire and one go water. And you guys just rip those apart. Bareth is the ice cat? Oh, dude, the ice cat is a bitch. You're talking about the one with the big spines on its arm. I hate that piece of shit. He's so fast. He's so fast. He's like needlessly fast. He's got a long tail covered in bullshit. I kill him all the time, but he's so annoying. There we go. Armor increased by 4%. There we go. Now we're starting to get it. We go to the ruins of Wellrun next to get that out of the way. Yeah, the Necro died at, at high 20s. It was a sad death. Hey, thank you for the rating party of 8, dude. Hope you're having a good day. But yeah, Monster Hunter now is very good, dude. Basically what I'm going to do right after this, I'm going to go take a shower, and then I'm going to go play Monster Hunter now for like two hours, and then I'm going to go maybe to the post office and drop off all the, the orders. And that'll be it. And then I'm going to bed. What's your favorite programming language? Basic. I love basic. 
And you can be upset about it if you want. When the hell do you sleep? I sleep five hours a day every day. Never changes. Never different. Hmm. I want to make a loot filter. God damn it. I just want to make a loot filter. So what I'm doing is I'm going to recolor any item that has movement speed and mercurial. Like that. So that I know, hey, that's a speedy boot. I want to get speedy boots as much as I possibly can. Movement speed is huge. So I just need to call that out. I'm not really that excited for Breath of Exile 2. I don't know. A lot of people seem to be excited for it, but I'm, I'm just not... I don't know why. I think it's mostly because I don't... I, I heard they're doing it all piecemeal, and even then it's like, you can play your normal Path of Exile characters at the same time on the same server stuff. Like, I just don't understand it. I need to look more into it. That's really what it comes down to. You die your Necromancer? Yeah. Wazd movement is the best? Disagree. Huge disagree. Mouse movement. Mouse movement. I can't play an action RPG with Waz, dude. There's no way. What if I did come to Brazil, dude? I'd probably have to hit up Silbit and like, hey, you want to hang out? Be like, hey, I'm coming to Brazil. Let's hit up Silbit and be like, yo. Maybe I'll try to plan going to Brazil when Silbit launches this game. There we go. That's a good time to go to Brazil. Or when we finish Heartbound finally. It's also a good time to go to Brazil. Congrats on winning the award. Thank you. It's very nice of you. Is this when you're playing like a druid like a Diablo 2? Nah, dude. It's very different. I actually really like this. It just feels like I'm a walking blender. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sir, do you have a license for all that bullshit shadow damage you're doing? Get out of here. That's not that good. Oh god, look at that thing. This enemy looks like something out of Persona. Like, look at it. That's horrific, dude. What's this? Last Epoch. I did a sponsored stream today for this. And I spent two hours on stream, sponsored, and then I just- the sponsored segment ended and I just didn't stop playing. And now we've been here for 16 hours. So like... I feel like the game is pretty good, you know? That doesn't normally happen.
Like, I'm not obligated to play anymore. I haven't been obligated to play for like 12 hours. Like... Some serious hyper focus. I mean, not really. It's just fun. I always tell you guys to whole ass your life. Even video games. Whole ass them. Not half ass. Play it all the way or don't play it at all. All in. You gotta go up there. Do you think it's good without even hitting the G button? I don't need the G button to show me it's good. Smashed. More bleed. More radius. More. Just tuned in? Hell yeah. How's it going? Project two-hour play sessions, embrace all-nighters? Yeah. I like playing games. I like making games. I like doing stuff for a long time. No one can stop me. I'm an adult. I do what I want. How did you manage to become Infinite Bearer? With four talent points. It's incredibly easy. Would you like to see more? Let me kill this thing and then I'll show you. See this right here? Rage gained on kill or hit. When you're fighting a rare or boss enemy, you get 12 rage every hit. When you kill an enemy, you get 12 rage every kill. Infinite bear. <laughs> it also keeps you mad healthy. Watch the rage go up. See? It's not a bug. That's the talent. That's what it's for. It's literally what the tooltip says it's going to do, so it gives it to you. Yeah, it's literally a feature. That is the design of the mechanic. And in one more level of that skill, I will become infinitely more powerful. Soon. One more level. That's all I need on it. I just need one more level. And then I can inherit all of my my leap ability into that character. It'll be great. Sixteen percent increased armor is a little bit weird. I don't need the G button. The G button is meaningless to me now, Chet. Meaningless. there. What level am I? 24. Blending that mob looked look like it felt good. It does. 
It does, dude. Smashed. I love these dudes. The way that they laugh like that is just hilarious. It's great. Weird monster design. You can respect your mastery points? How do you respect your mastery? Did a merchant NPC in towns. I thought you couldn't res. Oh no, you can't change your mastery. That's what it is. You can respect your mastery points. You just can't change your mastery. Yeah. That's the difference. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish you could respect the mastery. I really wish you could. But I'm playing uh, a druid. Yeah, we're no longer a necromancer. Necromancer died. Then I built a druid. Druid has... Oh. 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 Sorry, one second. I'm, uh, getting a lot of idols suddenly. Feels good, man. And there it is. Now, when I use my leap, I get busted strong. Hey, Audio Cloud Live. Thank you for the rating party at 12. Hope you're having a good day, by the way. And it's going to cost me rage each time, too. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I ripped through enemies now. So now my leap heals me, buffs me, and does a shitload of damage. In a much larger area. Sympathy, what is up? How's it going? Thank you for the rating party of 36. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh, it's so good feeling. Oh, it's so good, dude. It's so good. This build is the best thing I could have done. Has he really been playing for 10 hours? I've been playing for 16. Just played two different games. I'm about to hit 16 hours. How long until I do? Is that two minutes? Eight minutes? Oh yeah, because I started a little bit late. Good. Get a couple more minutes in there. The way Tucker died after 12? Nah. Almost died. Real close.
There it is. Let's go look at that chalice real fast. Not good at all. Weird. 6% chance to gain 30 ward when hit. That's kind of nice. Interesting. Interesting. Is the health orb volumetric or not? What do you mean volumetric, my dude? Is there something specifically you're trying to learn about this? You talking about the display style? Volumetric generally refers to lighting. So, I'm trying to understand what you mean. Man goes silent. bear. Me no care. God, he just melted, dude. He just melted. I don't know if that's what he means, Kildra. I'm not sure. It seems to be linear distribution for health. The spirits. Itera. They left this place long ago. Chief difference between this and Diablo? Um, this has dramatically deeper progression. I'll give you an example. Every one of your skills, you can have a talent tree for it. If you just want, like, one... There's a ton of other stuff, too. Like, the map is not a map. It's actually a map of the same map in a bunch of different timelines. And you can go to all of them. And the crafting system is actually beast. Also, every build I've tried just works, which is mind-boggling, frankly. Ooh, I found one of the things. Room present. Give me the wizard. I feel like these are supposed to be badass, and I'm just ripping him to death. You know what I mean? Like, I feel e Exiled Mage Guy is supposed to be spooky, but he's not spooky at all. Like, it's super scary. Well, he's super getting his ass kicked right now, so I don't feel very scared currently. You know? Yeah. Famous last words. No. No. There's kind of a, a level where you just don't... Bees? What do you mean bees? It's a shrine of bees. Oh, it's amazing. I just got to summon bees. Oh god, they're killing everything. I love the bees. There's the chief difference between this and Diablo. This is bees. They make the honey, I eat the honey. Synergy. Synergy. Bears and bees belong together, Chet. It's so many bees. It's so many freaking bees. Oh, my bees died. Sad now. That was a cool shrine. I didn't even know that existed. 
We need the boo build. It's true. It's actually true. Rage looks like honey. That is actually true. And fair. Have you come to make me whole? No, I've come to kill you, dude. I want all your cool, sweet loot. Yeah, the crafting system in this is insanely deep, dude. Like, absurd. You can take any item in the game, just add and remove and modify apexes on it. It's bonkers, frankly. I'll give you an example, right? We can take this thing. How much does this have? 23 forging potential? Let's go take this, put it in here. We want more melee physical damage? Let me look at this. Melee physical damage, 11. Melee. Melee damage. Melee attack speed. Let's see what we can give it. Let's give it some attack speed. We're gonna add that modifier, the Glyph of Hope on it. These are all tier... This is tier 1 and that's tier 2, right? So if we do... Rerolls the values of all affixes on an item within their tiers. No, it's within their tiers. Okay, let's just do that. And that rune worked. So it looks like it didn't take any forging potential and now it has melee attack speed on it. It has 14% increased attack speed. Like, look at that shit. You just add it. And... It has forging potential, and that didn't go away because I used this, and it had a 25% chance to not use forging potential. Yeah. Did it again. Now it's 22% increased melee attack speed. Now we can take this back off, put it back on my character. Look how much faster I'm attacking now. Game's awesome, dude. Yeah, it upgraded my melee physical damage to tier 2 because I crit as well. Now it's beast. I'm so much stronger now as a result of that. Like, look at this. Look how much faster I'm attacking. Now I'm a bear blender. Say about 14% faster? No, 22% faster. Also, every one of my basic attacks applies bleed, because I'm a bear. Bleed. Okay, we gotta go get the thing. There's a thing on both sides. We're gonna go get the left thing first. Wait. Post office closes at 1700. I mean, it's already closed. Oh, no, it doesn't. But yeah, it does. Yeah, no, it's closed. I'm not worried about that. We have drop boxes we go to. Yeah, cause it's already 5 p.m. It'll already be closed. I'm not worried about that. Yeah, we use blue boxes. Water shrine, alright. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I probably should use my skill point that I got there, shouldn't I? I forgot I gained a level. Can't th chance to cast Thorn Shield on you when you hit. Increased armor and damage reflect. Okay. To get bird class or not? Oh no, I stopped being a bear! That's fun. Oh god, I attacked so fast. Look at the blender mode, dude. Yeah! I wonder how much attack speed I can get doing this. I mean, it's gotta stop sometime, right? It's gotta be like an animation cap or something, right? Like, how much attack speed is possible? Yeah, tier 7 is the max, but that's from this single source. Like, I'm buffing myself every time I do this, sh this leap. That increases my attack speed, too. No, attack speed isn't infinite. It's based on the tick rate of the game. That's that's how that works. You're always going to have tick rate complications for attack speed. And thresholds, technically, because of that. Like, I'm talking about theoretical caps here, right? Based on game tick rate. Stuff we used to have to do when we were playing Diablo. At, like, the super high levels. Like, figure out what the tick rate was and then go from there. All of it? All the attack speed? You know? Fair. How's the game so far? Well, I've been playing it for, like, 12 hours. And I have to say, it's good. It's good. Yeah, attack multiple times in a tick? That's unlikely. Usually you get one per tick. Oh? Just picking up all the two-handed axes, you know? Into the past! Is he eating? I've been eating snacks. Do I see puppies? Yeah. Yeah, Zephyroth, they don't know, dude. It's really funny. Zephyroth's like, he, they used to do 24 hours regularly. But like, yeah, no, they don't know. A lot of new people don't know how much I, I do this. It's quite funny. <laughs> Chat about to call the wetlands check? They don't understand this is normal. Ooh. Nice. 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 Order some Domino's, my son? No, I would make my own pizza, because I I love myself. Domino's is trash. I don't like drinking the grease off my pizza in a cup next to it, right? Like, let's be honest with ourselves for five seconds. That's some gross shit. Like, if I can wring my pizza out like a sponge and it, like, drips all over the place, it's not a good pizza. You can be upset. I don't care. Like, that's gross and you know it. Yeah, a lot of Western pizza is not good, dude. Like, I I like making my own pizza. You can just be like, no, err. Okay, keep drinking your grease pizza. Whatever. Like, not gonna bother me. Somebody's got to pick up the garbage, right? If you're going to do it, power to you. Maybe your region? No, dude. Domino's is bad. Homemade pizza is always better. I have been going for 16 hours. It is time to raid. It is time to end the stream, Chet. I have other things I have to do today. And as such, my 16 hours of work time is over.
means I have to do other stuff. <laughs>